All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning on in. Could be crushed chat is undefeated as always. Welcome to another Monday live stream. Hit the like button if y'all don't mind. Let's get it. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. It's coming. FDMG is coming. It's coming, FDMG, it's coming, 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 it's coming. MG is coming, thought this personality be twerking, it's twerking. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Hope y'all doing all right on this Monday. This is our, our kick back and chill, take our time live stream day. We try to get two in a week. And uh, I want to thank everyone, everyone inside the Cookie Crush chat. You are undefeated. want to thank uh, all the mobs for handling the business. Also want to thank uh, everyone who's been supportive of uh, this channel. And I want to encourage everyone to make sure you subscribe. OK, so today uh, I, I don't want to be talking too much because we got quite a bit to get to. We're going to prove two things during this live stream. You Umar Johnson followers, I'm going to prove two things to you. And this is just one show of proving these two things. Okay, I'm the, we can do many shows to prove this to be true, these two things to be true. The first thing is that after 13 years, there's still no school for black boys where black boys are being educated. And that instead of this FDMG being a school for black boys, it is nothing more than the kick it spot. Now, when we were younger, there was places we would go to go kick it and we called it the kick it spot. It might be over a aunt's house or a cousin's house, or uncle's house. It might even be your own house. Sometimes it'd be a spot like, you know, down the street around the way. It might be at a park. It might be at uh, the, ro the, the roller rink, or whatever they used to call that back in the day. But that was the kick it spot. For some people, when we got older, it was a club. You know, that'd be the kick it spot. But see, FTMG is and has been for many years now a kick it spot for older black people. It's not a school for black boys. I'm gonna prove that again here during this live stream. Okay, so that's number one. It is a kick it spot. And number two, I'm going to prove that Umar continues to recycle different, it's really iterations of the same theme and themes at times to give the illusion of progress. What do I mean by the illusion of progress? That simply means that he's going to do something or show something or say something to make you believe that he's making progress with, with this FDMG school, which he said in 2010 was gonna open in 2013. It's already a decade late. And he continues to move the goalposts, move the goalposts. It was supposed to be opening in 2000, uh, uh, 2013. Then he said it was gonna open in 2016. Then he said 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 2023, and it's still not open. And now he's saying 2024. At some point, he'll say 2025. But in the, in, the, in the meanwhile, throughout all of this, there's always been things that he has done to give the illusion of progress. And I'm going to prove to you again during this live stream that Umar will do anything to make you all believe, and particularly Umar Johnson followers, that he is making progress with a school that simply does not exist. That's what you call fraud. I have a degree in cybersecurity. That's it, it's 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 a cyber crime to continue to get money out of people, saying that you're going to do one thing and you're promising that you're going to do this thing, but you don't do that thing, and you continue to let this go, and you keep pushing this forward, or you keep giving the illusion of progress, 
And then here we are 13 years in to this and still no school. So I'm going to prove those two things. I'm going to repeat. Number one, I'm going to prove that uh, Umar Johnson will recycle old, older uh, 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 schemes to give the illusion of progress. He'll recycle them over and over again. And number two, that what we have up there are not schools for black boys. What we have up there in Wilmington, Delaware, it's nothing more than kick it spots for, for older black people. I'm going to prove it today. All right. All right. Thank you all so much for tuning on, on in. Everyone inside the Cookie Crush chat. I hope you all had a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It was my birthday. Uh, Sean said it. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. My birthday was what day was it? I can't even. Remember. I think it was Saturday, but I had to work. <laughs> so and I, I was so tired. I got home and I had to go right to bed. So I didn't even get to celebrate. All right. I went and got snacks and, and treats for the kids on the way home from work, but that was about it. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. Uh, there was another super chat here, too, from Lewis Luck. He says, are those uh, Lee, Pre Lee Presson nails on the li I don't know what you are you talking about the thumbnail. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. And all the clues are in the thumbnail. All the clues are in the thumbnail. That's what we're going to be talking about here tonight. OK, thanks again, Sean, for the for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. I got some cheesecake. If y'all want to pull it out, we can sing happy birthday. Y'all y'all let me know what you want to do. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do it a little bit later. <laughs> okay. Uh uh, Truth Use and Logic says, What's up, Cookie Crush Chat? How and it's vegan che cheesecake, too, by the way. It's by this brand called Dio. Okay. Or something like that. <laughs> look, look, look. Man, stop it. Umar is progressing, even after a decade in multiple yearly promises and block parties. <laughs> He getting it in. What's up, uh, beautiful Bernice? Hope you're doing all right. Food, food chill. And uh, thank you so much for all the the birth. Yeah, it's an elderly clubhouse. That's what that's what these abandoned buildings have turned into. And he's still asking for money for them. Uh, thank you so much for all of the. Yeah, it's it's a boom boom room. Uh, thank you so much. It was on Monday. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you for all the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate everybody. Okay. Maybe maybe we can celebrate on, on, on next Monday. Monday, I don't know. <laughs> right. Kicking spot for the ancestors. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no, it's vegan. It's vegan. I, I could even show you the box right now. It's good, too. I like it. The only other person that really likes it is uh, my uh, one of my daughters. She likes it. Everyone else, they kind of like it, but she likes it a lot. Matter of fact, she's ate, she already ate like half of it. I haven't even had any yet, but this is the brand. It's uh, it's Daya. They used to have it uh, at Walmart. They used to have the strawberry one and the, the lime one, but they don't carry that, those two anymore. I wish they had the strawberry one because that was pretty good. All right. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, a lady says, happy birthday, Lennon, but you have to stop. This is a school for one black angry corner boy. <laughs> and that's who more. I know that's what it is, but it's the kicking spot for him. It's just a place for him to go up there and kick it. And, and I'm going to show you all here tonight. I want to give a shout out too, by the way, to the person who sent this to me. And I'm not going to say their full name because I don't know if they wanted me to do that. I'll say BG. So shout, uh, shout out to BG. Everyone in the chat room, shout out to BG. They're the one that sent me the link to the uh, uh, video and they told me the timestamp. And we're going to get into that here tonight. Thank you so much, lady, for the super chat, uh, as well as Sean and Lewis Luck. Okay. All right. OK, so let's get into this. So uh, I'm going to pull up a video. This was from I believe it was yesterday. I think it posted today on YouTube, but I think he actually recorded it yesterday. I could be wrong. He could have recorded today, but my best guess is that it, he recorded it yesterday. And so I want to watch this um, and uh, watch closely. OK, I want us to watch closely. And then uh, at some point, he's uh, we'll watch closely and I'll, I'll prove to you the evidence is there that it's a kicker spot. And then we'll keep watching. I don't know the order because I haven't watched the whole video, but we'll, we'll keep watching to where I show you how he's regurgitating old schemes in order to give the illusion of progress. OK. All right. Here we go. About J. Edgar Hoover, the same thing I think about Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. I'm not claiming that. Thank you all so much for all I'm the, not the claiming him. Wishes. I don't care if he was I a mixed race it. African or not. That man was an enemy to African people, just like Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. What color do y'all want the bathrooms? What color is the teacher's lounge? What color is the school library? What color is the parent visitor center? What color is the activity room? Talk to me, Africans. What color are we going to paint these classes up, family? Okay, this is 2023. And we can do it right now. I'm going to prove it right here, right now. Let's go back here to 2000. 
my goodness, what was this? What would I have on the thumbnail? Someone let me know inside the chat room. I can't even remember what. Let me let me actually let me pull it up right here. I should have this opened up anyway. Uh, this is let me pull up something from 2022. Okay, and really what I should do is is come back to this. But now let's let's do it now. Now you know what? Let's play this, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, I'll prove it in a little bit. Okay, I want to keep this going. Here we go. Oh yes, I build institutions. You build YouTube pages. Go to Netflix. Yeah, he's talking to us. That's all it is. If you're watching these videos, <laughs> he's talking about the cookie crust chat. He's talking about Lino Horror. <laughs> and watch Rustin. But I'm going to tell you, it's a good movie. But I can tell Michelle and Barack know. old drama clearly had a rainbow gang agenda with the film. Get off the pl What is he talking about? I can pull up when he was, remember he was shopping for, oh man, I forgot, Black Anonymous, I forgot about that one. That was another illusion of progress where he was shopping, <laughs> talking about, it was going to do a cleanup and paint day years ago. Plantation, you damn Uncle Tom. Get oh, off the go. plantation, you damn Uncle Tom. Get off the plantation. See, Umar gets away with talking like this, but if it was a white person talking like this, they're a white supremacists. See? We talked about this the other day, too, how Umar, or last week, how Umar, he, uh, all he does is talk bad about black people. And you, Umar Johnson follows, you have that, that you have 10 basic responses when you watch these videos. One in the, it's in the top three now. I had it at, at number six, but now it's in top three. You guys always say you're tearing another black man down. But if you listen carefully to Umar, all he does is disparage black people. We have a whole list and it's not even comprehensive. We can continue to add, add, add to the list. Every single week we can add some someone to the list. Now we can put Clarence Thomas on there. See? All right, here we go. Peace in Pan-Africanism. Peace in Pan-Africanism. Peace in Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism no, no by any means necessary. None. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Oguntade, the prince of Pan-Africanism. Yeah, real quick, I, I was going to do a video on this for members. And I'm still going to do it. I just was going to do it earlier today, but I, I, I'm, I've just been so tired. I can't come down here and, you know, I just been, I haven't had time. But after this live stream, I'll record one and I'll upload it. So I don't want to say too much here. I will say this, though, that there are many people who have come through, I guess you can say the black conscious community. Uh, who have had some terrible downfalls. Uh, one person is um, polite. Uh, another one, unfortunately, and I, I, I pray for this young man because he's still young. He's to me, uh, he can still get things turned around. Is young Farrell. And what's happened happening with Hassan Campbell? But the thing with Hassan Campbell is that a lot of that it's been going on for years now, for many many years, um, and allegedly uh, he was shot. Uh, yesterday, it might have been the day. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I was at work. And the one, yeah, I think it was yesterday. Um, I, I don't know that to be uh, factual, but that's what he was saying. But again, there's some underlying mental health issues there, and clearly, to me, some substance abuse issues there. So I'm not quite sure if what he's saying is factual. But I will address this in a separate video for you members, and I'll talk about all of this. Okay, you know, it's sad. It, it really is. If you don't know who. who uh, Hassan Campbell is, he, he came into prominence after he spoke out about being, um, what, what they would call SA these days, because YouTube guidelines, if you say the other thing, you can get your, you know, a strike against your channel and so forth. But he was uh, SA'd by um, Africa Bombada uh, back in the, I would say, in the uh, probably late 70s, early 80s. Something like that. But there's been other stories about African Bavada and his nation that has been circulating for many, many years. In fact, there's a, a well known rapper, I can't remember his name. I think he was on EJ Black talking about this, uh, but he was with the Fab Five. What was the five? Not Fab Five. I, I can't remember. Furious Five. What you call I can't remember. This, this is old, old school hip hop. And uh, I think it was on DJ Black. It might have been on another platform, but they had asked him about the whole situation with African Bavada. And he said, Oh, we all knew. I don't know if he was saying that they knew that he was out here uh, touching on children or if he was simply saying that he knew that he was, you know, it was living an alt uh, alternative lifestyle. I'll, I'll just I'm trying to be politically correct here. Um, but the point being is that people have known about these types of things happening, uh, not just with uh, Africa Mabata, but just in the music industry uh, itself for a long time. Look at P. Diddy. What? 
I almost, I almost turned my computer off <laughs> on accident. But I'm gonna do a separate video for, for you uh, members. Uh, I'll probably do it after I do this live stream. I'll, I'll record it and then I'll, I'll have it up for you guys to talk more about that. Uh, some, is the audio okay? Uh, I hope I hope you got what's up, Vera Perspectives. Hope everything's going well with you. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. I hope everything's okay. Okay, let's get back to it. Here we go. It's RBG, the King Kong of Oh, and thank you so much, uh, Lewis Suck for a super chat. I appreciate it. Consciousness, RB Jesus, the most requested, most revolutionary, most radical scholar, greatest panel. There you go, referring to himself as Jesus. Africanist since Garvey, greatest psychologist since Amos Wilson. I'm in the building, brothers and sisters. I'm in the building. Peace, family. How y'all doing? How you, I can't man. complain. How's everything? Oh, man, you know, out my Lord, Trying man. to get this school ready for I, the man, boys. I, you I feel me? You we almost there. Now, look at the little boys. They walk right back, right past. They don't know Umar. They don't know nothing about no school over there. One of them looked like he had on one of them old, had one of them old school lunch pails. Y'all remember from back in the day? All right. But but these older people, they'll come and kick it and talk with Umar for a little bit. Y'all see my point already? I haven't watched this video yet. I only saw the timestamp where I'm going to show y'all something a little bit later. Okay, but y'all y'all see this right now? Is something okay? It, it, y'all, is my... Is my I don't have no I'm not on Wi-Fi I'm I'm on Ethernet we are doing one G one one gigabyte up over here I don't know what you talking about <laughs> I don't know what you talking about to the boxes one gigabyte family we ain't playing I got that so I can live stream with all for y'all I could have got the old cheap old nitly diddly old hookup for, you know I said no my IP I, I, my IP <laughs> my, my ISP I said listen. I need I need to double up on everything because I'm Big Papa. They say, oh, you Big Papa? I say, I'm Big Papa. I said, okay, well, we got the fiber optic plan. They give you the book, one gigabyte to the box. I said, well, do it then. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. I see you yes, sir. Easy. Yes, sir. It's a listen, slow, steady process. Yes, sir. Let's yes, come. sir. Appreciate it's you, man. Well, it's definitely slow. I don't know about steady, but it's definitely a slow process. All right. We got about 600 people. in the of y'all hit the like button. I appreciate it. Yes, sir, brothers and sisters. So I'm at FDMG. Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, your school, my school, our school. He cold. We here. We here. It's cold. If the reno if yeah, I just said that if the renovations are complete, why is he standing outside? Okay. If the renovations are complete, why is Umar standing outside? It is winter, but we got to get the school ready. We got to get the school ready for the boys and then later on for the girls. I just want to hit up a couple topics real, real quick while I'm with you brothers and sisters. I don't want to hold you too long. I just want to hit up a couple topics. First on the list. There is no school. That's the first thing on the list. Here we go. J. Edgar Hoover being an undercover mixed race African. People are asking me, what do I think about the new discovery that J. Edgar Hoover, notorious director of the FBI, who brought down every major revolutionary black movement from the most honorable Marcus the Messiah Garvey all the way down to the Black Liberation Army. What do I think about J. Edgar Hoover being a mixed race African, having hid his true racial identity his whole life? What do I think of J. Edgar Hoover having been a mixed race African who hid his African identity his entire life? What there is no there is no office. It's almost been five years. He still does not have an office in anywhere in these abandoned buildings up there in Wilmington. That's telling in and of itself. That proves my point right there. Do I think about that? What do I think about that? I think about J. Edgar Hoover. The same thing I think about Clarence Thomas. I think about J. Edgar Hoover. The same thing I think about Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. I'm not claiming that. I'm not claiming. Uh, he, he's using probably a racial epithet. That's why they uh, they muted it out. But again, he's talking about a black person. Him. I don't care if he was a mixed race African or not. That man was an enemy to African people, just like Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Fully black, all black, deeply black, melanated black. But the man is a straight up sellout, a Negro peon, guilty of betrayal and treason against African people. So what do I think about J. Edgar Hoover, who destroyed the Garvey movement, destroyed the Panthers, destroyed black liberation, 
participate and orchestrate the assassination of Malcolm and King, Who? our Prentice Bunchy Carter, John Huggins, George and Jonathan Jackson, Fred Hampton, Mark Clark, and you want to know what I think about him? Okay. Killing off all my great ancestor leaders, and you want to know. Yeah, but Umar, you called for the murder of black boys. I can pull up the receipt and play it. We gonna know. We got we got to stay focused, family. Here we go. Those who don't do the good, the greater works for African liberation and against African people. So what do I think about J. Edgar Hoover, who destroyed the Garvey movement, destroyed the Panthers, destroyed black liberation, participate and orchestrate the assassination of Malcolm? And King, our Prentice Bunchy Carter, John Huggins, George and Jonathan Jackson, Fred Hampton, Mark Clark, and you want to know what I think about him? Killing off all my great ancestor leaders, and you want to know what I think about him? The same thing I think about Clarence Thomas. He ain't worth my breath. He's not even worth the breath I expend on the conversation. Peace and love, sisters. How y'all doing? All right, all right. See, don't none of these people know Umar. Look at the look at little babies. They just going right on by. They like, who is who is this guy out here standing out here in the cold ranting? Y'all know what it looked like. If y'all never seen Umar and saw him, some guy standing out here ranting into his phone, you know what happened. Don't let me pull up the video where he was over in over in Africa and they called the police on him because he was talking to himself. People who didn't know what was going on. He was probably live streaming, but they didn't see his phone. They they called the police because they thought he was something was wrong with him in the airport. Don't make me do it. This guy would talk all kind of mess about Cookie Crush because he's talking about y'all and me and me doing videos and stuff. But he'd be on social media every day throughout the day. I get on here and, and kick with y'all when I can. If I could, I'd be on there every day hanging out. But look right here. You, uh, 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 I, uh, I ain't going to do it. I, I'm not going to do it because then we're going to be here for a month. <laughs> You're going to be here for the rest of the month. I wanted to do a live stream on Thursday because I don't have to work on Thursday. Uh, I was going to do, uh, do a marathon. I don't know, man. I don't know if y'all want to do that because we would have to start like 10 in the morning to get through all the five, top five Umar Johnson rants. <laughs> It'd be fun. It would be like epic. You know, I'm thinking, I've been really thinking about it. I've really been thinking. Um, do, <laughs> someone said, <laughs> no, I, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I mean, I'm thinking about, I'm, I, yeah, okay. Well, no, I'm saying, what y'all, are y'all talking about doing, what you call it, or, or me pulling up the thing where you at the airport? Y'all want to do a marathon on Thursday? If you want me to do a marathon on Thursday, put hashtag uh, uh, Mara. OK, we'll, we'll do that at Mara. I would have to move some other location in the house, though, because I don't want to have to have this all this space, uh, you know, just for us for for 12 hours. <laughs> These poor kids. <laughs> all right. Somebody said, pull the bill. I, I, I don't feel like it, though, FBI. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Everybody. I don't I don't feel like doing doing the airport. I don't <laughs> do the marathon. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna think about it. Someone said do it on Wednesday. Mm. No, I can't do it on Wednesday. I can't do it on Wednesday. I got some stuff to do on, on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brandon. We can do it on Thursday though. If, if y'all really want to do it, show your love. <laughs> It'll be it would be hilarious, but then between now and then, we would have to figure out which five rants because I have a list. I think I, there's eight on there so far. We would definitely do the SETI rant. Uh, we would do the Zora rant. We would do the Kobe Bryant rant. We'll, we'll say the SETI rant for the for, <laughs> for the for the end. That that'd be the the. I'll think about it, but I'm. It, I need to pull up a put up a poll so we can figure out exactly which uh, five uh, rants we'll cover during the live. It wouldn't be twelve hours. It'll probably be closer to to six hours, maybe seven hours. Okay. All right. Looks like you guys won't do it. Okay. All right. Well, let me think on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Umar was in the in the casino uh, gambling y'all's money. Ain't my money. He's gambling y'all's money. All you Umar John supporters sent him money. He was in. He was having him a good old time. <laughs> you going to do in the airport? I don't feel like we we gotta we gotta keep we gotta keep going. Okay, otherwise we're gonna be here. 
I'm tired of a 24 hours of, of a Christmas story. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're going to start playing, huh? You want to do it on Black Friday? No, I got to work. <laughs> so sad. I got to work on Black Friday. <laughs> I'm working so much. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Thanks, John, uh, guest for the super chat. Okay, so it looks like people would be interested in, in doing a marathon on Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy Jammer. I can't do it on Friday, and I, I can't do it on, on Wednesday. Uh, I, I, my schedule won't allow it. I would only be able to do it on, on Thursday. But we'll come back to the air, air. I think it was an airport. I haven't watched it yet, but it, but uh, someone sent it to me. Um, we we, uh, we Matter of fact, let me just write that down. I already have the video downloaded. I just haven't watched it yet. Um, Matter of fact, you know what? Hold on. Let me just check something real quick. I was trying to have a, lo a long, a short, long show, <laughs> but let me just go ahead and just do what we normally do. Uh, let me just see something real quick. I think it's in this folder right here. South Denver students. Uh, Umar was paranoid after the lights got shut off. Uh, Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't remember which video it is. Yeah, well, give me a moment. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. I, I really want to just stay on, stay on focus. Let, let's go here. But I, the point I was making with this video right here is notice these children. No children are being educated at these abandoned buildings whatsoever. It's a kicking spot for older people, older black people. Um, uh, thanks, John, for the super chat. Uh, Sal says, uh, sad, in the video, I see uh, black boys running away from that school instead of running to it. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for the birthday. Which, yeah, you're absolutely right, Sal. And, and I want everyone to think about this. It's not like he just purchased these buildings yesterday or last week or last month or last year. He purchased these buildings in February of 2019. It's almost five years. And and still, the children don't know him. They walk by. They don't. He ain't done nothing up there. He hasn't done a, a Thanksgiving uh, turkey drive. He hasn't done uh a christmas drive he hasn't done a backpack drive he hasn't organized any sports out there for the children out there he hasn't educated any of the children they don't even know who he is again the illusion of progress right uh thanks Al, for the super chat i uh, thought also thanks to john as well uh and then lewis sucks says he trying to get money for black friday the great <laughs> no no he ain't trying to get no money for black friday because he ain't worried about who, who is he gonna get what's he what's he gonna buy for who himself for him, getting money is just to get money. It ain't it ain't to get deals for other people, you know. Because Black Friday, that's how I do my Christmas shopping. I go, I gotta get the Christmas gifts. So that don't tell Umar. I just just say it was Kwanzaa. <laughs> I'll be looking for. I'll be look. Some I'm, sometimes I'll be looking for like birthday gifts because we got a gang of birthdays in, in February in this in this household. So I'll be looking for them, them special deals on Black Friday. Save me a couple of bucks. I'm so cheap. But Umar, he who's what is he gonna do? What is he gonna? What, and, and a lot of the Black Friday stuff, the really good deals is on tech. You know he ain't going to, what is he going to do? Get a typewriter? <laughs> I don't know. What is he going to do, Lewis? Uh, he ain't got nothing on there to buy. Twizzle, Twizzle's going to be on sale? All right. Thanks, Lewis. Truth using, how's it going, Truth uh, using logic? Says, just wondering, do you still have your, no, no, we don't have any more animals. Yeah, when we moved, we had to, we, we don't have any more animals. We, we, there was a time where we had, I kid you not, we had, the mama cat and then she had kittens and then we got rid of all of the kittens i think but one that was sylvester but he he left he left uh even when we was at the other house he left like he was gone for at least a year he'll show up every once in a while he just show up <laughs> it's like you know because some cats they're not loyal like that especially the male cats he would show up like everyone i hadn't seen him before we moved i hadn't seen him pro for probably about six months but uh, my youngest son he was like dad guess who came by last night i said who he said sylvester i said well you quit playing he says he did i said no nah, you were dreaming he said no he did <laughs> so uh sylvester but so we had sylvester we had the mama cat and then we had she had a, another litter and at one point we had about seven cats yeah but now we don't have any any animals it's just me <laughs> <laughs> they treat me like a dog <laughs> no, yeah yeah 
Yeah, Sylvester, he was a pookie. He, he gone about doing his own thing. Yeah. All right, I remember uh, when the cat gave, our cat gave birth, to, I think it was the first time. We were live streaming when she gave uh, birth the first time. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot of cats. Yeah, yeah. Some of them cats, they're not loyal at all. They just go, they wherever, whoever treats them the best or gives them the best, give them the best food. That's where they go. Okay, so uh, we got about 730 people. Y'all hit the like button. Let's get moving here. I, I want to go see if I can find this real quick. I'll be right back. Let me let this play. That's what I think about J. Edgar Hoover. I'm not going to waste my time. So y'all want to go around recruiting and claiming Negroes who don't do the good the greater works for African liberation. I don't do that. I don't do that. I told you, I don't claim you just because we share DNA. I don't claim you just because we share ancestry. I don't claim you just because your skin is black. Mm. You got to be doing the works. You got to identify with your people and you have to be committed to the liberation of your people in order for me to claim you. I said you have to identify with your people and you have to be committed to the liberation of your people in order for me to claim you. I could give a damn what J. Edgar Hoover was. Sorry about that. I think about him the same thing I think of a, of a Candace Owens, the same thing I think of a Jesse Lee Peterson. I don't think nothing of him. The same thing I think of a Charles Barkley. I don't think nothing of him. I don't care if you black. See, like I was saying earlier, all he does is disparage black people. Okay, I have my criticism of Charles Barkley too. Uh, Candace Owens, I don't know much about her. Uh, I know she's cute. That's about it. I, I don't know disrespect. I. You know, I think she does the politics, but I, I'm not all into all that stuff. But all he does is talk poorly about black people. So when people say things like, well, you're tearing another black man down. Well, that's what Umar Johnson does. And he does does and he does it consistently. I, I had said that in the last live stream, live stream, I said, when was the last time you heard Umar Johnson say something positive about a successful black person? Sometimes he'll say something to start and then he'll just start talking real negative. Deion Sanders, as an example. So Umar is a permanent person that I've seen in the so-called black conscious space who who is ultra critical of black people in particular successful black men. And all he does is talk mess about them. Okay? So that's the that's the aspect of the cult aspect of this whole Umar Johnson thing. The Umar Johnson followers, you, you want to defend Umar. And you call, you say that someone else is tearing him down, but you dismiss the fact that all he does is talk poorly about black people, which by your own definition would be, quote unquote, tearing another black man da down. I don't consider myself to be doing that. I consider myself to be providing people with information so they can uh, be educated enough to make the appropriate decision as to whether they're going to support or defend this guy. And as it relates to this school scam in particular, the, the evidence is all there. I mean, they're, they're, it, it's, it's undeniable. So people, y'all get mad at me if you want to, but if you go listen to Umar carefully, he'll be, he, that's all he does is talk poorly about black people and he does it consistently. All right. And this video for the, from the airport is 30 minutes long, and I don't know where the timestamp is. So let's play a little bit of what we're working on here because I want to stay on target. We may come uh, back to it towards the end of the show. All right, here we go. What are you doing for African people? J. Edgar Hoover spent his whole life destroying black progress. Supreme Court justice. Yeah, we also had uh, turtles. Uh, we have had dogs, too. Um, I think that's all the animals that we had. But now we're down to none. Oh. Clarence Thomas spent his whole life destroying black progress, brothers and sisters. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. We got to paint this school up. And by the way, I think we're going to have a paint day next month. I think I think the spirit is. He said there was going to be a paint day this past September. Remember, we watched the video after I think it was after September. We watched the video. We were saying it's going to be a paint day in September. Didn't happen. Telling me the FDMG paint day is going to be next month. I think the spirit is telling me that the FDMG paint day is going to be in December for my loyal donors. We don't need everybody. We don't need everybody. We probably going to put three people per room. Okay. Watch. He, he says loyal donors. So in other words, loyal donors are people who send him donations consistently each month. They send in a donation. You, you, you guys are the, the candidates to come up there to paint. In other words, if you don't donate, you don't get the privilege to go up there and paint for free. Boy, that's a hustle. That, that is a straight up hustle. How are we doing on likes too, by the way? Uh, let's go for uh, 250 likes. And we're going to go for 400 likes. And then we're going to go for 550. 
All right, so when he's referring to the, the spe these loyal donors, the, these are the people who donate to him consistently. And I think there was different tiers, you know, like there was a platinum level. If you send him a thousand dollars or five thousand dollars a month, whatever. Well, I don't know. It was so ridiculous. There was a gold level. If you send him one hundred and fifty, whatever it was, you don't get anything for it. It's, it's not like it benefits you at all. But what he's saying here is that if you uh, are a loyal donor, you 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 get you may be selected to come up there and uh, paint for free. Next month. I think I think the yeah, spirit yeah, is telling yeah, me now he's saying the FDMG mm -hmm. paint day is going to be next month. I think the spirit is telling me yeah, yeah, I got that it. the I got FDMG it. I'll, I'll paint day is Thank going to too. be in December for my loyal donors. We don't need everybody. We don't need everybody. We probably going to put three people per room. Three people per room. That's about. We don't need no more than. Thirty to forty. His math ain't math and family. This guy, you, and he's going to be educating your children. He was sitting there for at least ten seconds, like, um, if we got three painters in each room, how many painters are we going? Uh, thirty to forty. <laughs> how are you going to get three of the forty to the forty? If it's 10, then it's okay. You need 30 for 10. If it's 11, you're going to need 30, uh, 33, right? <laughs> if it's 12, you need 36, right? If it's 13 classes, you're going to need 39. But he said we need 40 people. Who <laughs> 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 And he knew it wasn't even specific. He said 30 to 40. We just need 30 to 40. Uh, <laughs> Boy, it's like, he's gonna open up a school for all black boys, but can't do basic math on how many kids. <laughs> I'm sorry, how many painters are gonna be paid for each room for the kids? <laughs> all right, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> I know, cause I listen. I, I'm a rational person. Like I'm really like logical about things. Like I, I, I'm. My wife don't like that sometimes, but that's how I am. Okay, that's why I'm a loser. I'm just so, I'm like Spock, you know, Spock from Star Trek. Uh, you know, in my mind, I'm saying, okay, if he says he's going to need three, I figured, okay, it's going to have to be a multiple of three. <laughs> that's what I thought. He said 30 to 40. I said, oh, my God. I, I don't know what he's saying here. I think he's saying for all the rooms. He don't know. Erica, he's just making stuff up. You know that. He's just making it up. He's like, oh, we're going to, hmm, yeah, uh, 30 to 40. <laughs> well, these poor kids going to be in mad class. They're going to be the principal Tuesday plus four plus four. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, somewhere between 30 and 40. <laughs> They're going to get some education, family. They're not going to get no education. They're going to get some education at Erica. All right. <laughs> Shanae says uh, most of his videos are outside the building. The winter is coming. What will he do? What will he do? Well, that's a good question. Matter of fact, this brings me to another topic. I, I, I sincerely think that something happened between Umar and his mom, mama, and he's not living with her. He doesn't have that luxury anymore. I'm not going to say any more than that. But uh, there's been things that have happened in the past that would lead me to believe that something has happened. And that's why he's precisely why he's he's up there and he's live streaming. Out. And why not? See, U Umar really messed up when he made the announcement that the renovations were done. And again, that's to give the illusion of progress, just like painting is the illusion of progress. But see, he already did this whole paint thing before. The thumbnail shows this. We're going to play the video just in a little bit. But he really put himself, he backed himself off, backed himself into a corner, Sinead, by making those types of statements because people are, they're going to say, okay, well, if renovations are done, great. We're really close. The progress is being made. Some of you, Mark Johnson, followed, you felt like there was progress being made. But the critical question, therefore, is if renovations are done, why is it that Umar is not inside live streaming, showing these wonderful renovations? And see, wouldn't it make sense? 
to everyone, to everybody else. Wouldn't it make sense to show it? Because to show it would be to show and prove. It's like a proof of concept in essence. But if you show it to the people, then they're going to be more inclined to what? To continue to donate. But he can't show it because renovations are not done. But so he's backed himself up into a corner. So what does he do instead of going in uh, inside? He's live streaming outside in the cold. See, that's why lying, if you lie and you just keep lying, you're going to back yourself up into all types of, of corners and then stuff gets critical. And right now it's critical because he what, what is he going to do? He's going to go inside now. If he goes inside to live stream, well, people are going to see the condition. They go, wait a minute. Didn't you say two months ago that the renovations were done? Didn't you say a month ago that the renovations were done? And why would he say that the renovations were done? Well, he said that to give the illusion of progress so that what? People could send the money. That's the thing. It's like uh, every single thing that he does, he, it's like he's tightening a, a rope. You know, it, it's not even rope. It's like a, a, a handcuffs, tightening handcuffs. And the more he tightens them, the less wiggle room he has. And that's precisely why I should at this point, he, ha he doesn't have the wiggle room to go inside and, and walk around and show people. Because if he does that, it, people are going to see that it's nothing more than a scam, that he lied about that. Well, he's been lying. And that's what he's been doing. He lies in order to give the illusion of progress. That's a critical question. And it's cold out there and it's going to get a lot colder. It's going to be snowing. See, Shanae, at some point, he's going to have to go back in there. Umar, we're going to wait at some point. Mark my words. You're going to have to go back in there because it's going to be too cold to be outside live streaming. You're going to try to hold it off as long as you can, but you can't hold off for forever because winter is coming. And Jon Snow taught us that when winter comes, it comes with the fury. And you can't be outside getting caught. So those white walkers, key word, white walkers, they're going to come and they're going to get you. So get up in them traps, fortify that wall, family, and we need you to live stream inside those buildings. Shanae is coming. Watch. Shanae, I guarantee you. See, if he didn't lie so much, he wouldn't, be, he wouldn't back himself up into this top of a corner. Out here freezing. Out here freezing his butt off, talking about, yeah, family, we're we going we gonna to do a paint day. Some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about from the, it's, uh, from the show uh, 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 Game of Thrones. Okay, They got the other one, the House of the Dragon. That's supposed to be coming out the next season, supposed to come out. That was okay, you know. And then uh, what's the other one I'm really great waiting on? I can't remember what it is. Uh, oh, Lord of the Rings. They're working on the next one for the uh, Rings of Power. Anyway, Dracarys. Yeah. That's right. The Game of Thrones family. There we go. So I told y'all, see, I, every time I tell y'all about this scam, the scam and stuff, the deep stuff, and that Umar start texting. <laughs> Umar, don't just stop it, man. I already done told you to stop. Every time. We only need about 30 to 40 people. <laughs> 30 to 40. Umar B, he probably watching this right now. Umar, you want to call in? That's what I want to do when we do our Jay Morrison series. I want Jay Morrison to call in. That's because he'd be talking to the circle. I'm saying, listen, sir, all the circle talk has to stop. Okay, it's a direct question. I need I, I'm asking and I'm, I'm demanding a direct answer. All right, let's go. Here we go. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas spent his whole life destroying black progress, brothers and sisters. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. <laughs> we got to right. paint this school up. And by the way, I think we're going to have a paint day next month. I think I think the spirit is telling me the FDMG paint day is going to be next month. I think the spirit is telling me that the FDMG paint day yeah, well, they were. I don't know if they still are, but they were for many years after he purchased them. They, I don't know. I mean, I can ask KKC. He would know. I haven't looked into that paperwork in a while. But yeah, no, they were on the vacant property list. And uh, the vacant property list, you have to pay fines for that. Just wasted money. Uh, I did check on the taxes. He owes $113,000 in back taxes. And he hasn't paid any of on that side. of the, That's the other side of the school that he hasn't been going over in. Uh, he hasn't been in there in years and doesn't show it. Uh, those taxes have, uh, uh, those, what that's uh, almost three years past due and it's just accumulating fees and it's up to 113,000. That's y'all's money too. You my Johnson followers. That's y'all's money. It's going blown, blown up in smoke. He doesn't care though. Cause it's not like he has any skin in the game. He's not doing anything. He gives the illusion of progress like painting, but he's not doing anything. It, it doesn't, any bills associated with these properties. 
um, it doesn't matter to him because he doesn't plan on opening up a school. But furthermore, it's not his money anyway. Technically, it's other people going to be paying for anything and everything. Doesn't have a job, doesn't have his own income, et cetera. Right? It's going to be in December for my loyal donors. We don't need everybody. We don't need everybody. We probably going to put three people per room. That's about, we don't need no more than Thirty to forty. <laughs> thirty to forty. Well, he was really calculating in that mind. I said, "Man, <laughs> we right. only need about thirty to forty people maximum." I hope so you if you're a loyal donor and you want to paint, text myself. If you a loyal, if you don't do, <laughs> there's another example that people forget about was the HVAC saga. Y'all remember that? <laughs> well, that HVAC saga was going on for years, <laughs> but. But then he said the oh, HVAC was all done. Then he said, but we have to order the controls, family. We have to order the HVAC controls. It's always something. <laughs> it's always so. A lot of people forgot about the HVAC controls. He needed the HVAC control. Anyone remember to hit the one? My Wesley Snipes Africans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wesley Snipes. He did. He was in a really good uh, Netflix with uh, the the uh, comedian that Umar said used to come over to his house and play video games with his brother. From from he was from Philadelphia. What you all know the comedian I'm talking about? Uh, he used to be really funny. He ain't funny anymore. Uh, but he was in a, uh, this this Netflix special. It was a move uh, like a. Uh, drama series or whatever with Wesley Snipes. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Hart. Uh, if y'all haven't seen it, it'd be, it'd be, y'all should check it out. <laughs> it said 30 to 40 once. <laughs> What's up, Ruben? Yeah, Kevin Hart did a great job in that, too. He did fantastic. All right. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was really good. It was so good. All right, let's get back to it. Here we go. Donate to the school. If you haven't donated, you can't paint. We don't need you. Okay, but if you're a loyal donor and you want to paint, You've been donating, you've been riding with us for these whole nine years. Text my cell, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a donor to the Frederick Douglass, a consistent donor, not no one-time donor, you're a one-time donor, we don't need you. Consistent and repeated donors. That sound like uh, when he was on Lord Jamar. Talking crazy. He said, if you only donated once, we don't need you. The audacity of this guy. And so um, ungrateful. That's why I always thank people. They send in super chats or the PayPal or the cash. I always thank, I thank people because I'm, I'm appreciative. Umar on the other hand, he, we don't need you. You only going to make one donation. I, I, we don't need you. You ain't even got no job though. How are you gonna? You need, you need. That's all you always say. I need, I need, I need. Family, I need a painter. I need a woodcrafter. I need a wood woodpecker. He just be coming up with all. I need Scooby Doo. I need Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> I said what? <laughs> If you are interested in being at the paint day next month, December 2023, to paint up the school, brothers and sisters, to paint up the school, brothers and sisters, text my phone. If you still got ideas on color schemes, text my phone. Speaking of color schemes, hold on one second. Pay attention. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to prove point number one. Remember, point number one that I'm going to prove is that Umar recycles these schemes to give the illusion of progress. Uh, progress, excuse me. Up here, sound like Charles Barkley. <laughs> here we go.
Speaking of color schemes, Africans, here go the color scheme right here. Where my ladies at? How y'all want to do the classrooms, family? What color we going to do the hallways, family? What color we going to do the bathrooms, family? What color we going to do the teacher's lounge, family? We need color schemes for the first school in American history built by the entire African diaspora. Can I get some of my Caribbean Africans to come to Pause. This is from 2023, a couple of days ago. Let's go back to in time, everybody. Uh, excuse me. This was from 2023. This next video, well, I'm not even going to tell you today. This in the, it's in the thumbnail. Look, watch this. Okay, yes, sir. They, they actually broke in from the inside. They yeah, actually got in. Yeah, you can walk up the steps. Okay, brothers and sisters, guess what I have in my hand? The color code to paint the outside building. We're going to get the Honorable Marcus Garvey building. That's the one you can see in the background. That's the element. We're going to get it painted. And I want your input. What color should we paint the outside? Right now it's yellow. Oshun gold. Oshun gold. Mama Oshun is the ruling Orisha of this campus. Oshun gold. Let's look at the color scheme. What color do we want to paint the school? Do we want to go with yellow? Do we want to go with orange? What about these greens? I'm an Ifa devotee. Our colors are green and gold. Should we go with a green? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from brothers and sisters. I want to hear from brothers and sisters. I want to hear from brothers and sisters. What color should we paint the outside? We got all these colors. Florida Keys blue. Do y'all want to go with a blue? What color y'all want to do? Three to paint up the school, brother. Where my ladies at? How y'all want to do the classrooms, family? It's the same thing, too. It's the same thing. It, it's the same colors, whatever swatch thing that he had in the other day. Now, this video is from 2023, a couple of days ago. This video Black, right here. What color do we want to? It's from 2020. This is over three years ago. He's doing the same thing. I done told y'all. I done told y'all. Ain't nothing changed. It's the same exact swatch. I need y'all to hit the one. That's what I'll, sometimes that's all I can say. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I'd say, Lord Jesus, if we could just. I just proved, look at the, all the ones in here. I just proved the point that Umar recycles these schemes in order to do what? To give the illusion of progress. Here we are three year, over three years later, and he's giving y'all, running y'all on the same game, and some of y'all falling for it. The same swatch thing that he had back in 2020, he pulls out in 2023 and says the same thing that we're going to do a paint day and family, we're going to do. And y'all, yeah, we working. We getting close. It's about to happen. Mm. Get the butter biscuits out. No, no, no. Ain't, 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 it's the same thing. That's right. That's how my mind works, too, because when, that, when it, I saw the thing, when he's holding the things out like this, I said, ping, ping. I said, no. I said, no. I said, he already did this before. I just got to go find out. Oh, let me go into my notes. OK, there it is right there. The paint day video with the swatches, because I remember he said something very specific back in 2020. Some of y'all don't remember, but I remembered. He said something very specific. And that's why we're going to go back to the 2020 video. I'm going to play it. That's right. The, 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 the windows are still boarded up. All that. He won't board it up brown paint. <laughs> the paint that they used the first time, they got it out of this shed area. <laughs> Basically, it's a room that Umar hadn't gotten into. They had to get the guy to come out, the locksmith, and they had to saw their way in this is some full job and inside of that storage room that he said we're gonna turn into a bookstore in a in a restaurant <laughs> it, i mean that storage room wasn't no big from like right here to cookie crush chat side <laughs> i know we already got to the first goal we had did we get to 250 likes but anyway inside of that storage area don't say nothing about my pants either. I couldn't find, I only got two pairs 
of regular pants that I wear. Everything else is uh, this, and I got some black ones with holes in them, and I got some old, old, old. I'm talking about FMG old pants that I can't even wear because they're so torn up. You don't worry about it. I'm gonna get me some. I'm gonna get me some clothes. All these kids, they got nice stuff, though. I tell you that. <laughs> it, it, he goes into this this story, and when inside there, there's all this paint. These just buckets upon buckets of paint that was used to paint the building by the J. Moore Moyer Academy. And that paint was colored the same mustard yellow, whatever you want to call it, as the outside of the building when he purchased them. And guess what? When they do the paint day the first time, what paint do they use? Because he he goes and goes shopping. He said, yeah, I'm trying. I'm going to pull it up. He's talking about he's going for the cleanup day. I should pull that up. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. But he ends up using the same paint that was in that storage room. Old paint from when the Moyer Academy was functioning. And instead of painting it, look at sisters or brothers and sisters, these swamp, what color are we going to paint? No, he just he just just gives the illusion like he's really thinking about. It. No, he goes and paints the same color that it was from the beginning. And he never finished either. So I just still look like all uh, trap coat. Uh, anyway. He went to trap coat. That's where he went. All right, so to be clear, this video color right we going to do the hallways, family. What color? This is from 2023 yesterday, and this video right here is from 2020. I'm going to go with a purple lilac. What color do we want to paint the schools? Okay, Umar, I don't think it's lilac. Maybe in some other foreign countries, but from where I come from, it's lilac. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, Cook, so if I'm wrong, y'all let me know. Okay, there we go. What color? Do we want to paint the schools? What color do we want to paint? What color, y'all? Y'all want to go with a 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 oya all burn the cinnamon? Y'all want to go with a brown? What y'all want to go with? What color we want to paint the school, y'all? Y'all want to go with a blue or yellow? Y'all want to go with a green? What color do y'all want to paint? The exactly. School? I'm only oh, is asking those. If you're not a donor, I'm not talking <laughs> to you. Y'all want to go with red? Y'all want to go with the Shango red? Not the Shango red. Y'all want to go with an Oshun orange? Y'all want to go with a baby blue? We can't do no <laughs> pink. This is not a. Uh, this is not the Alphabet Communities Hot. Academy. Hot. <laughs> what y'all want to do? We're not painting the school black, Delroy. I appreciate the black power, but we're not painting the school black. Okay. We are black and proud, but if we paint them schools black, I won't have no students. You know black folks scared of black. Oh you know black goodness. folks scared of black. Y'all want to go with a khaki color? Y'all want to go with a khaki? Let me tell you what I'm thinking. Can I tell y'all <laughs> what I'm thinking? Purple. I'm thinking what we stay want? with the same color, but a different shade. This is where I'm at. No, the reason why you're going to stay with the same color is because you had gotten that paint. You found that paint. Well, this guy... I can pull it up, but we're going to be here for the rest of the year. I can't. We're going to paint the same because you know that that old paint from the Moyer building is inside of that little shed. I'm looking at linen marine, <laughs> yeah. cool corner. butter. I'm looking at yellow what? finch, jasper yellow. I'm thinking about keeping it the same color. I want you to text me what color you want to go with. Text me the color, 215-989-9858. We gonna make it a vote. We gonna take a vote. What color do y'all want? See that door back there wide open? What color do y'all want the campus, brothers and sisters? What color do y'all want oh, the campus? Ladies, this is a boys school, ladies. Remember that now. But well, we can go with something <laughs> like a nice cool green. Y'all like that right there, that cool green? Y'all like that cool green? <laughs> Ogun green, but oh, Oshun man. is the ruling Orisha. That's why I was thinking about <laughs> staying with the yellows. I was thinking about staying with the no, yellow. No, the reason why he won't stay with the yellows is because that's what you found in the trap. That's what you found. Black and Anonymous got it right here on the thing. If you don't stop. I'm going to put this one. I normally don't put links in the chat, but here, I'm going to put it in the chat. Shout out to Black and Anonymous. Y'all go look over here right quick. I could pull it up on the screen. I'm just lazy tonight. <laughs> Y'all go and look at it. Go look. I just put it in the chat room. 
Go over there and look at it. I could pull up the video too. Just so ridiculous. Here we it's go. for Mama Oshun. I was thinking about staying with the yellows for Mama Oshun. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all want to go with some brown? Y'all want to go with the khaki? Khaki color? What color we going to do to school, brothers and sisters? Text me, 215-989-9858. Let me know what color. We got a million colors. We paint in the school before the new year. We paint in the school before the new year. The sign company on their way right now. The sign company is on their way right now. We're going to choose the sign. I'm changing the sign. We change. He, he didn't change the sign until the end of last year. You guys remember this? <laughs> it's like almost, basically, basically almost two and a half years later. In the color, we changing the sign. We're going to give your school a facelift. It's time to let the world know we are here, brothers and sisters. It is time to let the world know. Hawks flying by. <laughs> I'm going to ask the princess. Princess, I got a, I got oh, a question for you. We about to don't paint the school. Anymore. This is going to be an elementary school for boys, right? A school for boys. What color would you go with, princess? Would you go with one of them yellows? Would you go with a red? Would you? Umar, don't do that. That's, this, that's the kind of stuff that's pissed me off. Let, let the, the lady do whatever she's doing. You got to. She don't know you. She don't know nothing about no fake school, nothing. But you got to use this as an opportunity. I forgot about this. You like the green? Why you like the green? Why are you feeling that? It's more boys. The green, the light green or a darker green? Like a light dark green. In the middle. Okay, you like the green. All right, thank you, sweetie. Enjoy your day. The good sister says she'd rather go with a green, y'all. She liked the medium green. I'm gonna show y'all what the good sister, the good sister. She said go with the Ogun green. We might gotta go with Ogun. You Are we going man, with Ogun or not? Or we them big old got the big old e five two day claws. You need to cut them nails. We going with Ogun or not, brothers and sisters? Are we going with Ogun? We going with Ogun green? Are we going with Ogun? I don't know. I want to go with Ogun green. Y'all want to go with the Ogun? Y'all want to go with the Ogun? Okay, or y'all want to go with the purple? Y'all like that purple? Y'all want that purple? Y'all want that purple? We ain't doing no pink. We ain't doing no pink. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we could go with. I, don't, is, I ain't feeling the brown. I'm not feeling. I'm liking these blues though. I'm liking these blues though, brothers and sisters. Or we could keep it Oshun and go bright. Y'all want? I'm feeling the bright yellow. I'm feeling the bright yellow. I'm feeling the bright yellow, brothers and sisters. Y'all want to go with some reds, some Shango reds? Y'all want to go with the raspberry blush, hot spice, blazing orange? We can go with the blazing orange. <laughs> Y'all want to go with the, the, the blazing orange? Y'all want to go with the blazing orange? Who feeling the blazing Text. Y'all want red, y'all want blue, y'all want yellow. I'll choose the shade, but you choose the color. I'll choose the shade, but you choose the color. Somebody said dark green. I don't think it should be dark. I don't think the color should be dark. I think it's Monja. Mama. All right, so this is 2020. And then we were just watching a video from uh, yesterday, which is 2023. Uh, and so well, let's get back to this one. This is show you guys. It just proves my point. We got about 900 people in the building. Y'all hit the like button. I appreciate it. Then I'll get to these super chats. Then I, I got something else I want to show y'all. Here we go. I'm going to do the bathroom. We don't need everybody. Loyal donor and you in the paint text myself. 23 to paint up the. I'm going to do the bathroom.
going to do the bathrooms family what color are we going to do the teachers lounge family we need color schemes for the first school in american history built by the entire african diaspora can i get some of my caribbean africans to come to paint day can i get some of my continental africans to come to paint day can my nigerians my Ghanaians, my zambians my gambians my ugandans my south africans my basu too can i get some somali can i get some eritrean can i get some ethiopian can i get some congolese donors to come to the paint day can I get some Honduras Africans? Can I get some of my, uh, yeah. uh, 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 my Belizean Africans? Can I? And go make it. I get some Brazil. Can I get some London Africans? Some French Africans? Some German Africans? What color y'all want the schools, family? What colors we gonna do the school? Two colors per class. What well, what color y'all? I need colors. I need colors, family. Colors. I need colors. colors. What y'all want to do? I need some color schemes. Text me some color schemes. 215-989-9858. We need some color Oops. schemes, family. It's the same thing. We need thing. some color schemes. Oh, yes. Three years later. If you want, if you are a consistent donor, consistent donor, text my phone and say, Doc, I would like to come paint. And then I'm going to tell me, and you need to say how much you've donated. Text your name, your city, and how much you donated and say, I would like to paint. Text your name, your city, how much you donated and say, I would like to paint. Text your name, your city, how much you donated and say, you would like to paint. It's time to paint. We painting next month. I'm tired of waiting, y'all. I'm tired of waiting. We painting next month. I'm next month is December. Snow will be on the ground. It will be freezing. It will be snowing. But you know what? Umar doesn't care. Because it was just three years ago, on October 31st of 2020, that Umar had these old women up here painting. And I wasn't going to do it, but for nostalgia's sake, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull it up right now. This is one of the just... It's sad, disappointing. It's... It's uh, manipulative, it's predatory. Watch this right here. Let me know if y'all can hear the audio. Peace and black power family. Come on in, it's the Prince of Pan-Africanism. Don't mind me ladies, I'm drama, okay? Don't be drama like Dr. Umar. It's the Prince of Pan-Africanism, we live. Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. We are under the, the full moon in Taurus, October 31st, last day of the month, full moon in Taurus. All right, daylight saving time tonight, very special day. Halloween for the coons, you know. But uh, see those buckets right there? The link that I provided you guys uh, to Black Anonymous, those links, you'll see those same buckets in the storage. I could pull it up. I just, I would have to go and find. I don't feel like it. I'm being lazy. <laughs> Is that you, baby? Yeah. Okay, I'll take this thing off. I'm let it play. We out here painting with the loyal donors. Everybody you see behind me is a loyal donor. Not only do they give their money, they yeah. came out today to give their time. Brothers and sisters, we giving the most honorable Marcus Garvey School a facelift. You understand? We giving the Nat Turner, Jean Jacques Dessalines, okay, Gymnasium a facelift. And our storage building, I forgot who I named that after. We giving that a facelift too. Cut it out. So we out here. Check us out. Paint day. Yesterday was the book signing in New York, but I'm back to work today. Yesterday was the book signing in New York, but I'm back to work today. We getting it in, brothers and sisters. Notice that he's not working. And guess what color the paint is? Okay. Nat Turner yellow. Nat Turner yellow is the color of the paint. Look at that. Well, it's just Turner for the white folks, but for us, it's Nat Turner yellow. You know what I mean? So we doing what we do. I know some of y'all want to come volunteer, but you can't do that today. This is only Loyal Donors Club. If you want to join the Loyal Donors Club, go to drumarjohnson.com and sign up for bronze, $50 a month. Sign up. Listen, if you have to pay him to come and paint, hey, you're giving him your money to go work for him. <laughs> I mean, that's worse than slavery. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's, it, he just ex he's, he exploits people, and this is a primary example. And uh, most of these people up here are older black women. 
No shame. It was cold out there because I remember we looked it up and it, I, I think it was like 40 degrees or 30, something like that. These people are women out here freezing. For silver, $100 a month. Sign up for gold, $250 a month. Sign up for platinum, $500 a month. Sign up for diamond, $1,000 a month. Brothers and sisters, help us raise the money to get the school completed. We need 250 k for the HVAC system, brothers and sisters. It's the HVAC that's keeping us back right now. It's the HVAC that's keeping us back. And here goes Sister Kita and Brother Manny. Late, but they're here. Sister Kita, say yeah, what's rest up in peace, uh, Rest in peace, Brother Manny. The other thing, didn't he, what did he say for the HVAC? Hold on one second. It's the HVAC that's keeping us back. And here goes back right now. It's the HVAC completed. We need 250 k for the HVAC. 250k, but he said he only spent 50,000 on the HVAC. This guy be lying. Dang. HVAC system, brothers and sisters. It's the HVAC yeah, rest, that's rest keeping peace, us man. back right now. It's the HVAC that's keeping us back. And here goes Sister Kita and Brother Manny. Late, but they here. Sister Kita, rollers for y'all. Let me see. One brother went. Oh, yeah, we got enough. All you got to do, Brother Manny, Sister Kita, grab a roller, pop your uh, thing on. Yeah, and what we doing is we painting this side of the building. And the storage at the end. See that building on the corner? We are right here. Okay, the storage, that's the, the storage area that he gained access to. And that's where all this paint was located. So all this showing swatches and all that stuff, he he already knew that he, they were going to be using this uh, yellow paint, this old paint. Because when they when they opened up the, uh, the storage, the guy that was in there, Umar had commented on the guy in there was like, no, it's old. In other words, you can't use that. But Umar, that's what he used. They never finished painting everything either. Well, I tell you. Uh, so I hope that proves point number one. Let's go back to this video here. Waiting, family. We painting next month. I'm tired of waiting. What we going to do? You got a color scheme idea? Who going to decorate my office? Where the queens at that's going to decorate the principal's office? Can I get some queens to, to can I get some queens to volunteer to decorate my office? What we going to do, ladies? What color is my carpet? What color is my desk? What color is the bookshelf? What color is the curtains? What color should the curtains be in the classroom? Talk to me, family. Talk to me, family. The, Cookie Crush Chat, do you guys want me to pull up the, where he, the storage the storage area? Do, if you want me to pull it up, hit the one. Okay, let's take a quick break. Let me get some, some of these super chats again. I think they won't send the super chats. It's kind of frustrating to see that again because that, that actually upset me that he had these women out here. I'm, I'm different. I, I don't believe in that. Okay, people call me sexist. I don't, I don't care. But but you don't have you don't have that's a job for first of all, Craig. Why are you going to be painting during a month where it's either going to be raining or it's going to be snowing? See, up to that point, he had had those buildings for over two and a half, almost three years. Why not do it during? And the reason I'm bringing that up is because after the paint day they had gone, he had was somewhere else the following day and he was recording he was live streaming he said something to the effect you know it was raining it was raining we have to stop so you have to stop because it started raining while they were painting well why didn't you think about that before you get to get to all this start this painting wouldn't you check the weather in advance you check a week in advance at least so that's not even how it's supposed to be done you don't do that it just goes to show you that that he so if he can't even put together a paint day even though he did get these people to come out there like like uh, slaves to come work out there for free on the plantation. If how is he going to open up a school if he can't even organize this in, in such a way to where they maximize on the quality of the work? Because these aren't professional painters. See, notice how when he was showing those swatches, he had the, the truck in the back with the guy that looked like a from, from the I can't remember what the truck's name, but it was a professional painting company. He was given the illusion that they were going to be painting these buildings professionally. So give me, I need you all to send me donations. That's not what he did. What he did was he flipped it around and he has his loyal donors come up there. So all y'all who sent them money during, back then in 2020, because he said he's going to have it professionally painted. And that's why he had the swatches that sent them money for that. He scammed you again, because what he ends up doing is he ends up going to get the same paint that was in the storage. I can play the video right now. That's what he's using. And then he gets to his own donors who already send them money each month to come and do it for free. Y'all got played again. My point I'm making is you don't have no woman out there in the first place. Y'all call me racist if you want to. If it's cold outside and something got to get done, I'm not going to have my wife doing it. I'm going to go do it. She want to make me some tea. That's fine. But you ain't going to get out there because you don't expose the women to the elements like that. You just don't do it as a man. 
if I had to choose between my sons going out there and, and my daughter's going out there to go do something that's cold out there, it's snowing. Who are you? Who y'all think I'm going to get up out there? My daughters? No, you guys out your mind. But not only does Umar have the women, these are older women. Tiff was there, though. Tiff the Griff was there. She ain't old, but you know, she ain't got no problem. She was she was rah rah back then. <laughs> she was she, she loved her as a Umar. Umar didn't like her though. He didn't like her. He was scared of her. Anyway, not to get sidetracked, my Wesley Snipes Africans. Let me do these real quick. All right. Is this an adult painting school? Always painting, always talking about painting. It's the FMG Paint Club. That's what it is. Got these old people up here painting outside these traps out here in the cold. Then it rained, they have to stop. <laughs> this is such foolishness. It never finished either. So they roll in the paint. They don't even, they're not even painting properly. They just, I one time the one was rolling going this way. <laughs> it was going this way with the roller. I said, hey, man. <laughs> I said, bless your heart. Bless your heart. Thanks, a lady. One chat. Uh, James, what's up? James says, I'll pay my donations in bulk. <laughs> All right, we got the 300. All right, let me go. Let me, I think we did 250. Did we do two? I can't remember. I, maybe 300 was the one. Let me go pull up and put another light on. And also, uh, thanks for that, James. Uh, MHB Television sent in a super sticker. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Sal says, Brown Catalyst site, Brown for the Hallways. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys don't know, and most of y'all should know by now, uh, the EPA came out and they did an inspection of that property, amongst other properties in that area, and they defined the, those buildings, the one that Umar, Umar purchased, as brownfield catalyst sites. Uh, and part of the reason why was because before they were they were refurbished the first time, going back over a decade ago, they were part they were a chemical uh, a chemical chemical production plant. And they had tanks under them. They supposedly had removed the tanks. That's why they don't have uh, any basement area uh, up there, because what would have been the basements, they had uh, storage tanks for chemicals and that kind of thing. So when the EPA comes out and takes a look, um, what they what they uh, find is that they define or classify these the grounds there where these buildings are sitting as brownfield catalyst sites. Brownfields are any uh, uh, area or land, it could have a building on it. It could have, it could be building less. It could just be land where there's toxic substance, uh, sus substances either on top of the land or in the soil or under, right? And that it's, um, it's not recommended that w uh, that uh, people, human beings, have any contact with that. That's that's telling in and of itself. What the EPA suggested to the city of Wilmington, they suggested that they tear those buildings down and repurpose the land. Land like that, you can get away with uh, re uh, uh, you know, paving it over and turning it into a parking lot. That's why those buildings that 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 uh, those buildings are classified, they're zoned as light industrial. Why is it light? Ind well, because uh, Wilmington was a. I did all the research. Wilmington it was an industrial land, uh, industrial town, and, and that's why there's a stone quarry right over when Umar, Umar he he's talked about it. But there's this little lake, right? There's a, a river too, but there's like this small lake. That was a stone quarry that they end up filling in with water. Uh, the children have drowned in that uh, in the past, too. And that, at a certain point, they finally cordoned it off and put a gate around it. But uh, the point being is uh, that that whole area, Wilmington and that whole area, had a lot of issues with um, pollution, whether that's in, uh, on the surface, in the soil or underground, because of all of the, the toxic chemicals that were either being produced or being uh, spilled in that area going back uh, decades ago. It was it was an industrial town. Right. So that's what you're talking about. If anyone doesn't know Brownfield Calisite, you can go look it up. Go look up, go, go, go Google it. Uh, this is sick. He wants to truly he 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 wants the truly blind and dumb. It is sick because. It, it shows that he doesn't really care. On one hand, it shows he doesn't care about his supporters because he's basically telling you all that he's going to do something that he's he supposedly already did. And, he, and when he initially promoted what he said that what he's supposedly already did. He brought out the same swatches to get people riled up and get people excited like he was really going to do something. And then here we are three years later and he's doing the same thing just to get more money out of you. And you guys know, I, I try to be uh, nice to Umar Johnson supporters, but if you guys are following this stuff and you really believe this at this point. Now, some of you guys don't know the history. I know the history and could cross chat. Many of you guys know the history, but a lot of you Umar Johnson followers, you don't know the history. If you know the history and you're still following along with this, well, then this would apply right here. I try to be nice. 
because you guys are victims. You just don't realize it yet. You don't realize it. A lot of the people in the cookie crush chapter right now used to support Umar, but they, they woke up and they realized that this school is nothing more than a scam that's been going on for 13 years. And he hasn't made any significant progress whatsoever in 13 years. Now he's rehashing the idea of painting the outside of these buildings, even though he did that before. OK, and thanks all to everybody for, for all the likes. I appreciate it. We got two. I think I, I think our other goal was 500. So when we get to 500, y'all let me know we get that. We got to get there because I, I, if we don't get the last C on there, I just I don't I don't feel, I don't sleep good. <laughs> all right. We got about 900 people in the building. Thank you all so much. Old Southern Cook says, how about the color refund red for donors can get their money back? I know that'd be nice. Refund red. Hashtag refund red. Yeah. The thing is, uh, the donors. I, I would think that if there was a donor who sent him like 20,000 or 40,000, like the people that were sending Caesar, Caesar Fania or people who were uh, investing in the Tulsa real estate fund with Jay Morrison, that was a serious scam. Both of them are ridiculous. They it would probably make sense to go through through some legal means in order to get your money back and money back. In fact, Tony the Closer, he he did a video because there is this uh Puerto Rican, he's a Latino uh musician. He's he's been nominated for Grammys and stuff that uh got scammed by Caesar Pena. And the only reason why he sent him, he was suing he, it's something like four million dollars. He's suing for four million dollars. Uh the only reason why he decided to even uh, try, uh, go to Caesar Pena was because DJ Envy. See, I have these old video, older videos of er early on in this Ponzi scheme with Caesar Pena and DJ Envy. And in these older videos, they're in episodes. And if you guys and I haven't watched through them, I just download. I have them all archived because I want to start a series. It's going to be really interesting to see in the early stages how this was all compiled to where it got to where it got. In other words, it is sit and go from, OK, Cedric Pena comes onto the scene and now he's collected, you know, millions of tens of millions of dollars. Some people are estimating 80, 90, 100 million dollars Ponzi, Ponzi scheme. It just didn't go from zero to 60. There was a workup. In fact, Cesar Pena's uh, wife, I have the video, she's acting as if she knows how to do renovations and she's doing flooring and she's inside this dilapidated building doing. And I'm sitting back like, no. Wasn't fooling me. But then you look in the comments, people are like, wow, this is awesome. And that got them excited, especially you women. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and, and invest in this real estate fraud scam. I got those. Well, and then I, well, I got so much to get into on that one. I can't wait. We might we might have to start this month. Uh, anyway, um, people sent you know people investing twenty five thousand, a hundred thousand. There were a guy, one guy said five hundred thousand, another guy said a million. Obviously, this this uh, other uh, uh, guy, a Latino guy, he he it has to be for somewhere around four million because that's what he's he's suing uh, for uh, Caesar opinion for. It would make sense to go through legal means, but see with Umar, there there's people who's donating a hundred. You know, fifty dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. Next time, make it twenty. That kind of thing. So even if they wanted to go through legal means, it would cost them more to go through just to start the process than it would in terms of the initial money that they sent. You know, uh, so it's kind of sad how all this this has worked out with with this the school scam. Again, it's been going on for thirteen years now. Uh, thanks, whole Southern Cooks. If you got my email, email, email me. And if you got a website for your products, let me know. Just email it to me, and I'll, I'll look into it. Okay. Uh, Maurice Charles, how's it going? Uh, been a member for 28 months. Okay, according to Umar, that's a year and a half. <laughs> that's that's almost that's 30 to 40 days. Okay, say good night, Lynn, and I appreciate all you do exposing this scammer. It amazes me that law enforcement has has not stopped in to uh, stepped in to take this clown down. Yeah, I know it is. It's been going on for 13 years. But again, I think that if if he was up there in the tens of millions, I think that that the law enforcement would have jumped on this. My best estimate is that he's at two point five to three million dollars by now. Um, and again, it's smaller donations from a lot of people, whereas Jay Morrison was a lot of uh, a higher amounts of donations from uh, lesser people. And then with Caesar Pena, it's even less, less people. But he's swinging for the the the, the uh, ho uh, it's not even a home run. He's going for the grand slam. See, Umar is nickel and diming. Uh, polite is like the next tier. Jay Morrison is the next tier, but the ultimate tier is 
uh, Cesar Pena because he was getting people for literally a million dollars here, 500,000. So it's not as many victims, but the amount of money that he was able to get out of people was a whole lot more than anyone else because the amount of money that these few fewer victims were give, giving was significant amount, significant amounts of money. All right, thanks Maurice, uh, Maurice Charles uh, for the super chat. Everyone else too, thanks for the super chat. Okay, so let me do this before we get back to it. I'm gonna, I wanna show you all what I, what I was talking about with the, um, the paint. Okay, and then when he, Umar went in here and, uh, wait a minute, is this it? Oh wait, I just showed you the paint day. Here, let, let me go back to this real quick. Actually, no, let, let, let me go back to this video right here. And then I'll, I'll go and find this other one. Give me a second. Talk to me, family. Hit the cash app. We got to buy the paint. Hashtag. Hit the cash. You got to buy the paint? It's the same thing as before. Same exact thing. Cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Stop worrying about where my wife's at. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. What color do y'all want the bathrooms? What color is the teacher's lounge? What color? Okay, this is 2023, but I got, I have to show you all this. Uh, look at this real quick. So ridiculous. This is from 2020. See this? None of these people are around anymore either, by the way. Brother Tone from Nashville. Tell her why it was important for you to come up. Oh, man. He drove out from Nashville. Yeah, Lino Horror. That's what Umar called me, Lino Horror. <laughs> oh, my goodness. King Kong Consciousness, Dr. Papa Boulevard. We got our two doctors over here. They're actually surgeons in real life. And they came to volunteer. I hope not. Goodness gracious. it out. I hope you're not. Well, I'll tell you, that's, well, that's, that's super sad. Here we go. The school library. What color is the parent visitor center? What color is the activity room? Talk to me, Africans. What color are we going to paint these classes up, family? Oh, yes. I build institutions. You build YouTube pages. I build institutions. You build yeah, YouTube Omar. pages. He's talking I about build me. institutions. <laughs> Burberry curtains. You must be out of your mind. You think I'm going to decorate my school with some expensive European ne Negro type stuff? You think I'm going to have some Gucci curtains in a Pan-African school? Some Burberry curtains in a Pan-African school? You think I'm going to have some Louis Vuitton curtains in a Pan-African school? You sick, materialistic slave. What makes oh, you wow. think I would dare decorate a school for African liberation with a whole bunch of European symbols and names and titles? Get off the plantation, you damn Uncle Tom. Get off the plantation, you... See how he's talking? It's just, again, he's talking about black people, right? Again, like I said earlier, uh, Umar Johnson follows, yeah, you tearing another black man down. All Umar do Johnson does is talk bad. He's, he's abusive. Man, don't make me do it. I know I'm supposed to pull up a storage video. Don't make me pull up this other video. I I, I can't. I, I can't. I, I have to. I have to stay focused. We're gonna have to come back to it though at this at another time. Remember the video where Umar he said the fall good. I never watched the whole video, but if you listen to the whole video, there's some things that he says in there that I was I because I, I heard it when I was skipping through, and I heard I said, did he just say what he said? He's an he's an abuser, verbally and potentially otherwise. If I pull up the video, uh, 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 Billy Dean, I can't do it because then we got to scroll through it to find where he actually said that. I was just skipping through. I mean, we could do it, but we, uh, now I, I got all these other videos I need to pull up and all that. But I, let's stay focused, family. We have we must stay focused. All right, which video is it? This one. Damn Uncle Tom, get off the plantation, you damn Uncle Tom. 
Before I go any further, good afternoon to all my beautiful African natural headed sisters. Where are my natural queens at? If you natural, I want to see some hearts. Where are my natural queens at? Y'all in the building? All natural hair, no weave, no perm, no European hair color. All natural hair, no weave, no perm, no European hair color. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where are my natural queens at? Where are my brothers who don't bunny hop? If you are unapologetically African, <laughs> anti bunny hopper, women. My- I don't, I don't, I, I don't bunny hop. I did have a white girl when I was in the ninth grade. I already admitted that. Omar, I'm sorry. Okay, I had, they had the jungle fever. I was in the ninth grade. I, 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 I did. I partook. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I, w- I was 12, 12, 13, 12, because I was a year ahead back then. I had some smarts back then. I'm sorry. I partook. I, I fell victim to the snow bunny crisis. Okay, I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least I admit it. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all in the snow bunny crisis right now, like Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, you ain't fooling me. You not fooling me. You can laugh all you want, Queen, but we know what the deal is, family. Miss, we know vanilla fudge. <laughs> I had sugar cookie fever, family. I <laughs> hey, some of y'all had that vanilla waffle cone. <laughs> I'm turning the light on for that one. I don't care about the likes tonight. I'm turning the light on this one. Just because. Thank you. Don't tell Umar, though, because I don't want him mad at me. All right? All right? Some of y'all have been snow free. That's fine. That's for you. do I've been sanctified, family. All right. You you had your French vanilla lattes only one time. <laughs> the Nilla way for madness. Okay. All right. All right. That's what Ubar's talking about when he, he's talking about the snow bunny. He's talking about people that he don't like interracial relationships. That's what he's saying. <laughs> By the way, I played the video with a woman that was Uma went to the restaurant and, and said, hey, gorgeous, and it was a white woman. Y'all remember that? Hit the one. Uh, some one of you Umar Johnson followers, stop it. You got to stop. It was, they, email, they sent me a message talking about, well, you know, uh, that it could have been a black woman, light skin. I said, will you stop? I was like, are you serious? You in... You you guys are that I don't even know what it's called. It's got to be something going on up here. But you do anything to defend your cult leader. You're, that's what it is. You're in this cult and you'll say anything to defend this cult. He talks all this mess about white people. You talk about how black people shouldn't be dating outside the quote unquote race. Even though all you black people out there, all y'all, you got some white in you. Stop playing. OK, all y'all. If there's a black race, you ain't it, family. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you, you not it. You're an ethnic group, and that's okay. I'm an ethnic. I don't have a problem with that. But you, Umar Johnson followers, you guys have defend this guy so much that he talks all this mess about how we shouldn't be dating outside the race and white people. They're evil and they all racist, and we we gonna have to blah blah blah. All you know, all that foolish talk. And yet, when he was up there at that restaurant, I could pull it up. Don't make me pull it up. Hey, gorgeous. Umar goes up there and he says, hey, gorgeous to this white woman. You, Umar John Paul, you got the nerve to come up. And, and, and I, I was like, are you serious? It could. But, you know, that could have been a black woman because, you know, black people are all colors. Do I need to pull it up? I remember when that video went up live, people in the comment section live. On, on uh Facebook, they were like, Why are you complimenting this, that white woman? Well, since do 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 
since Black Mario said pull it up, we're going to pull it up. Foo Chill says, don't do it. <laughs> that woman has so many big, big old, she has some big old hands, family. Her hands, I said, she look like she can twist a pipe off of a rope. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? Do I, let me just pull it up real quick. It ain't gonna take but a second. I already I have it's under the special section. <laughs> I have I have it in the specials folder. Here it is, right here. A special request. <laughs> she, she can oh she can open up a pineapple a coconut with two two thumbs and a nickel. <laughs> her hand was bigger. Her hand was bigger than the earth. <laughs> well, you know, you, but you put her in Mike Tyson punch out. She done knocked Mike Tyson out in fourteen seconds. All right, here we go. Yes. <laughs> she can palm a basketball with an index figure and pinky. <laughs> she, could, she bet she could palm a basketball with these fingers right here. <laughs> Let me stop. Yep, that's what he said. Come on. <laughs> Detroit vegan salt. Oh yeah. Who are ain't vegan anyway? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know them kids, they love them for free time. <laughs> nah, she just ignored him. Here she comes. <laughs> Sesame oh, Kill. All right, I want to try your black. All right. How are you doing? How we doing there, gorgeous? Did you hear what he said? She says, how are you? He goes, how are you doing there, gorgeous? You, Umar Johnson, followed. you hear that? Okay, but now we're going to get to what the what Umar Johnson report says. Well, she's probably, she was, she could be black. Okay. All right. How are you doing? How we doing there, gorgeous? <laughs> All right, I want to try your black eyed pea hummus. Okay. I also want to do <clears throat> sesame kale salad. Large or small? Large. Okay. And what is tempeh? What is that? Tempeh is cultured soy. It's cultured soy. Let me go with the. Uh, I'm going to try the smothered the tempeh. tempeh. That's a black woman. No, come on, stop playing, y'all. I mean, Umar Johnson Falls, you guys gotta stop it. This is Umar said, "Hey, Gordon," and I don't have a problem with him saying it. I really don't. I don't. It is what it is. He was running games. He was trying to play. Try to see, he can't get that number, or get the text, or whatever. He wanted to get them draws. Ultimately, he wanted to get them draws. But all this talk, Umar talk about black people and why interracial relationships is wrong and the snow bunny crisis or the snow hair crisis and you shouldn't be dating outside the race. But when it come down to it, if he see a white woman that he, 
And no, that's not a black woman. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to stop. You have to stop. Okay? You have to stop it. You guys are big old hands. <laughs> that's definitely a plus. <laughs> I don't make me know. You got them big old hands, that family. <laughs> you got the Wreck-It Ralph hands. These are... All right. Back to the business at hand. Do I need to pull up the video? Because I'd have it right here. This was when Umar finally got into that one of the rooms where he gets to the paint. I don't know if it actually shows the paint in this one, but we'll, we'll see real quick. Hold on one second. Let me, yeah, this is it. Yeah, this, I think this is it right here. Okay, y'all check this out. Here we go. We'll do a screen share. Let me know if you guys can, can uh, hear this. All right, here we go. Brothers and sisters, I am here. Can y'all hear this? We're starting to get some work done. We actually got a room open. No, no, she does. She did look like Velma from Scooby Doo. That's why I thought she was cute. I had a crush on Velma back in the day. Y'all remember Velma from uh, Scooby Doo? I, I did. When I was a kid, I had a crush on her. I had a crush on uh, Penny from uh, Inspector Gadget. I had a, a, a crush on Chitara from Thundercats. Also had a, a crush on, I can't remember what the, huh? Yeah, I was just talking, about, I'm sorry, I was just talking about what I was, anyway. <laughs> okay, let, let, let me go ahead and let it play. Here we go. Open that we never saw before. Yeah, yeah. We starting to get some work done. We actually got a room open that we never saw before. We got a room open that we never saw before. I'm gonna show it to you. Let me peep in here one one time. Yeah, I got caught. My bad. What? <laughs> I can't. I cannot stand this ad right here. They, this ad comes on like 500 times. Hold on. Let me just let's skip through it. I can't stand this ad. It always pops up. Lady over here looking like. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. You're on the screen. Here we go. Everybody say hi. Here it is right here. To you. I don't think this is the paint Let me one. Peep in here one, one time. Uh, yeah, this this was the second video. There's another one before this one. I don't feel like going to go pick and find it though. So this, yeah, yeah, no, there's some paint up here, but there's the paint the paint buckets video. This is the room that I've never been in before. First time. We finally in. Oh, there it is right there. See right there? I'll, I'll, I'll never been in before. First time we find it. See right there. Those are the same um, buckets of paint that, that he has out there when he had those women out there painting in the cold. Same ones. And even though he said, yeah, we need to get more paint or whatever, what paint color we going to use? No, he knew. Really in here. FDMG. <laughs> so this is a room we never been in before. This might be the ancestral shrine. It might be my temporary office. Why the renovations is kicking off, brothers and sisters. We it's yeah. time. It's time to get the Garvey building ready. It's time. Yeah, it's hazardous waste. All right. Y'all got a flashlight? Yeah, you guys realize paint too, if you let it sit long enough, it does become hazardous waste. And those at that time, this was in 2020, those paint buckets uh have been in there for at least a decade. At least a decade. No, no, not a decade, at least eight years up to that point. Eight or seven, seven or eight years. All right, let's get back to this. Anti, right here. Where my anti bunny hopping African males at? Where my unapologetically African alpha males who do not bunny hop? Where y'all at, fellas? Where the black fist at? Do I got any brothers on here who do not bunny hop, who do not go outside the race? Do we got any brothers on here who absolutely do not date outside the race? Where the loyal African men at? Where are the loyal African men who are loyal to African women, brothers and sisters? I'm not obsessed with. Okay, listen, is Umar uh, married to a, a woman? Is he committed to a black woman? No, not at all. I'm about to go get me some cheesecake. Here we go. With your hair, I'm obsessed with psychological freedom. I'm not obsessed with your. No, no, no. He is obsessed with the hair, but not because of the hair itself. It is because of the psychological warfare that he can incur upon black women as a, as a means of control about continuously talking about and referencing their hair and what he thinks that you should be doing with your hair. It's just control. That's all it is.
That's part. That's like the cult thing. That's the reason why he. It's not that he's obsessed with the hair. He, he recognizes that it's a sensitive, emotional topic for for black women their hair, and that if he, he can capitalize on his ability to manipulate and control you by using that as a tool of psychological warfare against you, it's that simple. It's not complex. He's been doing this for for over a decade. So here, sister, I am obsessed with psychological emancipation. The most honorable Marcus Garvey said. I said the most honorable Marcus Garvey said. I said his excellency, the prophet and king of Pan-Africanism. Marcus Garvey said, don't take the kinks out your hair, sister. Take the kinks out your mind. Marcus Garvey said, don't take the kinks out your hair, sister. Take the kinks out your mind. Garvey said, don't take the kinks out your hair, sister. Take the kinks out your mind. I don't give a damn about no J. Edgar Hoover being no mixed race African. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Yeah, he's always uh, D. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's always pleasing. But if you mention his love life, he gets. A, yeah, he sure does. He sure does. Yeah. Yeah. He, he gets very upset about that. That's why the conscious stripper, quote unquote, conscious stripper fiasco and scandal. It, it really upset him. That set him back way back. A lot of people stepped away from him then. But the thing is that that was just one example of many in terms of Umar's sexual exploitation of black women. He's been all over the country, all over the world in point of fact. You know, and it's not about opening up a school. It's not about uh, saving black boys. It's about getting more money out of people. And in particular, it's sexually exploiting you black women. Financially and sexually exploiting you. That's really what it comes down to. Everything else is, is just, it's the smoke and mirrors to, to, to make people think that he is one thing when in point of fact, what he is, is a predator. You don't, you don't live that way continuously for like a decade and you're coming up with schemes and scams in order to keep people, uh, women's eye on you to where you can start to talk about, you know, uh, their cookies as it were. You talk about their skin color. You talk about who they should be dating. You talk about how they should be dressing. Meanwhile, what you're really seeking to do is to get those draws. You want to get he, he wants to sexually exploit them. And that's what it comes down to. That's all it comes down to. You know, uh, different these uh, different people have different motivations. Umar's motivation. It's it's not mainly money. I, I would say that that's secondary His his main uh, uh, goal and objective is to gain access to black women to sexually exploit you. Whereas Jay Morrison, clearly his main objective is to get money. OK, there's also the need for. Um, relevancy he wants people to be watching him and attention that type of thing but it, and that's secondary but it, his primary goal is to get money see with jay morrison the reason why he continues to do videos even though there's no one watching like it's it's a desert it's, it's what you call a youtube page desert no one's watching his videos and i don't mean that literally but he's getting 200 views 300 views or 500 views on some videos in his heyday there was people coming all out the woodworks but he still seeks that attention so he'll throw anything out there including doing game shows from the quote unquote black house just to get the attention. The money ain't never gonna come like it used to come. It's not. He 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 scammed black people out of over $12 million and tricked it off. And now, now at this point, he's just trying to stay relevant and trying to get attention. Well, Umar, he wants access to black women to sexually exploit them. And then secondarily, he wants the money. Okay. Uh polite. It was mainly to sexually exploit uh, black women, but it was also about the money. I would actually, I, I'm actually, I would also say that with him, it's both. I think that it, it was both. It was the lifestyle was to sexually exploit black women, and he was okay with actually exhibiting that later on and, and as he devolved. But that money was his motive, his primary motivating uh, fact was a primary motive fact, a motivating factor uh, to start. But what happened is, as more, and I talked about this before, as more and more money came in, he was able to live out his lifestyle, the lifestyle that he he really wanted, which was the whole pimp, uh, prostitute type of sexual debauchery stuff. And now he's in jail. Okay. So it doesn't matter which scammer you look at, there's going to be a motivating factor, the primary, there's going to be a secondary, there's going to be a tertiary. But the Umar, his primary motivating factor is to gain sexual access to access to women to sexually exploit black women. And that's why he gets very offended when people talk about his, his quote unquote love life. But you see, the SETI rant was a result of SETI talking about how Umar was out there trying to get at these black women. That's why Umar got so mad. You guys, I mean, seriously, do you guys want to do uh, a marathon on Thursday and we can take the top five? We may just do top three and I'll set up a poll 
of, of what I have so far for us to look at. Say it's going to be on there. We're going to do that for sure. And then we'll vote. And whatever you guys vote for, we'll do that uh, for that live stream. We'll probably start, I would think, probably about 10 a.m., maybe 11, and then uh, go until we can't go, until we get through everything. Okay. Uh, that would be on Thursday. I'll, I'll post a post and you guys decide if you guys want to do it. I'll have to get I'll be or I have to order some food or something. <laughs> so we're going to give you some drink, get order some food, something. OK, I'm sorry for going off these uh, skip belly. Thanks for super chat. Um, uh, she can fold a blanket. <laughs> How do you do that? Just <laughs> now nah, she was cute, cute, she was cute. That, that who are that's okay. I, I support you, my brother. Black power. Okay, let's see what you <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks, Dion. I hope you're doing all right, bro. And good to inform the AK Lenor, a fan of the boys and berry queens, they juicy. <laughs> the boys and berry, what are you talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? Boys and berry queens, huh? All right, okay, let's get back to it. Thanks everybody for the super chat, too. All right, where are we at? Uh, we're still on this video. So I want to get through this whole one here uh, to today. Democratic Demi National Convention is in Chicago. Democratic National Convention is in Chicago on my birthday. Democratic National Convention is in Chicago on my birthday, August 19th to the 22nd. Are we going to occupy Chicago? Are we, we going to turn out that. the Democratic National Convention? Chicago, what we going to do, Chicago? Chicago, they trying to wash y'all out with the migrants. Chicago, what we going to do? Are we going to take a stand at the Democratic National Convention in Chi-Town in August? Black August, are we going to turn up at Joe Biden's DNC? That's all I want to know. Is black Chicago ready? Is black America ready to sh Let's be clear about something. Umar, you're not going to do anything. You're not. You never do anything. Show up and show out at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago next August for justice. I said, is the black community ready to show up and show out in Chicago against mass incarceration next August? All right, just to get back on target. So I, I want to be clear. I already proved, and I'll say we, we've already proved, we have already proven that Umar Johnson recycles old schemes and he just represents them. In this case, the idea that they're going to be painting again in order to give the illusion of progress, but also to get people excited and so that they'll send him money. Okay, so let's be clear about that. But the other thing that we're gonna prove, and we're gonna be proving it here shortly, is that these abandoned buildings are nothing more, they're not schools for black boys, they're nothing more than kicking spots for older black people. And, and we're gonna prove that here in just a moment. Okay, thank you all for being patient. Uh, black dot, uh, not, how's it going black dot 95 says, I might have a, a bite, I might have to bite the bullet and get Umar on the show, it's time. Yeah, you know, Umar, if Umar ever want to come on, I, 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 Umar, you're welcome. You're welcome, come on. Okay, that won't be mean or nothing like that. You probably just get mad like you did Lord Jamar, but I, but I wouldn't be mean. I, we would just kick it, you know. I I'll get you some cheesecake, you know. I I just get you a, a slice, you know, and just send it to you. I'm about to give me some. Y'all don't mind? I don't. Y'all don't think I ate today? What did I eat today? Some ramen. That's it. Some ramen and some and some bread. Um, if Umar wanted to come on the show, I would, I would be very cordial with them. You know, I wouldn't be mean or anything like that. Um, same thing when we start our series on Jay Morrison and Jay Morrison want to come up here and try to explain away all this. I mean, you could try. I mean, I, I wouldn't be mean about it. Uh, it's just that with Umar, you, you can't expect him to tell the truth about anything. He's a habitual liar. Jay Morrison is too. They, they, they just, they're compelled to lie. They can't help themselves. They have to cover up all their schemings and scam, scamming, and they do that by lying over and over and over again. I would even propose that the idea that they're going to do a paint day to paint the exterior, that's a lie too, because they already did that. And it's already been proven that all that swatch stuff from 2020, him showing the swatches of different color and the different color schemes and all that stuff, that's a, that's a lie too, because he already knew that they had that other paint in that, uh, the yellow paint inside of the, the storage room, he already knew that. And that's what they end up using. And here we are again, three years later, and he's saying the same thing. Umar, you better paint these buildings a different color this time. I know that. You ain't going to do no painting anyway. It's about to be snow on the ground. What you talking about? Going to be out there painting while it's snowing or raining. It's already raining out there and cold. That don't make no sense. And when they paint it, they didn't do nothing. They didn't, they didn't uh, power wash nothing. They didn't prime nothing. They just painted right over the mold. Anyway, thanks, Black Dot 95. I appreciate it. Let's get back to it. Here we go. August during the Democratic National Convention, brothers and sisters. 
It's do or die, it's now or never. They trying to bury the black man and woman in America and all y'all want to do is talk. We're about celebrities. They said some of the hip hop artists is in their feelings about my comments that hip hop ain't nothing but a branch of white supremacy. I heard some of the hip hop artists are in their feelings because Dr. Umar said hip hop ain't nothing but a branch of white supremacy. I heard the hip hop artists are in their feelings because the King Kong consciousness said hip hop ain't nothing but a branch of white supremacy. Did I lie? Don't worry. The black church is a branch of white supremacy, too. So you in good company. Don't worry. See, all he does is talk trash about black people. That's all he does. He don't do nothing else but talk trash about black people. Is this guy homeless or something? I already told y'all. For those of y'all, and I'll, I'll pardon for getting comfortable, but I, I told people, uh, Cook Chris Chat, y'all know what I'm talking about. I told people, Umar doesn't have a permanent residence, and he hasn't for a very long time. What happens is that he depends on different community organizations to fly him out to speak so that they give him room and board. Okay, that's He relies on that. Okay, because it's free room board. They get half food for him and stuff like that, right? Have, they accommodate him in that way. That's why before winter starts to come, Umar gets frantic like he's doing now. He starts out, he's out there more in front of these abandoned buildings and he asks him, he's trying to get venues to get him to come out because he wants to fly out and be out of there before it starts to get cold. Every single year. So he always seeks to exploit people in that way. I need y'all to, to book me so that, I, you know, I'll come out. I'll talk for free. And he'll say that. There's, he'll tell you their tickets are free. Well, okay, why are he doesn't care. It, what does it do? It gives him a place to stay, food to eat, and access to more black women that he can sexually exploit. Probably in the same hotel motel that they put him up in. That's number one. Number two, Umar, he's admitted that he is the quote-unquote primary caretaker of his mother. How are you the primary caretaker of your mama? And you all over the place. You over in Africa. You over there on the East Coast, West Coast, down South. You up over there in, in Europe someplace sometimes. We were watching this video one time and Umar, he goes off screen and you can hear it. And, and I actually uh, put the, the video, the audio of the video into a, 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 a audio uh, editing software. I was using Pro Tools. I may have used uh, Adobe Audition back then. I don't have that program anymore. But uh, if 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 you run into the program, you clean up the audio, you, you raise up the audio and uh, you listen, you'll hear that there is a, a person that knocks on the door. That's why he gets up. Someone knocks on the door, he, he gets up and you hear him in the background. He opens up the door and he starts talking and it's, it's a caseworker and they're doing a wellness check on the mama. Umar says that the mama's not there and he says they've extended her hours. So what he's saying is as a primary caretaker and what's crazy is he's probably at that time, at least he was probably on paperwork. He's a scammer. He's probably getting paid to be the primary caretaker. Some people say, no, I don't see how that can happen because he has child support and he has that he hasn't paid and they would garnish, you know, garnish any wages. They, no, no, no. Umar has many aliases, many. It's at least uh, it's over eight. I remember I did research into that. He has at least eight aliases. So the point that I'm getting at is that he claims to be and in that video, he's claiming and he's talking to the lady and he's telling them they extended her hours. And that was, I think, his way of explaining why he was why it was that he was there. He's not supposed to be living there. The last two residents that uh, and I have the paperwork, they got evicted from and his mama's on the paperwork. He's on the paperwork and on one of the buildings in here says him, his mama and some other guy. And I looked into him. Y'all don't even want to know it. I don't even want to get into that right now. One time, Umar was doing this, this live stream. I think it was the, the school announcement video. I don't mean to be comfortable, if y'all don't mind. It was, I think it was a, the school announcement. And someone calls him on the phone. It says, Mama. And you can hear it. If you listen very carefully, you can hear her talk. But I did the wind again, same thing. But put the audio in to Pro Tools, to clean up the audio and listen carefully. And the mama scared because he, she was telling him that, that that black guy came knocking at the door again. Someone was coming up there to look for Umar. He goes, don't you open up that door. And I think this is a different video. Don't open up the, don't open up the door. Okay. 
I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be right there. Then he goes and live streams for like another hour or so. I don't think that was the school announcement. It was another video, but we covered that one too. The point that I'm getting at is that he doesn't have a permanent residence and hasn't for a long time. And so if he doesn't have a hotel room to stay in, he sought, he tries to stay with his mama. And that's why he was live streaming inside his mama's closet, literally. Okay. He was inside his mama's closet, live streaming. He had a little backdrop up there. But there's one other thing in terms of him being able to stay. And there's also times, I'm sure, where he stayed with women that he done finagled to get them to let, let them stay with them. That kind of thing. I, I, I've met quite a few black men who are like that. And it's not even black men. It's just men that, that can't get nothing going for themselves. So they rely on black women. They exploit them in that way and, and living up under her. That he ain't got no car. He ain't got no job. He, he, he don't bring home no groceries. He don't clean up. And he's just there living like he's 13, 14, like he's a 13, 14, 15 year old child dependent. And meanwhile, the woman got the job. She got the car. She paying all the bills. I don't see this so many times. It's such a shame. I ain't never had no woman. Uh -uh, can't do it. Wouldn't feel right about myself as much as I'm struggling in life. That ain't going to happen. And then the other uh option that Umar has is to live up there in those abandoned buildings. And that's why when winter comes, he's up there more. And, and what he's trying to do is trying to figure out a way. And he doesn't, I don't think he has a mental capacity to do it either, to be honest with you. I don't think he has it up here enough to be able to say, okay, what is it exactly that I need to do in order to, so I can stay up here comfortable? Because it gets too cold up there. That's why he was so fixated on getting the HVAC unit. Because he needs, if you don't have HVAC for that whole gym, because he wanted to live inside the gym, that's why he tried to fix it up in there. He was trying to put little these little rinky dink uh, air conditioned units up in, in, into the walls and stuff. Wasn't even installed right. I already knew. I could tell. He didn't even install them right. Big old gaps where wind comes straight through. How, how you gonna how you gonna put in air condition and you put put the the, the duct pipe work that goes to the outside and uh, there's the gaps in between where you can look outside and there's a light coming through. That's what happened when you got Pookie up there doing it. So that was why he was trying for, for a couple of years. He was focused, focused, focused on that gym because he wanted to make that his living space. And that's what it was. That's why and there was videos where they had an air mattress in there. What y'all think is going on if there's an air mattress in there? Huh? Come on. But see, he can't figure it out. So every single year, and then he puts it off and puts it off until winter time starts to get there. He starts freaking out. He'd be up there more and more because he's trying to figure out how, where am I going to live? It's going to start. It's about to be cold. I can't be, you know. So to answer your, your uh, question, uh, Darius, is, is this guy homeless or something? Yeah, he's, he's homeless in, in the sense that he doesn't have a permanent residence. He's always trying to find a place to be to rest his head. It's been going on for years now. And yet people think that he's going to open up a school. No, that's nothing more. That those buildings are nothing more than the kicking spot, which we're going to prove right here, right now. We got about 900 people in the building. Y'all hit the like button. I appreciate it. Thanks for the super chat. Okay, let, now let's prove the point number two right here. Here we go. By the gangster rappers, the black church is also a branch of white supremacy. So you in good company. Don't let that dog dookie on my lawn. You heard me? Why would he say on my lawn? See my point? There is key. On my lawn? Who says that? Uh, my lawn, where, where, where would you be if you said don't, don't do this or that on my lawn? Cookie Crush Chat, where would you be when you would say that? Up there kicking it with Bobo <laughs> and Earl. <laughs> Where would you be? You would be at home saying, don't do that on my lawn. See? No, it ain't y'all's lawn because y'all ain't living there. It's his lawn because that's it's the kicking spot. I'm going to prove it in just a second. <laughs> that's right. Information, man, I can tell you don't like people messing up your lawn. You'd be like, get up, uh-uh. Your kids come over, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> don't, don't you do it. <laughs> Your information man probably got a real nice lawn out here. <laughs> he ain't playing no games. <laughs> What's up, man? You'd be at home if, if, you know what I'm saying? You would be right at home to say, but that's what that's what Umar says it while he's up at, like I just said. 
Here church is also a branch of white supremacy, so you in good company. Don't let that dog dookie on my lawn. You be in la casa, that's right. <laughs> Por todo. <laughs> that's right. You heard me, beautiful? Somebody dog poop right over there. It's a fresh batch of dog poop. Was that you? I know you tell me every time you do me. Who keep duking? J. Edgar Hoover having. Did he say who keep duking? <laughs> now, I think I'll pause it too soon. He didn't say that. He did not say who, who keep duking. Hold on. Times I never been to Staten Island. Somebody dog poop right over there. It's a fresh batch of dog poop. Was that you? Who keep duking? We got the duke. <laughs> he said. He said, "Who keep duking?" <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ubar is a dookie monitor. <laughs> Who keep duking? Oh my lord. <laughs> You know, my kids be talking about the school monitors and stuff. <laughs> they be messing with the kids. The kids be walking down the hall. Leave the kids alone. Who are we up there watching the fish? He just be standing there, too. He just be sitting there. He just stand there. <laughs> he be walking back and forth. He be walking back and forth. He just <laughs> monitoring. <laughs> <laughs> he see any animal, he'd be like, hold on, hold on, stop, stop it. Are you, are you duking? <laughs> Boy, Umar, funny. It's, it don't matter what the animal is, too. It could be a squirrel. He just stop it, stop. <laughs> Birds be flying by. Are you duking? He's a dookie monitor. <laughs> That's what he do. <laughs> Boy, Umar, funny. Well, he's he's hilarious. All right. Uh, you saw the part where he said he's going to paddle black women who misbehave at FMG. No, I didn't see that. Is that this video, uh, Christopher? Is that this? Oh, thank, thank you so much uh, for the uh, birthday wishes. Yeah, my birthday was uh, uh, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. I had to work. That's why I can't, I can't even remember. Uh, did he? Well, is, is that in this, this video? Let me know. I'll look in the chat room right now. He said, who keep duking? All right, here we go. White supremacy. Did I lie? Don't worry. The black church is a branch of white supremacy, too. <laughs> He's a cookie crushing cookie. He's the most aggressive. So you in good company. Well, Don't worry about it, gangster rappers. Way. The black church is also a branch of white supremacy. So you in good company. Duke Don't him. let that dog dookie on my lawn. <laughs> yeah. He always talking about Dookie. You heard me, beautiful. Somebody oh, yeah. dog poop right over there. Yeah, uh, Gary Shelford was more, one. No, he might have been my. No, he had it for a while, a couple of years when he for, played for the Padres. He was my favorite uh, baseball player. It was him, Gary Sheffield, and Fred McGriff. Uh, I think, yeah, Tony Gwynn was still around at that time, too. Rest in peace. Uh, they had a good team around that time. Gary Sheffield, he, he was, yeah, he, 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 he got busy. I say, yeah. He had he used to, and how he used to hold his bat. I like that. He used to go like this with, it, and then he had these little three stripes on the top toward the top of the bat. I thought that was cool. I used to watch ba uh, baseball a lot back then. Um, uh, SOB says the FNG syllabus will consist of three core subjects: Dookie monitoring, <laughs> see, Dookie monitoring, rock painting, and Obatala <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but the pri uh, evidently uh, SOB the primary course. Is the Dookie monitoring? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Also, thanks, Chris, for super chat. As and all, all this, I think you as people were saying that it's in this video. I, I won't be surprised. Cause see, listen. Thanks, that's what be, Chris. I, I want to tell y'all something. Uh, I, I was I was skipping through the video where Umar kept saying for good, and I was skipping through, and there's these sections where because someone had. Put in timestamps. I was wondering why they keep putting in this timestamp where Umar starts yelling out of out of nowhere. Oh, good! And there's all these different. Uh, I was going to do a compilation of those. Maybe I'll do that if if we do the uh, 
the marathon on Thursday. If, if we do it, I'll put that together uh, for, for, for laughs. But there's this one section in there, and I ain't going to tell you all what he said, but I heard it and I said, I can't. Did he just say that? It's clear to me based on, well, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Uh, thanks uh, again, uh, SOB and Christopher. Yeah, yeah, uh, the crime. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, crime dog Fred, uh, Fred McGriff. Yeah, he was, Fred McGriff was my, one of uh, my favorite player even uh, before Gary Sheffield uh, came on to the scene because Fred McGriff was older. I think he played for uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. Do they even still have – yeah, they, do they still got a team? I don't even know. I even watched baseball so long. Uh, no, I'm thinking about the, the – no, he did play for, for them. Uh, did he play for them? I think he played for them. But I was thinking – my mind went back because I said Toronto. I was thinking of uh, – what's the team – his son plays now, but he used to uh, – Vladimir Guerrero, I used to, he was one of my favorite basketball players too. His son plays now, is really good. But he played for the Expos. The Expos, they, they don't exist anymore. They moved somewhere else. I can't remember where they moved to. Anyway, uh, let's get back to it. Okay, we almost there. Okay, yeah, let's get to 500, everybody. I, pre I appreciate it. Yeah, he played for the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the Blue Jays. Yeah, yeah Fred McGriff. Yeah, he was one of my favorite uh, baseball players for a long time. All right. Okay, let's get back to it. Here we go. Hey, it's a fresh batch of dog poop. Was that you? I know you Who keep duking? We got the do we got the do dot doo doo <laughs> signs up, and they still duking. Oh, duking! Wow. Keep your eyes out for me. Take a picture if you catch some of them. I gotta get to the bottom of who dog keeps shitting on the FDMG property, family. We gotta handle this. We gotta handle this. That's a beautiful black dog, though. What's your name, gorgeous? Sister Jane, you, you one of my neighbors? Yeah, Watch this, here. everybody. Keep. I've never seen you looking. before, Sister Jane. You in this row right here? Yeah. Here we go are. right here. How long you been there? Maybe like four months. Oh, you just got there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> pleased to meet you, Sister Jane. Nice you. Okay, there goes the dog. So yes, indeed, brothers and, and sisters. Watch this. Yes, indeed, brothers and sisters. We got to get the school painted. We got to show up for Chicago because if they take Chicago, they take the whole Black America. See him looking over. If Watch they this. take Chicago, they take the whole black America. If they take Chicago, okay. they okay, take yeah, the whole black America. Video. If they take yeah, New York City, Thanks, we man. need to have a black New York City migrant town hall conversation. Where about New York City Africans at? I never been in Staten Island. Let's do it in Staten Island. I've never been to Staten Island. Why have I never been to Staten Island? I've been through the boogie down Bronx plenty of times. I've been through Brooklyn plenty of times. I've been through Harlem plenty of times. I've been through Queens plenty of times. I've never been to Staten Island. Where my Staten Island, New York City Africans at? When is Dr. Yeah, Umar right. coming yeah, to Staten Island, family? Okay, keep looking. Keep looking in the back. But anyway, I want to have a black town hall meeting in New York City about the migrants. Where can we have the meeting at? Where can, I want a free meeting, black New York, migrant crisis, it's time to push back. We need a New York City oh, wait, black a little town bit hall further. meeting we'll watch the to whole deal thing. with the Don't migrant wait. crisis. Yeah, it's a little further down, but I'm gonna let it play. We're gonna watch the rest of this before we finish tonight. We got about 900 people. Um, Cause I want get, to get, get to the part where um, someone said that he was saying something about paddling the black women. I, I don't know. Cause in this video though, it's the, it's the full version. So it's a, it's longer than the one that uh, is on King Kong consciousness because they edit stuff out on there. New York city, black town hall meeting to deal with the migrant crisis. Where my New York city Africans at Chicago. I'm coming back. They said the mayor Brandon Johnson canceled the meeting. I don't know if it was him or the untouchables who ran that center. Some it was either the untouchables or it was the mayor. I don't know, but somebody. Well, he said that it was uh, the mayor just to make it all dramatic and stuff. But ain't no telling. They might have didn't want you up there anyway. He got other thing got canceled too. The the black parent boot camp in, in Memphis next month, back to back Memphis that Memphis that got canceled too. He canceled my Chicago lecture a couple days ago. I don't appreciate yeah, no, like, that. I, appreciate it. I don't appreciate them canceling my lecture That's in it. Chicago. Tam yeah, I don't know if she does or not. Um, I tell her, I don't think she does. The reason why is because there is a well, ain't no telling because how he be talking. The reason why I don't think it's her is because there was a time where Umar was telling that YouTube page he was mad because he saw how it was getting views and he wasn't getting any money. So he says, as long as you make a donation, 
And then there was another video that came out. Where he was he was he said, "Yeah, thank you for the donation." So it'd be hard to believe that Sharon is running it, and then she's sending him a donation after he requested it. I mean, ain't no telling though, because now now this is again. Antonio knows a lot of the history too, because he we we go way back. He knows a lot of the history. Some of the stuff he knows a lot more than me, especially when it comes to the uh, paperwork dealing with um, permits, anything dealing with construction. He he knows all that stuff. Um, a lot of people don't know the history. When Umar uh, started to blow up, that there were a couple of women that were around him uh, consistently. One was Sharon, who's nowhere around. Uh, the other one was Sharon. Wait, one was no, one was Ann. Okay, Ann, Big Ann. Another one was uh, Sharon, and another one was Tip. Tip, Tip. They called her Tip the Grip. Sharon, though, is interesting because. Uh, uh, Umar, prior to that, he wasn't talking, um, quote unquote, uh, black race when it comes to different skin colors and, you know, uh, dating black women of lighter complexion or dark. He wasn't talking any of that. He has a term for it, uh, dark skin supremacy or light skin supremacy. He wasn't talking all that. that. That wasn't part of what he was talking about. But what happened was once people found out about Sharon, who's half white, then that's when he flipped the script and he had been dealing with her for a long time. But when people found out, that's when he started to flip the script because there's a way of correcting things. You can talk all this black talk and black power and all this stuff. But then at the end of the day, one of his, you know, his number one was a, a, a young lady at that time who was half white. Once people found that out, that's when Umar started talking about, no, we're not going to have black supremacy, color skin and white supremacy, uh, uh, you know, lighter skin, light skin supremacy. A lot of people missed out that that it was very uh, crafty for him to do that because that was his way of covering himself. I haven't seen her around, but she was around a long time. You know, she was around a long time. And if you guys know the history, there were quite a few women who were around. Um, Tiffany Griffin, I haven't seen her around supporting Umar like she used to. And Anne, she's been gone for many, many years. But there's plenty of other people. If we pull up videos where he was showing the inside of the school when it was they didn't have any electricity, all, there was a lot of women that were following him. Okay, they're they're not around anymore either. Okay. I think what has happened is he's used and abused them. When he was going on those trips to Africa, that was just taking his harem over there. That's all that was. It, it had nothing to do with no kind of like. Yeah, we're going to get back to our roots. No, that was just getting that booty. That's all that was. Let's just be real about it. Getting the booty in Africa. I guess that's what you want to do. Yeah, but even those women, a lot of those women that was rocking winning back, they're not around anymore. Okay. So I don't know. I, 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 and, and Tony, my best guess is it's, it's not her because that would be exploitive on her part to do something like that. But it could be, you know, or he, she is, you know, doing it and he don't know that it is her because how would he know? Yeah, he sure did. He used the mess out of Tiff, Tiff the Griff. He sure did. I have a video where he, he, man, he disrespected her so bad. I can pull it up right now. I was so, I felt so bad for her because she was a diehard. And she was up there at the school, at the bandit buildings. And he was like, are you pregnant? She's like, no. She's like, because you look pregnant. I said, don't tell, you don't tell no woman like that, even if she looked like that. Don't do that. But that was his way of disrespecting her. He did it live. I said, dang. Sister Hanera, yeah, she was around. I, I, she, who I, tell you, I like Sister Hanera. She was nice. The tip, the teeth patrol. <laughs> and thanks for all the likes, everybody. Uh, she has a degree in experience in graphics. Yeah, she was doing all of his graphics. She helped with the books and all that kind of stuff. No. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I don't hold conversation with my Chicago Africans. Memphis, Tennessee, you're going to get a new date. Hold your horses. See? Indianapolis, Indiana, we got the black. Let me get this cheesecake. I'll be right back. Perry boot camp coming to Indianapolis, Indiana. Hold your horses. Hold, Hold your horses. Hold Brothers your and horse. sisters, we getting ready for the Brendan Depper protest in Florida. Who's coming with Dr. Umar to the Brendan Depper protest on his sentencing day, January the 31st? January the 31st. Stop Brendan Depp is supposed to be sentenced in Florida, and I'm going to be there, brothers and sisters. We are planning a protest. We are planning a protest. You ain't doing We are nothing. planning a protest in Florida, January the 31st, the date of Brendan Depper's sentencing. We're not going to let them destroy this young black boy. We're not going to let them destroy this young black boy. 
we're not going to let them destroy this young black boy. And let me say this to all the Negro peons out there who Here said he should go to jail for 30 years. Did you keep that same energy when that white cop, Michael Brown, did you keep that same energy when those police snatched? Listen, that's a false equivalency. Okay, so let's stop it. All right, let's stop it. Okay, that's a false equivalency. And I, and I don't I don't want to speak on that situation. Because I do, but I'm not because some of y'all ain't going to want to hear it. Okay, what I'm going to tell y'all is that if I had a child and that child had to be in the presence of someone who was unstable like that, I wouldn't want my child around. And it's, it's happened over and over again. I wouldn't want my child around that person. I wouldn't want that person around my child. So everything outside that, I get it. Y'all can talk and, and you want to argue about what? Well, should he get this? Should they should he be get this? I, I, it don't make me know. I, listen, that's a whole separate issue. The bottom line is just like I wouldn't want my child around Umar. I wouldn't want my child around that person either. And that's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all be getting mad at me if you want to. Seems like all these pro blacks are falling. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you all something. We can put together a list and I, I, let's go way back in time, Darius. Some of y'all ain't even gonna remember this. Some most of y'all, if any of y'all remember this, y'all from the old school. We can go all the way back to Bobby Hemet. We can move it all the way forward to these days with people like Umar, with people like uh Polite, even young Pharaoh. I feel so bad about him for, for what he's gone through. Uh you got anybody, any of y'all remember uh, Natural Tahuti? Hit the one. Most of y'all ain't going ain't gonna to remember. Anyone remember Natural Tahuti? Now, Natural Tahuti was before Polite really blew up. I want to see if anybody remembers. Just a couple of people. Yeah, you know, he's still in prison to this day. See, a lot of people, I, I, and I, I've, I've seen him. I've seen him rise and fall over and over again. Umar, same thing. Umar is way, way past his prime. But natural to Hootie, he was big time up over there on Saad Netter's uh, TV. And he ended up getting caught up in... I can't even remember what he went to jail for. I can't anybody remember? I can't remember. But what happened while he was in jail was that someone that he was dealing with died and it had something to do with the drug overdose or something to that effect that tied back to him. And so he got even more time. He's still in there now. You got you have a picture with him? You need to see his face. Let me see if he comes up. Let me let me go look at because this this is this old. I'll go check for you real quick. Give me a second. I can't remember exactly what he went in for in the first place. Um, here it here it is right here. I don't know if they got it. Yeah, they got a picture of him. Yeah, y'all y'all type it in. Y'all just type it in to Google. It it'll come up. I don't want to pull it up because I'm being lazy tonight. <laughs> We almost done it too, by the way. So uh, he got, he was found guilty on, of all charges in prisoners' heroin debt, uh, heroin heroin uh, debt. Says the Erie County jury followed a trail of evidence that began with Mill Creek Township motel drug raid and ended with three drug overdoses, one of them fatal, in the Erie County prison. Oh, that's how it worked out. Okay, I thought it was he was in prison. Then it happened. No, no. After uh, three hours of deliberations over two days, jurors concluded Thursday that Erie County prison inmate Nathan Howard, that's natural to Hootie, uh, traffic, trafficked heroin and fentanyl behind prison walls and caused the drug overdose death of fellow inmate Stephen J. Burkhart in May of 2014. So, yeah, it was what I thought. He, while he was in prison, he was involved with this and that the guy died. Says Howard's conviction uh, conviction on one felony count of drug delivery resulted resulting in death marks uh, in death marks the first recent Erie County conviction for a crime at a time of escalating heroin and opiate abuse and death local, locally and nationwide. And they have a picture of him right there. 
Yeah, somebody in prison had passed away. Yeah, that, that's how you spell it too. Y'all can look it up. I could pull it up, but I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, I just can't remember what he went into in the first place. But you, if you guys, uh, he has old YouTube videos on here. Let me see. Y'all want to pull it up? Yeah, let me pull it up just so if y'all can see his face. But I, I remember him. Uh, there's so many other people that just, you know, they were rising and then they just fell off. Uh, polite, a, a more recent example. Umar, too, to a degree. Young Pharaoh's in a bad situation, too, these days. So it's unfortunate, too, because he's still so young, still has young family. Yeah, so check this out. It's him. Uh, he's on the left. Uh, well, my left. Uh, for you may be, he's, he's off center. Let's say it that way. But he, uh, he should be talking right here. His name is Natural Tahuti. That's, uh, this is from the House of Consciousness, so this is coming through uh, Saad Netter. If I have to say it, Tahuti, Dr. Tahuti looks Italian to me. I don't know. You can't hear? Okay, well, y'all missing out. That's y'all bad. That's, I'm sorry. That's too bad. <laughs> I'm eating my cheesecake. You ain't messing up my cheesecake tonight. <laughs> y'all ain't about to mess up my cheesecake, family. <laughs> All right. Let me try it again. Hold on one second. I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> Here we go. Share entire screen audio. Let's do that. And then let me get up off of these other things right here. I got the thing where where he was, they someone called the police on him when he was in the airport. I don't even want to pull, I don't even want to pull it up, but I got it on deck. If y'all want me to cookie crush that. Hold on. All right, let, let me know if y'all can hear it this time. Community, you expect to see brothers walking with books sometimes. Like it used to be in the, when you go into the conscious community, you expect. To see you brothers know, walking with books sometimes, like it used to be in the day. Right. That's one thing I can say about this black man right here, Brother Natsu Tahoti. When you see him, most of the times you see him carrying books. This brother is always okay, cool. the research, studying. What you reading today, black man? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why Umar bringing it up. Yeah, I don't know why Umar was talking about that. Say, why are we watching ET? <laughs> It's coming here. Here we go. Right, here Very we go. important. Uh, this is called the Sibyls, the first prophetess of Mami Wata. The Sibyls, that's what you were talking and, about. Yeah, this is something that I wanted to bring out that we are not given enough credit to African scholarship. Mm -hmm. One of the I was saying that not the hoodie don't even, he looks more Italian than me. The only, but I, you know, I'm just talking. I don't know. I ain't no telling. Very first African scholars who brought us African Yeah, I remember uh, A. A. Rashid. I think he passed away recently. Uh, a. I remember him too. Now, some of these guys, like I remember when they first came on the scene back in the day. I'm going to tell y'all something real quick. Don't tell nobody else. But there was a time where the, the, I ain't going to tell y'all. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me tell you right now, boy, because I could have gotten caught up in all this stuff too. I had an opportunity or a couple of opportunities. I'm glad I, I didn't go that route. Uh, yeah, he does. That, he does to me, uh, you know. But you know, I, I could be wrong. Scholarship in 1924 was a black woman by the name of Drusilla Dungey Houston. Mm -hmm. Now we pick up Dr. Ben, and I love Dr. Ben, Dr. Right. Clark, and all of them. Right. But why haven't we put Drusilla Dungey Houston in the same light as we done Dr. Ben? Not only that, we have this <laughs> yeah, great black saying. woman that's on the scene today that is doing a work that nobody else is doing. She has recovered the story of our ancient mothers. African women, our African women come from ancient mothers who were not born under the yoke of patriarchy. 
for the fir- during ancient times for the first six thousand years, uh, these women were great <laughs> power in the world. They came from a great up, powerful Craig, matriarch, and this story is not being told. We don't even know about it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So I want to induct. And just to be clear, though, too, a natural who he trans he did a transformation too, because there was a point where he got real militant and he was wearing like battle boots. <laughs> Y'all remember the battle boots, the the military boots, and had on the, the the beret and all that kind of stuff. That was that was a part of the black conscious community thing going on back then too. Not so much these days. Okay, let's get back to it. I don't even know how we got. On. I think it was when someone sent a super chat. Um, that was from Darius. Uh, thank you so much. I put some chat. Here we go. The grace separated his spine from his skull. Did you keep that same energy with the police killers of Orlando Castile and Walter Scott? Did you keep the same energy with Eric Gardner? Did you keep the same That's energy awesome. with the killers of Little Tamir Rice? Did you keep the same energy with the killers of Sandra Bland? So you telling me this black boy should go to jail for most of his life for beating up a teacher's aide, but all these white cops who killed our African family members. All these white police. Okay, let's be clear about something. It ain't just beaten up. If it, if it wasn't stopped, it, he could have murdered that uh, teacher's aide. And again, I, I'm not here to speak on that because that's a whole separate issue. But I know one thing: I wouldn't want my child around around that person. And y'all get mad if you want to. I don't really give a shizzle. Who killed our African family members? It's okay for them to go free, but Brendan Depper should go to jail for 30 years. That's what you telling me? That little black boy should go to jail for 30 years, even though his IEP said don't take nothing out of his hands, even though he was mentally ill, even though he was strung out on meds, even though he wasn't getting the services that he needed. He should go to jail for 30 years, but you got people home after taking African life. Why you ain't keep the same energy with them? Why you ain't keep the same energy with them? See, let me explain something to y'all. Let me explain something. Before there can be African liberation, there must be separation from the kunocracy. I'm going to say it again. Before there can be African liberation, there must be separation from the kunocracy. Let me say it one more time. Yep. Before we go and win, we got to separate from those who are loyal to the power structure. Boy, this cheesecake is good. I, I got to go get I have to go get some more. Yeah. It really was. I, I, I mean, I, I, it's well, I tell you, and I understand uh, underage and all that stuff. I don't want to get sidetracked here, but if a person is dangerous, a person is dangerous. Okay, they need to get the help so that they will not be a danger to society. It's that simple. It doesn't matter if they're 10 years old, 15, 20, 30, 50, 60, 80 years old. Hey, now as to whether sentencing and all that stuff, that's a whole separate issue. What I'm saying is <clears throat> that a threat uh, to uh, an adult or a threat to a children. If someone is that, I don't want my children around them. Okay, it's just that simple. I don't want my wife around them. I wouldn't want any of y'all around them either. They need to get the help they need to get. It's that simple. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it at that. What's up, big man? Says FMG uh, fraternity of denatured milk bearing Garvey. <laughs> don't you start. Don't you start. Okay. <laughs> they are gonna have a fraternity. Uh, denate. De- Denatured milk bearing Garvey. <laughs> it just brings back so many uncomfortable memories, <laughs> especially about the milk. The milk. Let, let, let's stay focused. All right. Thanks, big man. Yeah, we, we have so many memories. <laughs> so, we were talking about your queen earlier, Tiff the Grip. <laughs> Big man didn't like Pip the Grip at all. I, I said, why you don't like Pip the Grip? She don't do that. <laughs> She's, you know, ain't nothing wrong with Pip the Grip. He, he didn't like Ann either. <laughs> Big Ann. <laughs> Ann was me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. Before we can win, we got to separate from those who are sympathetic to the power structure. Before we can win, brothers right, and let sisters, let me get this cheesecake. I'll be right We got to separate from the Africans who want to be European. The Afro Europeans, 
The Afro-Europeans, we got to separate from the Afro-Europeans. We got too many Afro-Europeans, too many Negro-peans, too many white power structure sympathizers in black America. I'm just going to call it like I see it. So You're to my gangster rappers, I don't give a damn if you mad. I don't give a damn if you mad. Hip hop is a branch of white supremacy. Congratulations, you're right next to the black church. Congratulations, you're right next to the black church. Hip hop is a branch of white supremacy. Congratulations, you've made it. You're right next to the black church, down the street from the Urban League and around the corner from the NAACP. Congratulations to the gangster rappers. You have been a... Okay, you see what I was, the point I was making? The Umar Johnson Paul says when we criticize Umar that we're tearing another black man down, but all he does is talk mess about black people and black organizations, including the black church, uh, black church, and double ACP, everything. Okay? That's mainly what he does is talk mess about black people. Officially inducted into the army of white supremacy. I don't give a damn about your feelings. I don't give a damn about your feelings. Now, let me say this. I'm going to be coming to Mound Bayou, Mississippi. Where my Mississippi Africans at? He all over the uh, place. Okay, remember, the second thing that we're going to prove is that these buildings are nothing more than a kicker spot. Okay, we're getting closer. Okay, let's go and get through this video. We're going to be done. Probably be here for another 25 minutes. Here we go. Where my Mississippi Africans at? Where my Mississippi, Mound Bayou, Mississippi. I'm, I'm doing a three-stop tour in Mississippi and a three-stop tour in California. I'm doing a three-city tour in Mississippi and a three-city tour in California. I said I'm doing a three-stop no, intellectual not. insurrection, unify <laughs> or die tour in Mississippi and a three stop I intellectual insurrection, unify or die tour in Mississippi. <laughs> I'm going to hit up Greenville, Mississippi. Do Rest in peace to Fannie Lou Hamer. I'm going to the gravesite. I haven't been to the grave. Uh, I did. It worked uh, for or you did work for a black church and it had built two schools and this fool uh, here yapping. And do, I know. I know. Uh, someone said it earlier, a lot of what he is just jealousy. You know, he's jealous of, of successful black people and successful black organizations. All the things he says that he's going to do, there's other people that have already done it. But he always tries to, quote unquote, tear them down and demean their efforts. Uh, uh, LeBron James's school, uh, uh, Jalen Rose's school, uh, anything, any successful black man that does anything, Umar is always talking mess about him. And it ain't even got to be about schools. It could be just about gen in general. That's all he does. Uh, DIB Sports says 2087, Umar will be a hologram asking, <laughs> asking the cash app. I know. I mean, if he didn't, I mean, what year is it? It's 2023. I mean, what else can he do? I mean, he can go get a job, I guess. But if you got people sending you money for, for nothing, literally for nothing, and you collected millions of dollars, what's going to what what mo what motivation do you have to do something like that, to go get a job or to start a career or to do something, you know, where you're, you're gainfully employed, and you're making your own money? Uh, D.I.B. Sports, everybody else, everybody. You have to understand that Umar doesn't make his own money. He doesn't. He just gets he takes money from other people. That's it. He doesn't work for it. He doesn't provide services for it. Okay, people say, well, he has a school. He doesn't have a school. These are abandoned buildings and it's the kicker spot. I'm gonna prove it right now. It's not an education, a place of education for black boys. It's, just, it's a place where Umar kicks it and other people kick it. I don't even know what that was. Uh, what's up, Money says, do he be throwing out fake dates? Yes, he does. That's why the whole Memphis thing that canceled, what y'all think? He just threw, he said, I'm going to have three stops in California. Okay, we'll be looking for those three stops in California and the three stops in, well, I don't think he said Louisiana, whatever. We'll see. We want to see some video proof of it, too. Don't just throw, make up a flyer and say you're going to be somewhere and you're not even booked. We're going to see. Uh, thanks, Money. Also, thanks, DIB Sports. And Black Dot uh, 199 says, uh, Black Dot 95 uh, says, uh, Bump Umar, what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, it's good. This is cheesy. It's good. They had the strawberry flavor in the lime. The lime was okay, but the strawberry, I liked it. They just don't carry it anymore at Walmart. Uh, thanks for the super chat uh, as well. Let's see, did I get to everybody? A big man says, 
Umar is a re is a regular on the show of uh, Father David, aka Arnold Throat. <laughs> don't 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 do that. We don't have to put that on there. Now, now that you bring it up, I got a special I got a special treat for, for Big Man. Maybe I shouldn't do this, but I'm I'm gonna do it. Hold on one second. I think I still, I, I, I know I have it. I haven't watched it though. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, that's just over here. I just have to pull it up. Because someone actually sent it to me. I didn't actually watch it. Okay, let me let this play. I'm gonna pull it up. Give me a second. I'm gonna waste y'all's time. Here we go. I'll be right back. Sight of Queen Mother Fannie Lou. I was at Ida B. Wells in Chicago the other day. I gotta get the Fannie Lou Hamer's gravesite. Greenville, Mississippi, where y'all at? Where my Mississippi Delta Africans? Y'all think I'm scared of the Delta? Y'all thought King Kong consciousness wasn't gonna come to the Delta? I'm coming to the Delta. Mississippi Delta Africans, get ready. Greenville, where my mound by you, Mississippi Delta. Africans okay. at? Where my Mound Bayou, Mississippi Africans at? I'm coming to Mound Bayou and then Jackson, Mississippi. We're going to do the Black Parent Boot Camp. Where my Jackson Africans at? Where my Jackson Africans at? Oh, yes. Three stops in Black Mississippi. Greenville, the Delta, Mound Bayou, Jackson. And then in California, where my Oakland Africans at? Oh, yes. Oakland, y'all thought I forgot? Oakland, y'all thought I forgot about y'all? Where my Oakland, California Africans at? Where He's my San Francisco Africans at? Where my Richmond, California Africans at? Where my Sacramento Africans at? I'm coming to the Bay Area. Birthplace of the Black Panther Party. Rest in peace, Huey P. Newton. Rest in peace, Geronimo Pratt. Rest in peace, little Bobby Hutton. Rest in peace, our Prentice Bunchy Carter. Rest in peace, John Huggins. Rest in peace, Fred Hampton. Rest in peace, George Jackson. I'm coming to the Bay. San Fran, Richmond, Oakland, King Kong. That's how we do. That's how we do, brothers and sisters. All right, we're going to let me say this. Seat. Still trying to find In all video. seriousness, hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit mm -hmm. your cash app. He said, in all seriousness, hit the ca hit your cash app. Do you believe PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Okay? All. Oh. Let me say this. Did y'all see that? If you saw it, hit the one. And no, these socks ain't dirty. It's just they got the grace on the bottom. Okay, because then people, I know what you're going to do. Look at the bottom of the socks all there. No, it's just gray down there. Anyone see what I saw? Looks good, that's right. Natasha, you missed it. Don't worry. We're going we gonna to play that back. We're going to play that right back. Hold on one second. Some, some people saw. Hold on, Christopher. Erica, hold on. I know Antonio saw it. <laughs> Antonio was like that right there. <laughs> Let me play that back. Hold on one second. There we go. We're going to take our time, family. It's Monday. Rest in peace, little Bobby Hutton. Rest in peace, our Prentice Bunchy Carter. Rest in peace, John Huggins. Rest in peace, Fred Hampton. Rest in peace, George Jackson. I'm coming to the Bay. San Fran, Richmond, Oakland, King Kong. That's how we do. That's how we do, brothers and sisters. But let me say this. In all seriousness, hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG School. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Okay?
been trying to tell y'all. I've been trying to tell y'all for years. Did anyone else miss it? Let me know. If you missed it, hit the hit the one if you missed it. Now, Big Sis saw it. Is there anyone else that, that did not see it? Yeah, he does. He gets, and that ain't all. That ain't even it. Because that ain't even the thing I saw. That's not even the one I saw that I was planning on seeing. But this, because I didn't watch the video. This, I said, wait a minute. I saw it, though. You didn't see it? All right, information man, we're going to do it for you, for sure. So we're going to go, let's run that again. Let's run that back. Here we go. Peace to Fannie Lou Hamer. I'm going to the gravesite. I haven't. King Kong consciousness wasn't going to come to the Delta. I'm coming to the Delta. Mississippi Delta Africans, get ready. Greenville, where my mound by you, Mississippi Africans at? Where my mound by you, Mississippi Africans at? I'm okay. coming to now, mound now by you. And then Jackson, Mississippi, we're going to do the yeah, Black Parent Boot spot. Camp. Where my well, Jackson well, Africans at? Y'all, uh, y'all. when he says, uh, seriously, when he says to cash out, look in the background. Where my Jackson Africans at? Oh, yes. Three stops in Black Mississippi. Greenville, the Delta, Mound Bayou, Jackson. And then in California, where my Oakland Africans at? Oh, yes. Oakland, y'all thought I forgot? Oakland, y'all thought I forgot about y'all? Where my <laughs> Oakland, California <laughs> you Africans <seen> at? <laughs> where my San Francisco <laughs> Africans at? <laughs> where my Richmond, California Africans at? Where my Sacramento Africans at? I'm coming to the Bay Area, birthplace of the Black Panther Party. Yeah, Oguna Rest in blew peace, the door Ruby. open. They got Rest in off, peace, family. Geronimo Pratt. Rest <laughs> in crazy. peace, little Bobby Hutton. Rest in peace, our Princess Bunchy Carter. Rest in peace, John Huggins. Rest in peace, Fred Hampton. Rest in peace, George Jackson. I'm oh, coming no. to the Bay, San it's Fran, coming. Richmond, Oakland. King Kong. That's how we do. That's how we do, brothers and sisters. All right, look in the background. Here we go. But right let here. me say this. In all seriousness, hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Look back. Hit look your PayPal. PayPal. See that? Look. Paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. I told y'all, hit the one, because I told y'all years ago, I want my credit right now. I appreciate the likes, I appreciate the super chats, all that. That's all fine and dandy, but I need, most of all, I need hit the one. I told people a long time ago, and we can talk about what y'all think is going on up, up when they up in there. All y'all Umar Johnson followers on sent this guy literally millions of dollars and these traps ain't nothing more than some traps. This kick your spot for the black people, the old, older black people that come up there and kick with Umar. And if you think they're in there studying, if you think they're in there making plans to open up FDMGBs, you're delusional. I know what's going on up there. You ain't got to tell me nothing. I grew up around it. I know what it is. You can't tell me, you can't tell me nothing about this stuff. I know what it is. And that even the thing I was planning on showing y'all, because I haven't seen that when I was watching. I said, uh, uh oh. Where is he getting the funds to travel? He's getting it from his donors. Where does he get the funds to eat? He be eating good too. He gets it from his donors. Meanwhile, up there, the people under the under see the thing is he gets it from his donors because he's quote unquote opening up a school, right? Meanwhile, meanwhile, look what's going on up there. You Mark John's followers, you you guys really need to check yourself on this situation up there. I told people a long time ago, but I'm just a hater, right? I'm a hater. No. You saw it with your own eyes. I'm gonna play it again, but that ain't even what I was going that's not even the one I knew about. Sacramento Africans at I'm coming to the Bay Area 
birthplace of the Black Panther Party. Rest in I'll peace, Huey P. Newton. Rest in peace, Geronimo <laughs> Pratt. Rest in peace, little Bobby Hutton. I don't Rest in peace, ball. our Prentice Bunch. I'll of get Carter. that for your ball. Rest That's in peace, Omar John said. Huggins. Rest in peace. Omar said that to the police. He said, I'm going to get that for your balls. <laughs> I can play it for y'all. We got ninety people to build. I don't know how we doing all life. Y'all hit the like button. I appreciate it. But we we all we almost. I don't know. We're not even almost done. I was trying to get done in about ten minutes. Ain't gonna happen. Probably be here for another twenty months. Peace, Fred Hampton. Rest in peace, George Jackson. I'm coming to the Bay, San Fran, Richmond, Oakland, King Kong. That's how we do. That's how we do, brothers and sisters. But let me say this. All right, look in the back. In all seriousness, look hit your cash app. Dollar. Hey, look at the doors. Sign What's FDMG it? School. Hit your cash app, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your cash app, dollar sign. See that door opening right now? It's opening. Is that little boy? Is he education going on? Let's FDMG look. FDMG School. Hit your PayPal, PayPal. Look at that. It's the kicking spot. I've been telling y'all. Been telling y'all, been telling y'all, but I, I, I'm a hater. Mm. Yeah, it, it's listen. Uh, it's a group of <laughs> it's a group of people. They in there playing dominoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the school is open, family. That's a grand opening. Where the crackheads just be rolling out. It's, yeah, it's time to roll out, family. We... <laughs> Fairy side. Go on, sing it, boy. Fairy side. We're going to go to the school on Monday and walk inside, walk inside, walk inside forever. Yeah. Turn the heat down, and then we bounce on up, bounce on up, bounce on up. <laughs> the kick is fire, yeah. Been trying to tell y'all. Let's chill. Let's settle down, because that's what I want to do. Up at FDMG in school. Because <laughs> that's what I want to do. Up at FDMG school. Let's chill. I told y'all it's the kicking spot. <laughs> Teep gets horseshoe work. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta leave Teep alone. <laughs> don't start. Don't start back with that. We gonna leave Teep alone. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Let, 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 let us continue. <laughs> All right. Thanks, big man. Here we go. One more time. And we're gonna keep going because that's ain't even the part I was thinking. I didn't even know this part. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> We going, we going on up to the gig spot, family. We going on. Up. Let's walk, let's walk on through. <laughs> Who are got his friends up there, but coming out with backpacks on? You know, it's there's a grown person with a black backpack and hood. You know what the deal is, okay? <laughs> it's the honeycomb hot out. That's what Who said. <laughs> they wait, 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 wait. What do y'all think that they're, I mean, seriously, okay. Are they in there? They're installing legal cable. I don't know. What, the, what do y'all think? Bacon cakes? I don't know. Butter biscuits? All right. <laughs> it's a trick academy for draw scouts. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. I'm trying to be serious. It's a trick academy for draw school scholarships. <laughs> it's, a, it's a legal gambling trap. Okay. <laughs> they were going over to because <laughs> they got work to do on Monday. Oh, today, today Monday, my bad. <laughs> Club FMG. We do this for the money. 
<laughs> Yo, wow. Yeah, I said it, man. Tiff, Tiff was loyal. She was the most <laughs> loyal. All right. <clears throat> Until Umar, he just, you know, <laughs> probably <laughs> they were in study. <laughs> they were in study hall because they was late to class, family. All right. <clears throat> they was in there decorating the section office. <laughs> they was in there having a good time. Singing karaoke, everything. All right. <laughs> it's a guided tour, but Umar ain't even over there. Okay. I, I don't know. That's a good question right there. I mean, that right there. Anyone see this? Umar buying all his homies liquor. <laughs> Yo, wow. <laughs> they installing the, the, the HVAC control unit. <laughs> all right. Drugs and no. So I got to tell you all the story now. Oh, man. So. I was a musician. One time I performed at this uh, amphitheater. It wasn't even but a handful of people there, too. <laughs> well, nobody showed up. We, we played this amphitheater, and they promoted it. And, and a guy came, and he was older, but he thought it was my dad because my dad was a musician, and he's, he has the same name. So he, he went to school with my dad. So when he realizes that, you know, it, it, it's actually my dad's son. He still came up afterward and was like, hey, how's it going? You know, young blood. And he was talking to me. I was probably about <clears throat> I was probably about 29 years old and he was talking to me. And at the time I had a Yamaha Motif 6 and because I was playing keyboards. I played saxophone and I, I played flute. Uh, flute was my instrument, main, main instrument. I was just screwing around. I wasn't good at it at all. But anyway, uh, he said, you know, I have a Motif too. He says, I have a Motif uh eight which was the largest one you get 88 keys and uh he says won't well, but i don't know how to use it would, would you want to come over and show me how to use it and i said okay uh so he gave me his he didn't give me his address he gave me his phone number he said yeah well give me a call maybe next week or something you can come by uh so i called him and he was like yeah such and says come over on this day so that day i went over there and it was an apartment i go into the apartment complex i remember i went through the little gate thing and then i i uh Turned to the left and I knocked on the door. He, no one answered for a while. I kept knocking. Finally, he came. He came out. Uh, he opened up the door, uh, and I kid you not. He all he had on was some drawers. And then, then he said, "This is the keyboard right here." And I looked over, and the keyboard was right there. But then two other people came out of the uh, the bedroom. It was a woman and a man. They all, both of them, all they had on was underwear. And you know what? They was in there smoking crack. I was like, okay, well, I got to go. <laughs> I was like, bye, I got to go. The weirdest, boy, I tell you. I don't know what it is. The dirt, that, that, why, why, why do you have to? I don't know. Maybe it might have been something. It's, that's what it smelled like to me, crack. Now, I ain't never smoked crack, but I've been around it. I, I know, but that's what I thought it was. But it may have been something that made them want to take their clothes off or whatever. I said, You guys, I, you, I said, Bye. Got up out of here so quick. And he wasn't even tripping. He was like, Yeah, well, I guess he figured it because he probably he was high anyway. He know he ain't thinking about nothing. He probably like, Yeah, go ahead and show me how to use this. I said, Boy, great, great old man, too. Anyway, he was probably like in his fifties. Okay, uh, let's let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that's what it was. Uh, let's get back to it. Here we go. I'm coming to the Bay, San Fran, Richmond. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I could have probably got it for about twenty. Get a get a get a get a dime bag or two. <laughs> that would have been a good deal too. Here King we go. Kong. That's how we do. It. Yeah, it might have been. I thought that's it was how we do, though. brothers just, and sisters. I, I was just trying to get up out of it. I was like, bye. But let me say this. <laughs> I had on a dashiki. That was me when I was in my Black Power days. Anyway, in all seriousness, hit your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit your cash app. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit your PayPal, PayPal. Feel coming out of there? But that ain't even the one I knew about. Dot me slash FDMG Academy. Okay? Let me say this. What I'm about to say is going to scare some of you Negroes, but I got to say it. 
Here you go. What I'm about to say is going to scare some of you Negroes, but I got to say it. <laughs> Stop. Y'all, y'all, y'all done? Y'all just walking. Boy, I, I've been telling y'all, I, listen, I told people, I already told people long time ago. Donald, you know what it is. Listen, I already know. Listen, people, you can't tell me nothing. I already know what it is. So I'll tell y'all, it's kicking spot. <laughs> What's up, Vince? <laughs> at, least he, at least he found a use for them abandoned building, thriller, thriller trap house. He found some use for it. Ain't, he's not educating no black. Okay, top do you want me to play it back? Let's go back. See, I ain't watched this. That's why I, I said, no, he didn't just look at them and say that. Hold on. I'm coming to the bay. San Fran, Richmond, Oakland, King Kong. That's been. how we do. That's how we do, brothers and sisters. But let me say this. In all seriousness, hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app, PayPal dot oh, me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, PayPal dot me slash FDMG Academy. See, they just came out. Okay. The door slammed. Let me say this. They're walking over there. What I'm about to say is going to scare some of you Negroes, but I got to say it. What I'm about to say is going to scare some of you Negroes, but I got to say it. T, so looking at them. Y'all done? Y'all just walking. No, we, 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 they not finishing there yet. You need that? To okay, okay. He said they're not finishing near yet. We just walking or something like that. You know what? Maybe they're just. Uh, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to give Umar the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're. Uh, What's good? How we doing? All right, likewise, likewise. I want to Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I'm also trying to help with the black community. Yes, sir. Fixing up the house. Yes, sir. Giving the furniture, all that. I hear that. So I just. So one of those people Umar didn't know. Okay, so the guy's saying, "I want to help the community." Blah blah blah. I want to fix up houses. Just you know, talking that that talk, talking about nothing. I want to see our town live better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we're, we're capable. Yes, sir. Very capable. capable. Very capable. There's more opportunities. Here. Yes, sir. She just got to do the work. So I definitely want to see what this looks like at the end. This, okay. is, this is really a big step. I congratulate oh, for sure. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. Long, hard journey, but we almost there. Almost there. Oh, for sure, for sure. And once we're done with this one, we're going to get into the big school. You feel me? He's, saying, he's explaining that once we're done with the smaller building, they're going to get into the larger building. That's what he's saying. So I want to see what kind of work y'all do for me over here. If you can sit with what we see, I'm going to have y'all come right on over here. We work with this. Okay. All right. Hold on. Almost there. Okay, so they're doing some work. He said, I want to see what kind of work you're doing for you can do over here. That's what he's saying. Okay. If you 
content with what we see, I'm going to have y'all come right on over here. If you work with this, if you work with us, this place will be beautiful. Absolutely. It's going to be a key role. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You're the best, like, I'm real. Look, DJ Khaled, you're the best. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. This is really, this is amazing right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you ever think, like, being, like, a young kid that you would be here right here? Uh, not necessarily. I always knew I wanted to have a school. I didn't know where it would be at. Uh, I think Spirit just landed us there because I really thought we was going to be in uh, Detroit and Chicago. That's where I was looking. So one of these people, he, he doesn't know, obviously. But uh, the Catholic Church, they wouldn't sell none of their property. Uh, and they had really good schools and really good condition, but they wouldn't sell to it. And he just kept on searching. One day just popped up on LoopNet, and here we are. But, yeah. It's all right because yeah. everything happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. Everybody's going to regret the decision they made in the next couple of years. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. But this is what I'm talking about. That ain't nobody to tell you. I want to say the point of view. Yeah. Yeah. I, it sounds like they're just people local that are, that he's he's picked to come do some work in here. So I'll stand corrected. Yeah, no, I, I doubt he does. It's it's just what he's. This is what he's been doing though the whole time, which has been uh, getting you know anyone off the street that he can find that, that he can get in and do some work. That's what it sounds like. What's happening here? Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Stay out my personal business. Stay out. There's a million. If he ain't putting in no work for the people, why is the institutions over intimacy? This is business. Oh, this. Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey. It's going to be an independent school for black boys. Y'all getting it back up and running? Say that again. It's going to make people want to respect the area. I agree. Subconsciously. I totally agree. If you walk into an all white room with marble floors, you're not going to break your ass. That's right. That's right. So this is going to bring respect and elegance to the whole community. I agree. The whole community. I agree. There are people going to get in line to get their kids coming here. They're going to follow the scriptures. They want their kids to be here. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So I'm very excited for this. Like, I can't wait. I can't yes, sir. Wait I appreciate the energy, brother. I appreciate the energy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is beautiful. Wow. You got a school? Like, that's, yeah, man. That's really crazy. Yeah. People be talking to me, oh, you got this, you got that. I'm like, no, nah, you can start to get lost in the yes, vision because it becomes yes, good normal. Yes, sir. Yes, so it sir. takes somebody from the outside to yes, remind sir. you how far you came. Yes, sir. So yes, you sir. can buy all these buildings. That's your normal. So somebody say, you got buildings. You can't yes, sir. Like, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but it, it sounds like the, the guy is complimenting Umar on the school. I mean, they do sound, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's that name again, Queen K? Uh -huh. Give me your name again. I forgot it already. Jane. Sister Jane. Jane. Sister Jane. J A N E. Sister Jane. I'm Dr. Umar, Sister Jane. And I'm the, uh, I don't want to say owner because the people own the buildings, but I'm the CEO and the. There goes somebody else walking up in there. Here we go. Sound of this Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey. It's going to be an independent school for black boys. Y'all getting it back up and running? Say that again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's what we're doing, Miss Jane. And Miss Jane, if I see that dog Dookie, I'm pulling all his fingernails out. So if you see the dog with no <laughs> fingernails, go, you can say Dr. Umar took all the nails out my dog feet. Maybe you can do it because you do the nails. Umar, he always talking crazy like that. He actually said that to a lady one time that he's going to pull her nails out. Uh, he got unskilled brothers from the hood doing professional blue collar work. Shake my head. Uh, he penny pinching with that money. Yeah, but he's been doing this from the beginning. Outside of having uh, electricians, uh, contractors come in, everything else that, I, that I've heard him uh, do, it's just been pe random people that he's just found anywhere. You know, uh, and it's not like one of the people he hadn't met before 
and uh, just someone local, and he's trying to get them to get do some work over there. Now, stand corrected, okay? I, I thought that these were random people coming up out of there. So, uh, street folk uh, can paint, but one time donors can't. Yeah, he's probably trying to get them to do work for free or you know for very little, and, and that's probably what he's trying to do. But I have a sense that he's been doing this for years now, just having different people come in. The other thing too with Umar is he's complained about how the black people who've done work that they've you know, they don't they don't do a good job. But like I said before, that part of the reason is that he's getting Pookie and Freyway to come to do the work. Well, that's precisely what it looks like. That's what it looks like right here. Right? Yeah, they, they you know, yeah, they, it, it didn't sound too great. OK, let's keep going. Here we Better go. cut it out. What's going on, Queen? What? Alabama A&M. You know Did you go there? No, sir. Yeah, I'm live. You want to talk to no, the people? Sir. You sure? You don't no, want to talk no, to the people? No. You look cute, though. No. Talk to the people. No, say, no, yo, no. You don't want to say hi. No. You sure? <laughs> We can say hi. We can she don't want to. Right, we gonna, we gonna say hi. You repping the you you repping the Alabama HBCU. You feel What's me? Up? Yes, indeed. Yeah, you know, yeah. I went to a PWI ashamedly. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was gonna go to Howard for my doctorate, but they never sent me the uh, application in time. You still on on? I'm on on. <laughs> you, want to, you want me to cut it off? You gotta tell me no, something. You do. No, no. You no, sure? No, stop. Hey, you know I don't see you over here all clean and don't stop by, brother. Come on. I just stopped by and said, uh, hey, man. Everything good, though? All is well. Okay, okay. All is well. Okay. Yeah, look at the selfie one these days, right? All right. I'm still going to be out here, so come back through. Absolutely. Okay, love. What is going on? Gotcha. What? You said you about to go to the basketball court. Not for me. Repping the Alabama HBCU. You feel What's me? Up? Yes, indeed. Yeah, you know, I went to a PWI ashamedly. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was going to go to Howard for my doctorate, but they never sent me the uh, application in time. You still on on? I'm on on. You, on you, on to, on you on. want me to cut it off? You got to tell me no, something? You no, no, no. You sure? Stop. Hey, you know, I don't see you over here all clean and don't stop by. Brother, come on. No, I'll just stop by and say hey, man. Everything good, though? All is well. Okay, okay. All is well. Okay. Yeah, look at the selfie one these days, all right? All right. I'm still going to be out here, so come back through. Absolutely. Okay, love. Got you. I don't know. <laughs> you said you about to go to the basketball court. Okay, 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 okay. I was about to say, you still balling? <laughs> cut it out, cut it out. I heard that, I heard that. I heard that. It's a kicking spot. Brothers, brothers, y'all got to get y'all lower chakras in order, brothers. Brothers, y'all got to get y'all, I'm not even on that tip right now, I'm on the liberation trail. You trying to, you trying to, you trying to, you trying to activate, activate. Listen, there's a time and a place to flirt with the queens, and it's a time and place to build. You feel me? Because when you come to FDMG, we working for the community. Ain't, ain't no time for all that below the belt chakra energy. We talking, we talking yeah. third eye power. We talking ancestral power, brothers. You must stay focused. This is consciousness over the cookies. This is politics over the punani. Yeah, that's what he was this is revolution say. over romance. This videos. is institutions <laughs> over intimacy. This is business before the bedroom. Brothers, if you ain't got a... I'll tell you, he, he was watching this show. That's where he got that from. <laughs> right. Revolutionary consciousness, you can easily be swayed by the power of the sisters. You got to get on your revolutionary consciousness. When I'm in my revolutionary mode, I don't care who walking by. You feel me? When I'm on my revolutionary mode, can't no sister distract me from my work when I'm on my revolutionary mode. You feel me? Now, if I'm feeling a little frisky, now, if I'm feeling a little frisky, that's a whole nother story if I'm feeling a little frisky. The queens know what I'm talking about. The Ifa Tunde queendom know what I'm talking about, but it ain't time for the cookies right now, family. It's time for confrontation with the power structure. Yeah. It ain't time for the cookies right now, family. It's time for confrontation with the power structure. It ain't time for the cookies right now, family. It's time for the confrontation with the power structure. And first of all, I done told black women this a million times. See, the reason why he told her, do you want me to turn this off? Because he, you know, he wanted to see what the deal was. He didn't want to say it on, on the camera. That's all that was. I done told the sisters a million times. If he ain't putting around. in no work for the people, why is you giving that man cookies? He don't get none of your damn honeycomb hot out. He don't get no honey bun if he ain't struggling for the people. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Let me let me let this play. I'll be right back. 
What's wrong with you black women? Keep on giving out your essence to these brothers who not produce. And what's wrong with you sisters? And you wonder why you don't get more from the black men than what you get. Because you're always giving out cookies that have not been earned. Sister, stop giving out cookies he ain't earned. Stop giving him your honeycomb hideout. He didn't earn that honeycomb hideout. He's talking about the JJ. See now, now listen. Now listen. I'm always fair. Okay, I'm always fair. I was trying to prove two points today. I was only able to prove one. The other point, I didn't get to prove it. Okay, and I said, you know what? He won today. But now, now we got to go here. Now our, it's. Yeah, still the kicking spot though, because <laughs> that's why he told her, "You want me to turn this off? You got something you want to tell me?" And then his mind goes here, and then he's talking all this sex talk again. He the the whole honeycomb hideout. This is something he said back in years ago. This is them talking about the JJ. That's what that is. He calls it the honeycomb hideout. And then he's going to tell you black women, you know, giving it up to these people that don't produce. Well, that's him. He's projecting. He's talking about himself. I thought I lost today. No, -uh. we right. We right back where we started, family. Let's go. Here we go. What you giving up your honey buns for? You don't get that man no honey bun. He ain't earned no honey bun. Make him work. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, if you haven't seen the Netflix movie Rustin, I want you to watch it. If you haven't seen the Netflix movie Rustin, I want you to watch it. If you haven't seen the Netflix movie Rustin, I need you to watch it. Bayard Rustin was from right here up the road in Chester, PA. Bayard Rustin was from right here up the road in Chester, PA. He was brought to Montgomery, Alabama to convince Dr. King that he needed to go nonviolent. Dr. King was not nonviolent. Dr. King was not nonviolent. Dr. King was not nonviolent. They came here to Chester, Pennsylvania, where I once served as school psychologist. They came here and got Bayard Rustin and took him on down to Montgomery, Alabama to convince Dr. King that he needed to go nonviolent. I want you to watch the movie. It was a good. So he's, he's saying that he was a school psychologist out there in Wilmington. Oh. Movie. It was a good movie, but without question, you can tell that Barack and Michelle Obama, who produced the movie, go on Netflix and watch Rustin, R-U-S-T-I-N. Go on Netflix and watch Rustin, R-U-S-T-I-N. Good afternoon, beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They had it right now. Pretty good. Pretty good. I can't complain. How's everything with you? He just chilling. Stop sending me $200,000 houses. I told you I want to fix her upper. <laughs> I'm picking with you. I'm, no, send them anyway. Hey, send them anyway. What? I heard that. I heard that. You sliding by? Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Well, keep me posted. Uh, a couple hours. Okay. Gotcha. All right, mom. Peace. Let's pause right here, see? Y'all know who was on the phone? Just when I thought Umar was going to win tonight, I thought we was defeated tonight. I did. But just when I thought, man, yeah, we definitely going to have to do a marathon this week. That was the mama on the phone. Didn't I tell y'all something happened with the mama? Hit the one.
I told y'all something happened with Umar and his mama. And she calling him with property listings and giving him prices. See, it's hard to be to get into a new place if you keep getting evicted out to old places. See? Now I see what this video is really about. See, and the, the, what's the, the irony of this is, you Umar Johnson followers, the money that he going to spend for this next residence, y'all's paying for it. Ain't no school. It's the kicking spot. He go up there, he kick it, he do videos to get you guys to send him money. He got Pookie and Ray Ray doing work like I told y'all before. That's why he keep having these problems and he try to blame it on black people and these contractors. On, you ain't even dealing with professionals. They're not pulling no receipts or nothing. You got Pookie and Ray Ray, people you don't know coming in and out, in and out. You got women coming by, stopping by. You want me to turn this off so you got something you want to tell me? And you start talking about cookies and all this stuff. Y'all think he going to open up a school? He's he trying to buy him a house because he did it. Evidently, something didn't nothing happen with the other resident when he was staying with his mama. That's why he ain't been lying from up there. I done told y'all that anyway. I could be wrong, though. Let's go listen to that again. Maybe let's go listen and see what they said. Now that we have a little something we, we can kind of consider here, let's go back and watch. The movie, it was a good movie. It was a good movie, but without question, you can tell that Barack and Michelle Obama who produced the movie, go on Netflix and watch Rustin, R-U-S-T-I-N. Go on Netflix and watch Rustin, R-U-S-T-I-N. Good afternoon, beautiful. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, they at it right now. Pretty good, pretty good, I can't complain. How's everything with you? Stop sending me $200,000 houses. I told you I want to fix her upper. Okay, even if it's not, it's not his mama. It, 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 it doesn't it show y'all something. He don't have no residence right now. Didn't I say that earlier? We're going to find out. Though. Hold on. <laughs> I'm picking with you. I'm, no, send him anyway. Hey, send him anyway. I heard that. I heard that. You sliding by? Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Well, keep me posted. A uh, couple hours. Okay. Gotcha. All right, mom. Peace. What he said at the end? He said, all right, what? We got 940 people. Y'all hit the like button. He working, he working with Caesar Pena trying to flip a house. No, it ain't teeth. <laughs> Y'all don't stop. <laughs> who, did, who, who did he say? He said, Mama. That's his mama. Tell his mama, you going to slide on through? Pick me up, mama. Too. Take me to go get something to eat. So I, I just want to say this real quick here. <laughs> it could be but i have a sense that it, it was his mama just because his demeanor if you guys look you know he, he just settles down he was already talking cookies and stuff then he just settled down um i have a sense that umar he's really just he's trying to find a new place to stay that's why he's been up there live streaming a lot up there not just to get the money but also uh because he doesn't have a permanent residence, but I already state, I stated that before. See, even before this, we're going to listen to it one more time. Okay. We're going to listen to this one more time. Dr. King was not nonviolent. They came here to Chester, Pennsylvania, where I once served as school psychologist. They came here and got Bayard Rustin and took him on down yeah, to so Montgomery, he Alabama he was, to convince uh, uh, Dr. He King he was, uh, that he was uh, he needed a school psychologist out in, in Wilmington. I did not know that. Get to go nonviolent. I want you to watch the movie. It was a good movie. It was a good movie, but with. Yeah, that's a good point, though. 
Yeah. So maybe it's maybe it's some other woman. Oh, yeah, maybe it's someone that he's using. That's a good point. Maybe it's a, another woman that he's using to try to because he's trying to get a place to stay. I mean, that would negate the fact that he's not uh, that I stated it, uh, that he's not living with his mama anymore, that he doesn't have a permit. That actually proves the point even further. But it, it sounds like he's looking for a property. Uh, and he wants to be able to it'd be something he can fix up. And he, evidently, two hundred thousand is is too much, I guess, for him. But the thing is that even still, that property would be purchased by you, Umar Johnson, fathers. You're, you you supporters, you're going to pay for that. You know, the money that you send for him to, for the school, uh, it's going to pay. It's going to go towards that if it happens. See, the other thing too is is a lot of you you may think that you're sending money so that renovations can. But renovations here here's another thing, real quick. I don't mean to it just crawl my mind. Uh, Pookie and Rayway, they came out the building. Why would they even be in there when Umar already stated that the renovations are complete? You guys follow me on that? Let's go look at this again. Okay, we're gonna look at this this part again. Because you guys made some good points here for us to consider. Maybe Without that. question, you can tell that Barack and Michelle Obama, who produced the movie, go on Netflix and watch Rustin, R-U-S-T-I-N. Go on Netflix and watch Rustin, R-U-S-T-I-N. Good afternoon, beautiful. No, I can hear him saying that to his mama. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They had it right now. Okay, he's saying yes, ma'am. You see what I'm saying? Well, Umar, man, the whole Umar saga is fascinating because it's like we get to try to figure it, you know, we get to try to figure it out. Sometimes we, you know, and I was wrong about the thing and the kicking spot of these two people coming out the door, but then we get to this and the, no, I, I so far I can see this as being his mama. We we gonna we gonna continue though. We go because he says yes, ma'am, and he does it with respect. He don't got no respect for women anyway, so you would at least think that he would do that for his mama, right? Yeah, you're right. He does. He calls his mama um sometimes, but I've heard him say mama too. Pretty good, pretty good. I can't complain. How's everything with you? Stop sending me two hundred thousand dollar houses. I told you I want to fix her upper. <laughs> I'm picking with you. I'm, no, send them anyway. Hey, send them anyway. Hmm. I heard that. I heard that. You sliding by? Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Well, keep me posted. A uh, couple hours. See, he's saying she's you sliding through. I, obviously, she says she's not, and she probably asked him, "Well, when you gonna be done?" He said a couple of hours. Okay. See, his whole demeanor's changed. It's not like he's talking to you know a, a hookup or nothing like that. Don't, it just doesn't sound like it. Gotcha. All right, mama. Peace. No, no, no. That's that's his mama. That, that's his mama. He, you're not gonna say, "Okay, mama." It, it's different. You're not gonna say. Oh, it's just different. I already know. Okay, that, that's his mama. He on the phone with his mama. So listen, they he trying to they trying to get another place to stay. And, and I guess at this point, instead of renting, he they gonna try to find something. Umar gonna spend y'all donation money to buy another place or to buy a place. We'll see how this plays out. See, I told y'all something happened with Umar and his mama. Okay. I, I told y'all. And based upon history, because I, I have the receipts where I can pull up where they were evicted. Uh, in the last two places prior to the one that they were living in before he was living in the closet, the two two months prior that they were evicted, I got the paperwork for both of those. And I have a sense that something happened with the, the, their most recent uh, place of residence. And so now Umar is up here and he, he's trying to at least feel the possibility of getting an actual place and buying an actual place. <laughs> well, I tell you. Someone said, you think it's his auntie? Why? <laughs> Why would it be his auntie? <laughs> hey, you don't think it's his mom? Again, I could be wrong. I mean, you know, I, <laughs> I was wrong earlier. I could be wrong about this too. 
It's just how he says it at the end and the level of reverence and respect he has while he's talking. A uh, couple hours. We're going to have to do okay. a poll. Hold on, SP. <laughs> gotcha. All right, man. We almost done, uh, too. Listen. Business. My personal life. Go to Netflix. Stay out my personal business. It's the first thing y'all going to Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Well, keep me posted. A uh, couple hours. Okay. Gotcha. All right, mom. Peace. It's, I'm telling you. It could be. I get that. <laughs> yeah, he does. He seems very, very respectful. <laughs> He said, we know it's not his mama. <laughs> That's true. I call my wife mama sometimes. Okay, so let's take a poll. Then we're going we're gonna to get close to being done. All right. Even though I said we're going to be done in a couple months. If you think that it's his mama, hit the one. If you don't think it's his mama, hit the two. If you think it's Suki Hana, hit the three. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and, and go ahead and place your, uh, go ahead and put your vote in. Do I think it's his mama? I, I, at this point, I don't think it's his mama. I think it's someone else that he's dealing with. Okay. SP says two. East B says two. Uh, Faith and Nova says two. Uh, Saggy uh, Bob says one. <laughs> says three. Uh, uh, Cody Cole says one. Uh, Ghost says two. Edward says two. Two, 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 two and three. <laughs> It looks like there's more twos in here. All right. It looks like there's more twos in here. All right. There's some ones. Uh, a couple of ones popped up there. <laughs> this is so, tonight's been so much fun. It's been up and down. <laughs> Pam said one. <laughs> okay. All right. You're conflicted? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> huh? Who more called me, Mama? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey, you got what? <laughs> Dominic you said it's Sukiana. Okay, you don't know. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> we we can move on. We can move on. There's more twos than ones, though. Okay. There's more twos than. than... <laughs> no, no. Someone's on there. I heard. I can hear the voice. All right. Let's keep going. Here we go. Y'all funny. Listen. Listen, go to Netflix <laughs> and Suki Mama. <laughs> Listen, this is all so entertaining. It really isn't it. It's entertaining. Hashtag E. It's so entertaining because it's ups and downs. You know, it's just a, that's the Umar. You know, he's special. All right, here we go. Stay out my personal business. It's the first thing y'all gonna do is learn how to mind your business. Mind your business. My personal life ain't none of your business. Okay, stop worrying about my personal business. Can we focus on the revolution? But yeah, but Umar, you were just on the phone telling your personal business. But anyway, anyway, I want you to go to Netflix and I want you to watch Rustin, R-U-S-T-I-N. Go to That's Netflix <laughs> and watch Rustin. <laughs> It'll be a good movie for oh your children, God, but you're going to have to block oh out the rainbow <laughs> banging scenes. There's a couple rainbow banging scenes. What is he talking Identify about? With your I mean, I, I, I proved one point. The second point I was wrong on. I admit when I'm wrong, okay? Then he start talking about the cookies and the honey buns, and then he get a phone call from... Uh, Suki Mama uh, talk about he want to buy a house for two hundred thousand or something like that, and now he's talking about the rainbow something in the. He said something like that. I, I can't remember what he said. Hold on one second. <laughs> Jesus, what? Our brothers. 
You must stay focused. This is consciousness over. How's everything with you? Peace and love, beautiful. Go to Netflix. Stay out my personal business. That's the first thing y'all gonna do is learn how to mind your business. Mind <laughs> yeah, your business. We had the Duke, my personal life. We had the Dookie Gate. We had the Dookie Gate. Now we talk. All oh, this is all over the place tonight. <laughs> Umar is so entertaining. Umar, you are so entertaining, man. And I thought you won it, but now we we now we don't won again. I, uh, <laughs> Okay, okay, but I, I don't hold on one second. I know, boy, that it, was well, crazy. Is that what he said? Oh my god, <laughs> hold on one second. Ain't none of your business. Okay, stop worrying about my personal business. Can we focus on the revolution? But anyway, anyway, I want you to go to Netflix and I want you to watch Rustin R U S T I N. Go to Netflix and watch Rustin. It'll be a good movie for your children, but you're going to have to block out the rainbow banging scenes. There's a couple rainbow banging scenes. What in the world? Let's just keep going. I, I can't. We're just going to let this go. We'll, we'll move on. Hopefully you don't mention it again. Peace and love, beautiful. How's Kentucky treating you? I'm on my live. I absolutely am. That ain't his mama. That is not his mama. It ain't. Mm -mm. He got some woman out here looking for looking for houses for him. Yeah, he's supposed he probably said that I'm gonna buy us a house. I'm gonna buy us a house. Yeah, because I loved you. I loved it, you. <laughs> the mama was like, Why are you talking like that? <laughs> Who are is wild? He said, Where my rainbow African? <laughs> I get it. Bombs, they blow up. Okay, I, I got it. I, I got you. This ain't his mama right here, though. I don't know. Now, the other one, maybe, but this ain't his mama right here. I guarantee you that. His life is our business. <laughs> but what the point I'm getting at, though, Darius, is that Umar's telling his business, and he's doing it live. So, I mean, what are people supposed to do? Like, not hear it? No, you're going to hear it. He's telling his business. Don't tell your business. They're going to talk like People who are watching are doing something wrong. Umar, Umar is so entertaining. I, I, he is he is incredibly entertaining. He really is. And there's so many ups and downs. You know, I, I remember some of you guys may remember this, but even when he first purchased these properties back in 2019, that was a moment where I was like, oh man, he's gonna keep this going for another four years. But now it's almost five years. That was a point, like a down point, like, wow, I can't know. That he's gonna keep these people fooled for, for another four years. But as we've seen, you know, over time, it's, it's there's ups and downs, ups and downs. And I always give Umar credit when he does something that's good. The criticism is there too. And I always admit when I'm wrong. Okay. Now, this could be two separate phone calls, but I know one thing this phone call that he's getting right here, that's not his mama. Okay. It's not. Uh, thanks, Darius King. Let's go back to it. Here we go. Because look at how he, he's, his whole demeanor changes and how he's talking. A good movie for your children, but you're going to have to block out the rainbow banging scenes. There's a couple rainbow banging scenes. Peace and love, beautiful. How's Kentucky treating you? I'm on my live. I absolutely am. See? I got you. Say no more. All right, beautiful. One love. Now, I want you to go to Netflix and watch Rustin. Stay out my personal business. Go to Netflix and watch Rustin. But I'm going to tell you, it's a good movie. Good movie. But I can tell Michelle and Barack old drama 
clearly had a rainbow gang agenda with the film. They didn't, let me not, I was going to say they didn't overdo it. They, Black Power. What's going on, beloved? What's the name? Amiri. Brother Amiri. Nice to meet you. Please to meet you. What's the name, Brent? Mike. Cool. Brother Mike. What's yeah, going on with you, brother? How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm yeah, well, I'm well. I see you loud. I'm like, oh, yeah, you in the city. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all yeah, yeah, live here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're right over east. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Y'all yeah. on the east side? Yeah. What side is this? This is this northeast. This is the northeast side. Okay. Yeah. You don't even know what side he did. He don't even know what side. It's been almost five years, and he's asking them what side of Wilmington am I on. Yeah, he's scared. He always scared. He's so he's so scary. Well, you know, we working on the school. Uh -huh. Try to get that ready for the, for, the, for the young man or whatnot. Wow, what's going on with this car? <laughs> Got a bomb in it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, uh, made you choose Delaware. Uh, I didn't choose Delaware. Delaware chose me. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, we well, that car right there was struggling. Uh, FMG will open in <laughs> yeah ninety twenty three somewhere thereabouts at least. <laughs> Here we go. We're thanks for that. Also, thanks school. everyone else who too sent their super chats. I appreciate. It. We're almost done. Uh, I thought we would be in Detroit because yeah. Detroit had a lot of Catholic schools that was in good shape for sale. Okay. Uh, but then the archdiocese said they wanted to see my curriculum. I said, "What you need to see my curriculum for? If I'm paying cash for the school, this is yeah. this is business. Yeah. What I'm teaching, none of your business. They wouldn't sell to me. Yeah. None of the Catholic schools would sell to me. We had a school in uh, Mount Vernon, New York. We was going to lease. They said no." We had a school in Philly we was going to buy, they said no. We had a school in Trenton we was going to buy, they said no. So this popped up. And I came and looked at it. I said, wait a minute. This looks like it's a fairly modern school. Yeah. So then I finally got a chance to get inside of it. This is back in 2017. Uh, they wanted $2 million. We couldn't afford it at the time. So we kind of worked with them for the next year and a half. And in February of 2019, we bought it. So it'll be five years in February. Yes, sir. If all goes well, Five we'll years. be completely done with everything by the end of the year. If all goes well, and we plan on having a community brand open uh, celebration in either Black History Month or the spring. So we almost at the finish line. And we're going to be having all kind of programs in here. You feel me? Political education class, men's circle, programs for women, you know, a single father's conference, black love conference, black farmers conference, everything. Everything we corner boy conference, gang conference, we doing it all. Everything the people need, we corner boy conference. See, all of this is fanciful. None of this. It's been five years. This he he said all this stuff anyway before going back four and a half years ago. It's nothing new. It again proves my point. We proved point one. We didn't prove point two. Well, we still do because he always kicking it up there. But it, it we, we it's it's fully solidified point one, and that is that. Umar, he runs the same schemes over and over again to give the illusion of progress. And this is part of the scheme, making these promises that, yeah, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be opening either in February, Black History Month of 2024 or in the springtime. OK, he, this, this just gives the illusion of progress. We almost done. We almost we almost done. No. Meanwhile, he still continues to collect money and not one boy has been educated. Nothing's taking place up there. There's some abandoned buildings. Got Pookie and Ray Ray coming in and out of the building that he don't even know one of the guys supposed to be doing work up there. They're not professional contracted uh, uh, or certified uh, uh, construction workers, any of that stuff. These are people that he's found and live around the way that he comes and work on things. I'm going to do it here. My, uh, my girlfriend, she's on the phone. She wants sure, to sure. Speak How we doing, princess? Good to see you there. How's everything? Hey, ladies. How's everything? Good to see y'all. I'm going to see y'all at the grand opening when we open up the school. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah. One love. One love. There goes somebody else walking over there. See that? Look at the background. Let's do it. Listen, y'all, there's all kind of people coming in and out of that building. Uh, listen, I, I, I have a very hard time believing that everyone who's coming in and out of that building over there are workers. I have a very difficult time believing. It. One of the guys, like I said, who came out, Umar didn't even know who he was. And now there's more people. And these are different people. Just coming on out. No problem. It is. It's a kicking spot. No, listen, my point has been proven. It is a kicking spot. Umar kicks it up there. People come through. You know, you sliding through. You know, what you want, you want to tell me something, I'll take the camera off. Yeah, it's hood hood up there. 
corner board conference. <laughs> so we, <laughs> I don't know what, what's, I don't know what the, I don't know what, what you're going to do at the corner board conference. Anybody, if you have any thoughts or ideas, let me know. I don't know what he, what you going to do. Teach him, you know, what, what corner to stand on, what corner not to stand on. If you don't get hemmed up by the police, that's what you going to teach him. What kind of bags are you to bag up? To, no, I'm just <laughs> I have no idea, Enterprise. It don't make no sense. You're going to have a honeycomb hideout conference. <laughs> what, what, is, what is a honeycomb hideout? Why did, why, does he call, why did he call it that? I mean, anyway, here we go. Well, these, these, oh, I feel so bad for these young men. They Take have no idea. So you can stay in touch. Okay. You need me, Messiah? Yeah. Okay. 215-989-9858. Lock me in and then text me yours. All right. And when we start having programs, I'm going to see y'all flyers and everything. Okay. I got you. Just lying to these young men like that. He ain't got no shame. Be safe out here. No doubt. Oh, no. These aren't, these aren't, well, at least well, now there's that, that three people came out of here, but one of those people is here. That's the guy with the backpack on. I thought the renovations are, are complete. He's talking about doors. Because you know they gotta be fire grade or whatever, so I want that to be the same one. So I can just switch them out. But these two main doors, we're gonna do we will do the uh, you know traditional school heavy metal joints. Two and two, we probably want something with a little peephole in it, though small, but something with a peephole. Yeah. This is not how it's done. He said he wants to switch out some doors and put them over there because he wants the fire resistant door to be over here. And he wants then he wants to have the uh, the, the, the door put up here on the front that has a peephole. <laughs> it don't never stop with this guy. That's what he said. He want a peephole on it. <laughs> you ever gone to a school that got a peephole? <laughs> you got to be out your mind. I have one. He don't take your kids to the school. They got a peephole on the door. It's a door with a peephole on it. You knock on it. Who that? Who that? <laughs> I'm here to pick up my child. Sir, can I pick up my... Nah, you hold on. <laughs> I'm busy. Hold on. Let me look at you to the peephole. Make sure it's you. Make sure it's you. <laughs> He said a peephole. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. He's not talking about See, that's why we that's why we can't have nothing nice. Because y'all gotta go there. That's not what I was saying. I'm saying he wants a peephole on the front door. <laughs> Y'all are best. I need to think of, that's why I gotta stay out this chat room all month. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> that's not what he's talking about. Don't do that. <laughs> he, he want a peephole in tinted windows. He did say he want tinted windows. Though. He said he want to tint tint the windows and. He want to put Dayton's on the door. I don't know. <laughs> Poop hole. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. You guys, boy, I tell you. <laughs> Let me, you can hear it. You can barely hear it, but that's what he was saying. <laughs> we got over 900 people. Y'all hit the like button. We're almost done. I mean, we're, we're very close. <laughs> Umar is hilarious. Okay. We're going to do, do the uh, you know, traditional school heavy metal joints. Two and two. We probably want something with a little peephole in it. No, he's talking about the front doors. He wants the traditional metal doors, but he wants a peephole. <laughs> he wants 
want to peep door on the front door of the school. <laughs> what kind of mess? <laughs> yeah, he said, he said, he said, I want the heavy metal joints. <laughs> you know, he's talking about the doors. When you want a people, a small people with the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's state of the art. He don't want no retina scanners, family. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he don't want no. <laughs> Let me stop. He just want a peephole. He don't want no three factor authentication. He did you know, none of that. He said, "Let's give put a peephole on the door." All right. Okay. He says all the ones that have holes and the damage and and so the renovations aren't complete because there's still uh, doors in there that got holes in them and damage. That's what the guy's saying right here. Mubar, he's such a liar. It turns out all good. I mean, I again, I, I I was wrong. I admit that I was wrong. But all everything that's come out of out of this since that, it's like okay, now I see what we're really here watching. Uh, we're here to listen to this crazy because it also proves that he lied about renovations are done. If renovations are done, why are you talking about doors? And doors aren't like a major fix either. And the guy's talking about how there's still holes in the doors. You guys, anyone else here that hit the one? Uh, uh, let me just rewind that a little bit. Yeah, holes and door knobs that are damaged. He said the glass is busted out. Well, and uh, Dominique, I think those are the people who are supposed to be doing some fix fixing up, some renovation work. I didn't hear no cat. <laughs> so, yes, in the Rustin movie on Netflix, we go right back. There, I counted about four movie. rainbow banging scenes. I counted four. They didn't overdo it, but the scenes that they did put in there, I don't want to exaggerate this. The rainbow banging scenes in the movie. There was no straight up, well, yes, it was. Yes. How do I want to say this? No, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes. Omar, just let it go, man. Don't stress yourself out on that. Just let it go, man. Man, I just, I don't even know what the movie is he's talking about. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to let the peephole go, are you? You're going to be talking about that for the rest of, for the rest of the year. I already know it. Don't do that, Cookie Crush Chat. Okay, let, we, let's let the peephole situation. He said he wanted a peephole on the front door. I said, man, Umar, he's stressing it. Look at him. He's all stressed out trying to relive these scenes. <laughs> Look at him. Poor Umar. Hold on. He just came right back across the street. I'm telling you, he just be kicking it up there on Netflix there I counted four rainbow banging scenes oh, goodness. I counted four like they that? didn't overdo it but the scenes that they did put in there I don't want to exaggerate this <laughs> the <laughs> rainbow banging scenes in the movie there was no straight up well yes it was yes how do I want to say this no, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. There was four rainbow banging scenes. There were four scenes in the Rustin film on Netflix that are inappropriate for your children. There are four scenes in the Rustin movie. So what you might got to do is watch the movie first so you know when to fast forward when the children are watching. Do a time stamp <laughs> on the rainbow banging scenes. Watch the movie alone before you show it to your children. <laughs> Do a time stamp on the rainbow banging scenes so you can fast Omar, forward past stop. the rainbow banging and get back to the movie. Okay? <laughs> Four or five rainbow saying. banging scenes. Listen, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just stop it. Just chill. That's all I'm saying. 
Just chill off of that, man. I don't get it. Why are you so? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go better leave that people alone. <laughs> he sure did. He, he was taking notes and shit. He was like, how many scenes, pal? It was, it was exactly five scenes. And the first one that was at the door with the people. And the second one, they was inside of the, a bad trap bad door in the back on the red room. Then it was on the roof of the third scene, pal. They, then on the catwalk on the fourth scene, on the fifth scene. Well, just leave it alone, man. <laughs> you ain't got to do all that. <laughs> leave Rainbow. Listen, Rainbow Bright is undefeated, too. Okay. <laughs> Y'all remember Rainbow Bright? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if y'all don't stop. If y'all don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are used to some emojis that are epic. <laughs> okay. I'll be sitting at my wife emoji sometimes. She says, what is that supposed to mean? She actually texted me that. I said, what? She said, you need some, some emoji training. <laughs> I said, wow. I'm serious. <laughs> All right. All right. No, you know, you're young, Erica. That's why you don't know about Rainbow Bright. You're young. That's all it is. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my God. Some of this I can't read. You got tripping. <laughs> you got tripping. No, she did. She said I need emoji training. I was so offended. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to read you exactly what she said. <laughs> she was serious too because she's like, I don't know what what do you what does that mean? <laughs> oh, it's not oh I know why hold on a second. My phone is so slow. I got an IT degree, got this old old fly. I, I just don't want to spend no money. I, you know, everybody's got a better phone than me. Yeah, that's okay. Here it is right here. It was on Saturday. Is it going to come up or what? The phone sucks so bad. Here it is. So, uh, it didn't even go to where it was at. I just searched for it and it said it came up and now it's there. Uh, never mind, my phone is tripping. Cheap, cheap old mess. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> I do. I got a basic phone. I said it's like, well, this one. I said, now nah, what's your cheapest phone? This years ago, the people walk around with twelve hundred dollars phone. I said, you know how many groceries I can buy with that? All right, let me get up off this chat room because y'all still going on talking about the rainbow and the, the peekaboo house or whatever it was. Here we go. Barack and Michelle think they slick. They was definitely pushing the agenda. They were definitely pushing the agenda in the Bayard Rustin film. But I want y'all to watch it. It's a pretty good film. It's a pretty good film. I might go check it out because I have no idea what that film is. I'm watching this other film right now called uh, The Creator. It's a sci-fi. It's okay so far. Uh, yeah, Chia said, when you get to the store, can you get peppermint candy? And I, I put these emojis three emojis and then she says what is that lol you need emoji training <laughs> he says have a great day <laughs> okay there you go and i don't believe in throwing out the baby with the bathwater. i give bayar rustin his due just like i give james baldwin his due both of them were a part oh, they were both gay. of the army you understand but they were for now, their people first they were for their people first so i don't agree with that uh, he's when but he I says army he's saying the gay people army. That's what he's, he's man. Umar, you so backwards. You really are. He, he's so backwards. Just just backward thinking. I mean, it, it's 2023. I, and I don't understand a lot of it either, but still, at least I have a level of understanding where I'm not going to be talking crazy like this.
I respect the contribution they made to the black struggle, so I'm never going to discount them for that. You understand me? But what they doing now is they trying to push that on our children, and so we got to push on back, brothers and sisters. How you doing, Elder? Do Mar Young take care of your kids. So uh, Bayer Rustin, Rustin, advisor to Martin Luther King Jr., dedicates his life to the quest for racial equality, human rights, and worldwide democracy. However, as an openly gay black man, he is all but erased from the civil rights movement he helped build. Hmm, that's interesting. I might check that out. I might check it out. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Ooh, Academy. Hit the We're PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy, brothers and sisters. <laughs> now, see, what I need y'all to understand, and this is why black people keep on getting trapped up. If you need to reach me, you should know my number by now. I had the same number for 18 years. I've had the same phone number for 18 years. I don't understand you. I've had the same 10 digits since my first trip to Africa July 2nd, 2005. Oh, so I don't understand how you ain't got my number. It's Somebody sent me a picture of Natural Tahuti. Hold on, let me see. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he, he said he, he met him. Yeah, he just sent me a picture of him and, uh, yeah, a photo. This, yep. Yeah, a lot of people don't remember uh, a Natural Tahuti, but he got caught up. I can't remember what he went to jail for in the first place. Anybody know uh, inside the chat room? I'll, I'll look in there right now. But I can't remember what his he was charged with and convicted of to get him in the prison. I can't remember right now. But but while he was in there, he got caught up in something. He gave me more time because the guy he supplied drugs to uh, ended up dying. Probably some bad dope. In the same number, 215-989-9858. 215 Podcast interview, text me. 215 989 Nine eight five eight. Rustin is the name of the movie. Man. Okay, hold on. So, real quick, um, natural who to who do you arrested murder charge and distribution, smuggled drugs into the complainant alleged Howard smuggled the drugs into the but it does not describe Howard obtained the drugs. What about man? Hold on. Uh, you think it, uh, it was a coke charge? Okay. And then when he got in there, he got caught up in some other stuff. Yeah, okay. So he went to jail, uh, drugs. I uh, went to jail for drugs initially. Okay, I got you. Uh, here we go. Bad money prod. Wait a minute. Was that a snow bunny? Mad money prod. Is that African vanilla or is that snow bunny infiltration? Is that a snow bunny? Listen, listen, listen. Shout out to the bunnies, but this is not the lie for you. I don't know why y'all so addicted to my lie. Listen, go. listen. I respect y'all. I wish no harm against no other branch of the human family. But this is an all African people's live stream right here. This is an all African people's play page platform. Why y'all got to keep bringing your crusty pale? Listen. <laughs> can't Africans have some private time with Africans we don't bum rush your lives I've never bum rushed it, a white person's life I've never bum rushed it, a brown person's life I've never bum rushed a yellow person's life I've never bum rushed a red person's life because out of respect for your family your racial family I'm going to mind my business. But whenever King Kong consciousness go live, y'all try to turn my chat into the Rainbow Coalition. This is not the go. Rainbow Coalition. I need you to understand something, Neanderthal Nation. Neanderthal Nation. I need you to get this, Neanderthal Nation. This is not the Rainbow Coalition. I need you to understand. This is all black everything. Hashtag ABE. All black everything. Hashtag ABE. All black everything. Do you feel me, Neanderthal Nation? No hate, no disrespect. But yeah. we're trying to disconnect so we can do something for ourselves.
Do you feel me? And y'all just keep bum rushing my what life. Is a I pause? know. What is a pause? Because my son was saying he was talking to my wife, and he says, "Yeah, uh, me and, and his brother, we uh, we're the only uh, black boys that have Paul shirts or something like that." What's a Paul? Anybody know? Fine, I got the, you know, the the chocolate, the milk chocolate. I understand. He I know said I'm milk fine, chocolate. but bunnies. <laughs> milk I don't do chocolate. the bunnies. I don't do the bunnies. <laughs> I only do the buddy. queens, and I like them curvy, thick, huh? tight. Oof. What are you talking about, Umar? Are you so you such a freak. A white woman with a what? What does that have to do? Is that what? But what's a Paul go? Why is it Paul? That don't make no sense. Uh, he ain't got. Uh, he better not have no things shirt that said he probably was just playing. I'm gonna go ask him after the show. Can someone tell me how, what? How does that? Uh, I'll be showing my snow bunny. <laughs> What's up, that's that's Carver. I'll be showing my snow bunny girlfriend Umar video sometimes. She just be laughing. She, <laughs> she don't care. It's probably humorous to her because you know she living her life. That's all it is. Y'all live your live your life. Hey, Umar can't even keep a black woman talking about y'all can't have a white woman. Woman is a woman to me. I don't care. Okay, I'm married anyway. I was married. A pog of fat. Oh, oh my God! I'm gonna have to talk to him. These boys. You might look that up right now. Hold on. <laughs> I can't type for a lick, but I'll be nothing. That... <laughs> All right, we almost done. We got nine people to the building. Here we go. Let's finish this. Up. Tight jeans, smelling good, <laughs> natural hair. Woo! Who are you crazy? I don't do the bunnies. I only do the queens. And I like them curvy. <laughs> thick. Now I want to go look it up. Hold on. I ain't going to do that. Y'all, tri I'm tripping. I'm getting caught up in the snow bunny crisis. Umar be talking so nasty. Here we go. Tight, oof, tight jeans. Smelling good. <laughs> Natural hair. Woof. The honey bunnies. I like the chocolate honey bunnies. I don't want no Neanderthal snow bunny. I like the chocolate honey bunnies. I like the brown butter almond honey bunnies. I like the sweet peanut butter honey bunnies. I like that chocolate fudge honey bunny. I like that African vanilla honey bunny. I like that African lemonade honey bunny. I don't want a snow bunny. I like that brown honey bunny cinnamon nutmeg. Do you feel me? Neanderthal nation, fall back. <laughs> Umar, man, listen, bro, you are you're the best. You never disappoint. You never ever disappoint. Umar, you are the best. This guy, he's he's incredible. He he was so just the uh pretty oh pretty a is a oh okay it's okay i i don't i'm gonna have to talk to my son though anyway just to make sure he, you know i haven't seen him wear but i heard him talking he might have been saying it just to make uh, my wife upset or something but i heard him saying it and i was like what is he talking about but i, I, I i'm gonna talk to him <laughs> let's go back this guy was going nuts he'd be going crazy and y'all just keep bum rushing my life i know i'm fine i got the you know, the, the chocolate, the milk chocolate. I understand. I know I'm fine, but yeah, bunnies, that's a good point. I don't do yeah, it. He's, he's got to be, he's he's probably pushing 50 now, you know, and it, for him to be talking like this. The bunnies. Yeah, Vince, he out there. You know, and don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with, uh, you know, women. A woman is a woman. You know, y'all fine, and it's just a natural attraction, no matter what. It's, it's going to be there as long as you're a heterosexual man, or if you're even if you're bisexual. Let's be real about it. But if you're a heterosexual man, there's going to be some level of attraction, no matter what. That don't mean you're impulsive and you act out on it or anything like that. But you know that that's but the, Umar is just a whole nother thing. He's he's out there. 
Like he's, it's, it's, I've never seen anyone. He's almost 50 and he, he goes off like this and talks like this. He's supposed to, he wants to be a principal of a school. I don't do the bunnies. I only do the queens. And I like them curvy, thick, mm, tight, oof, tight jeans, smelling good, natural hair. Woof. The honey bunnies. I like the chocolate honey bunnies. I don't want no Neanderthal snow bunny. I like the chocolate honey bunnies. I like the brown butter almond honey bunnies. I like the sweet peanut butter honey bunnies. I like that chocolate fudge. See, the thing is, he's, he's talking about black women. He has no respect. Why, why are you talking like this? Children are watching this. You younger people who watch Umar, don't, you especially younger men, don't think that this is okay. He's almost 50 talking like this. Y'all probably don't even talk like this. He has no respect whatsoever. Look at his face. That's exactly what I was just thinking. That's y'all's principle. Honey bunny. I like that African vanilla honey bunny. I like that African lemonade honey bunny. I don't want a snow bunny. I like that brown honey bunny cinnamon nutmeg. Do you feel me? Neanderthal nation fall back. I don't want no snow bunny. I want the honey bunnies. The color of honey. Brown honey, yellow honey, dark honey. Butter almond honey, butter pecan honey, caramel honey, peanut butter honey. I want the honey bunnies, not the snow bunnies. I love the black honey bunnies. <laughs> Someone upstairs is saying honey bunny. I hope it ain't one of my kids watching this live stream right now. I kept hearing someone say, honey, buddy. <laughs> I thought it was this, but I said, wait, we're coming from upstairs. I thought it was downstairs first. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my kids all know Ubar, too. They're like, yeah, they, 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 how's Ubar doing? I, I ain't done no videos on him. Tomorrow. I know. When you going to do Ubar video? <laughs> Did he get school open? No, nah, he ain't got to start, baby. He ain't got school open. <laughs> Our kids are like, well, he's probably still scamming. I said, yeah, he's probably still scamming. They, they know, they know who boy. They say he's a super scammer. They know. <laughs> Whoa, who bar crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we still doing date with the doctor. Five hundred dollars. You go on a date with Doctor Umar. Five hundred dollar donation to the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, and you go on a date with. Doc you, you want me to run it back? I'll run it back for you. I'll run it back because it's almost over. We're almost done. That just went way longer. I, I, I'm sorry. When we do these lives, I lose track of all time. I just it just and that feels like we just started like thirty minutes ago. It's incredible how these live streams go. Uh, I mean, thank you all. You know, thank I, I appreciate all y'all. Everyone in the click your chat, all the moderators. Thank you so much. I appreciate all y'all. The people who get upset with me, I appreciate y'all too. Okay, thank y'all. So this was an up and down one tonight, but you know, we're still rocking with him and we still going. Umar, he he's disturbed, definitely, but he's also quite hilarious. He's very entertaining. So let, let's run that part back. Then we're gonna go to the end. It's only about four minutes left. He starts shaking his head and doing all like he starts going like this. I said, "Oh, go ahead, Miss Thing." Bunnies, I like the chocolate honey bunnies. I don't want no Neanderthal snow bunny. I like the chocolate honey bunnies. I like the brown butter almond honey bunnies. I like the sweet peanut butter <laughs> honey bunnies. I like that chocolate fudge honey bunny. I like that African vanilla honey bunny. I like that African lemonade honey bunny. I don't want a snow bunny. I like that brown honey bunny cinnamon nutmeg. Do you feel me, Neanderthal? Fall nation, fall back. Fall back. <laughs> and then he's going to start again. I don't want no snow money. I want the honey bunnies. The color <laughs> of honey. Brown honey, yellow honey, dark honey. Butter almond honey, butter pecan honey, caramel honey, peanut butter.
Listen, Miss Thing, we're gonna have to Miss Thing, we're gonna have to stop with all this neck rolling. Okay, it's unbecoming, sir. We're gonna have to stop with all this neck rolling and all this like that. We're gonna stop that right here, right now. Okay, Miss Thing. <laughs> Won't you come on down? <laughs> Uh, black women are being very disrespected and, and demonized, and uh, he is the biggest black woman champion, even if it's for all the wrong reasons. Pimping one on one. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy that there are black women who see him as a sort of champion in the midst of black women being uh, demonized and disrespected? I mean, and that's nothing new. Okay, the disrespect and that's that's just that's it's been that way, and I, it's been that way. I just I saw it says it's just been that way, but somehow Umar who. Is one of the most disrespects. I see. I should. I should pull this up, but we would have to skip through to find it. We we're gonna do it on a separate video. We what we'll do on that separate is we're gonna go back and watch the whole thing. Where Umar does the full cut when he's in his suit. We're gonna watch the whole thing straight through. And, and a lady, when we do it, re, remind just in in the comment section or whatever. Just remind me of this. You can even put in there uh, hashtag pimping one hundred and one, and I'll remember. Uh, Umar has been uh, accepted by some as a champion for women, but the truth of the matter is if you listen to how he talks, he sexualizes black women. Uh, he's verbally abusive towards black women. Uh, he's manipulative. He exploits black women for financial gain and for, for sexual gain as well. Um, this reminds me, and I talked about this years ago, uh, uh, a very clear case of this. You guys remember Serena Williams, she, she married a white guy. And I think they have two children by now. And by all accounts, they're happy and they're doing their thing. Listen, live, go live your life. OK, if you got a good man in your life, live your life. He's a good daddy. He's a good father. Live your, I'll tell you one thing. He's better than Umar. He's better than Umar. I'll tell you that right now. But Umar, as usual, he wants to criticize black people. And he starts going off on uh, Serena Williams. Anyone remember that? Hit one. Hit the one. That's what I mean. Pimping one on one. He's been champion as, a, you know, he's all for black women. But that's not the case because he's critical. He's overly critical of your hair, how you dress. He talks about you in these overly sexualized terms. But when he did that uh, video, where he's talking about Serena Williams. You guys, if you listen carefully, he talks about how uh, the white man, the, his, her white husband, uh, he, he says something to the effect of he don't know what to do with that. She got all that. And what he's referencing is, you know, she's she's a. Uh, uh, I don't even know what the word is without, I don't want to sound disrespectful, but she's a, physically speaking, she's, she has it together. You guys catch me. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay. She, she uh, I'm, I'm too old. I, I just, you know, she's, I, I, I'm sorry. I apologize for even saying that, but that he's referring to her physical characteristics. I'll say it that way. I, I apologize. So what he's doing is he's saying that with with all of her physical characteristics and what she has been blessed with, I'll say it that way. That this white man, he don't know what to do with that. He can't handle that. So he reduces her down to her body parts. And then as a way of talking about how this white man can't handle her in the bed like a black man would handle her in the bed, uh, which would be Umar Johnson. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna put the, we're gonna come back to that at some point. That was an Umar Johnson, Serena uh, Williams rant. We'll come back to it at some point. That's Pepper 101, because you got all these black women like, yeah, Umar, he's for the black, black. No, he's not. He just wants to get them draws. It's that simple. That's why he's always starts talking sexual talk and he can't help himself. He keep going. You see how he just keeps going and he start getting all animated. That's that's a problem. And again, like I said, we can we can appreciate a woman and the woman's body. Trust me. OK, it, that, that is what it is. But it's another thing when you go like this and you just get wild. and can't control yourself and start talking crazy. That's Umar. That's pimping one on one. Thanks, a lady, for the super chat. Yeah, we're going to have to come back to that. Uh, what you call it to that uh, when he went off on Serena Williams. Talking crazy. Honey, I want the honey bunnies, not the snow bunnies. I love the black honey bunnies.
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, I, I wouldn't even want to say that. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I know what you're talking about because y'all remember that song, She's a Brick House. Yeah, that, that's what it was. <laughs> that was a jam back. I know what they were talking about when I was a kid. I was like, what you talking about? <laughs> I know what they talking about. Now. Here we go. Look at him breathing all heavy. <laughs> Oh, we still doing date with the doctor. Five hundred dollars. You go on a date with Doctor Umar. Five hundred dollar donation to. Here we go, Prince of Prostitution. You are gonna pay five hundred dollars to go go on a date? He's and this is what he said. He said, and I think it was Tata or Hasta. Somebody said this. I they figured it out. He said you are gonna pay him five hundred dollars to go on a date with him. And then he says, but uh, but then he gonna but he'll buy all the food. <laughs> so you can go wherever you want. You can buy eat whatever you want. You're gonna take their money and then you're gonna you you're gonna use their money to buy them food so it's free. You appear prostituting yourself just to get some money so you can continue to kick it at the kicking spot. The Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. And you go on a date with Dr. Umar anywhere in the Delaware, Philadelphia, South Jersey area. You choose the restaurant, I pick up the tab. Five hundred dollar donation to the friend. If you're picking, if they give you five hundred dollars and then you pick up the tab, are you really picking up the tab? See, this fulfills two things. It gets him money. He uses the school. It's a school donation. That ain't, come on, you got Pookie and Ray Ray up there kicking it. That's not going towards the school. Five hundred dollars under the, the the guys that you're. They're gonna spend that money to uh, do some renovations at FDMG. Then you can take this woman out to eat, but then you're going to pay for it with that $500. So it's free for her. And then obviously she's going to have to pay to get a flight or a, t a ticket or a drive or whatever. If she out of state or whatever to get there. Well, we, is that what we do these days? That's Again, that, that goes back to pimping one-on-one. -on -one. Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. That's only for the Queens biologically born queens only date with the doctor five hundred dollar donation you pick the restaurant lunch or dinner tab is on me so i want the ladies to know date with the doctor that's a clean date ain't no hanky panky ain't no hooking up afterwards we've had about three of them already and they all went well sisters was very professional we dealt with business we dealt with life coaching we dealt with how they could help with the frederick douglas marcus garvey academy date with the doctor five hundred dollars you choose the restaurant i pick up the tab king kong consciousness king kong consciousness but here's what i want the american african community to understand hit your cash app dollar sign fdmg school here we go. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Mail your check of money orders payable to FDMG Academy. P.O. <laughs> Box 9630. You can get a gang of tacos for $500 at Taco Bell. You get a gang of them. For Wilmington, Delaware, 19809 FDMG Academy, P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware, 19809. I pay for the meal. You make a donation to the school. You choose the restaurant. You text me the receipt. Text me the cash app, PayPal receipt, FDMG Academy. And I'm going to say, what's your availability for your date with the doctor? Have you selected a restaurant? You're going to choose a restaurant in the Philadelphia, Wilmington, Delaware, South Jersey area. And I'm, we're going to choose a time and I'm going to meet you there. And we're going to have our one, two hour lunch or dinner. And then afterwards, we will go our separate ways. A clean date with Dr. Papa for any of the queens in the diaspora. That includes my Nigerian queens, my Jamaican queens, my Haitian queens, my California queens, my Carolina queens, my Connecticut queens, my Brazilian queens, my London queens. So you going to fly from Brazil to these traps up here, the kicker spot to go on a date with Umar and you pay $500 too? For my well. Australian Queens date with the doctor, $500, 215-989-9858. Hit your cash app. You like the green? Who said they like green? What kind, what kind of green you want, sister? What kind of green you want? We got pear green. 
We got Wells Green. We got all kind of green. What green do you want, family? You want the light green or you want the dark green? You want the light green or you want the Ogun green or you want the Orumila green or you want some Oshun gold? What you want? I want you to go cut your nails. What you oh, looking damn. for? Some of y'all want the browns. Y'all want the brown? What kind of brown you want? Class. He sound like he's selling bean pies out on the corner. Classroom status. You don't pay for the date. I pay for the date. You just make the donation. You don't pay for the date. I pay for it. <laughs> These people in the chat are like, wait, but we gave the donation to pay for the date. What are you talking about? The date. Mint green for the bathroom. Mint green for the men's bathroom. Mint green for the women's bathroom. Mint green for the girls' bathroom. Or mint green for the boys' bathroom. We got four bathrooms, family. I thought that the renovations are done, though. I got I barely got time on my. I, I don't know. I, I, that's the thing. I have no idea. You know. It, well, you know the truth is though, James. He, he ain't. He ain't got nothing else going on anyway. He ain't got no job or nothing. So he, he'll find the time. Evidently, he he find time to be up here kicking it. <laughs> He'd be up there kicking it for months. Uh, thanks for super chat, uh, James. You're almost we done. We got a woman's bathroom. What color you want, ladies? You want pink? My sisters want the hot pink for the ladies' bathroom. Y'all want the hot pink? What color is my office going to be? Here we go. See him start hey, sniffing? Listen, when he starts sniffing and snarling, you guys know what time it is. He start he because that whenever he talk about his office, he starts getting freaky. Watch. Bathroom or mint green for the boys' bathroom? We got four bathrooms, family. We got a woman's bathroom. What color you want? Ladies, you want pink? <laughs> my sisters want... He take that 500 to give y'all three Lunchables and he going to keep two of them. <laughs> he going to make you eat in the bathroom, family. <laughs> this month. He going to make you eat in the bathroom this month. I was going to tell y'all a story, but I ain't going to do that because then y'all, it's just so inappropriate. I ain't going to do it. This, I, this is inappropriate. I'm going I'm just gonna stop. I've been wanting to tell this story for years and get off my chest. Maybe at another time when it's only men in the chat room. Because y'all know, y'all, if I said it to the men, you'd be like, yeah. But I tell it to the women, you're like, huh? <laughs> it's when I was young. I was 23. My girlfriend was 33. Here we go. The hot pink for the ladies' bathroom. Want no, the hot I, I ain't pink? telling it. I ain't gonna tell it because y'all gonna y'all gonna judge me. Y'all gonna be and then y'all gonna clown me for like a, the next uh, six months or so. I know how y'all do. <laughs> Mint green to cover. <laughs> Listen, to be honest, who are you? Just color these buildings black. Just color them black because if there ain't nobody, you can't see the mold. And that's another thing, sickly. Real quick, when E and J went up there, also uh, stop E and J Nation. Uh, E and J went out there, and you, I'm sure, I'm sure you, you've seen a video, sick lid. Uh, it's archived. E and J went out there, but also Reverend Jerry Juice live out there. He went out there too. And the amount of mold infestation in, on those buildings is it's incredible. Okay, it's not just like a patch here. I mean, it's like literally going down the wall. When Umar painted though, the, the first time, because we played the video earlier today, this was in 2020. He didn't, there was no mold remediation or anything like that. He didn't power wash anything. He didn't prime anything. He just had people come out there, take the old paint that was inside of that storage, the old paint from Warrior Academy, and they just painted over everything, including all the mold. It just goes to show he don't, he doesn't know what he's doing and he doesn't care to learn what needs to be done. He just wants to keep this going indefinitely. And that's precisely what he's done. He's kept this going now for four and a half, almost five years. It'll be five years in February with no end in sight. Still have people coming up there. And some of these people he don't even know this coming up there to do work, or at least they think they're going to come up to do work. But I'm going to tell you all something. What Umar does is he has people come up there to do work and he'll use them and he, he'll just take advantage of them. And at a certain point, he dismisses them and discards them. And then he has to start all over again. He gets a nut and some more people come in. It's a revolving door. Very rarely do they have does he have people come up there who are professional, people who have who have who are licensed contractors, people who have license to do that type of work, who actually go and pull permits. And I'm gonna say one other thing, uh, sick lid. You can't 
do these types of renovations on this type of a property that's supposed to be a school for children and you have anybody just anybody come out and do work and not pull permits because what happens is is that when they come to do the inspections and this could be inspections the general inspection it could be a safety inspection it could be a uh, inspection for the hvac unit inspection for the fire and uh, sprinkler system inspect all these different inspections that, that need to be done okay they're going to look at the water quality they're going to look at the electricity, the, the uh, wiring in the building, there's wires all poking all out all everywhere. It's not going to pass. But what's going to happen is that when and if he ever gets to that point, they're going to come in. And the first thing that they're going to ask for are is to see the permits. And those permits are going to be online anyway. So they're going to be able to, to cross reference and make sure that those permits are there. And so if he doesn't have permits that show that this amount of work was done on, the, let's say, the electricity, or the the uh, the uh, the wiring, the electric, electrical wiring, and it was took place for this amount of money, and it took this amount of days. If they go in there and they don't, they can't find permits for any of work that supposedly has been done, it's not going to pass inspection. It's that simple. Those are checks and balances. It's a safety issue too, because what it does. Can you imagine having someone come up in there who doesn't know what they're doing in terms of uh, electricity, and they come up here and wire stuff all crazy? Well, obviously they're not going to pull a permit. They're just going to come in and do it. Can you imagine them doing it and they miswire something? They don't know what they're doing. And then you flip on the switch or maybe it could be six months later. There's kids up in there. Okay, it's not going to happen because they ain't going to ever get there. They, they, they flip on the switch and then a fire starts. A spark happens, a fire. And then the building starts to burn down. You got children up in there. That's why they're very careful about that. So the point is that even the mold situation, yeah, you can paint over it, but they're going to come back up there and they're going to be testing for all that stuff. The air quality, they take into account like any more uh, sores, mold sores, any of that kind of stuff. They're going to look, look into all of that. There's no way that Umar is going to pass any significant inspection because everything is done with the Pookie and Ray Ray type of situation where people are coming in and out. The people he don't know, they're walking in and out of the room. I thought they was in there kicking it and blazing up. No, they were in there doing some work, allegedly. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay. He miles are just he miles just paint the buildings black. That way you can't see the mold. But even still, when they come to do inspection, they're going to test for all that. They're going to test for asbestos. They're going to test for any lead in the paint, any of that stuff. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's such a mess, and people still buying into this foolishness. I, I that's something I don't get. It's been it's been this school was supposed to open over a decade ago. He said it was gonna open in September 11, 20, uh, 2013. We're now in November of 2023, going into December. Uh, uh, thanks for uh, Super Chat, uh, Cichlid. Okay, let's finish this up. We're almost done. Here we go. What color is my office going to be? He going to get crazy because watch. And don't forget, I do have the red, black, and green paddle. I do have the red, black, and green paddle. If you misbehave, ladies, you will be sent to the principal's office and you will get stroked. You must. And there you have it. Yeah, sometimes Umar disgusts me. Now, that's got to be honest. That's the only thing. I, that's the only way I can say it. Sometimes he really does. He just disgusts me. And, and what's worse, so many people believe in this guy. We've set our standards so low as a people that we'll accept this as black leadership. He's talking crazy, all the crazy stuff that he says and does. But then he goes here. It's supposed to be a school for black boys, but somehow he got it. Soon, I told y'all he's gonna go crazy as soon as he talks about his office because he associates his office. With, he said it. He, he wants it to be a sexy office because he associates his office with sex because he wants to have the women in his office to have sex with him. And I don't know why he said that. I don't. Well, I know why. I know why he said that. I know why. And y'all, y'all catch, y'all catch the drift. I'm sure you guys know what I'm about. To say. 
I'll, I'll play it again. We we almost done. Yeah, literally, it's just hard to get past this last part. We got hung up with the other stuff earlier. Mint green for the woman's bathroom, mint green for the girl's bathroom, or mint green for the boy's bathroom. We got four bathrooms, family. We got a woman's bathroom. What color you want? Ladies, you want pink? My sisters want the hot pink for the ladies' bathroom. Y'all want the hot pink? What color is my office going to be? And don't forget, I do have the red, black, and green paddle. I do have the red, black, and green paddle. If you misbehave, ladies, you will be sent to the principal's office and you will get stroked. You must behave yourself. You must behave yourself. If you misbehave at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, you will be sent to the principal's office and you will be paddled. You will get your strokes. You will get your strokes. This would be the perfect time to pull up that video, but we would have to skip through it. I mean, it wouldn't take that long, but a lot of people, and I did too, I missed that part where he says, oh, good. If you watch the whole video, there comes a point in there where he says something, and it's timestamped too. Maybe as this is playing, I can go and, and, and find it real quick because someone timestamped it, and it just goes to show you that this guy, he's, he's, he thinks in terms of physical abuse. He really does. Whether that is uh, pounding the boy's chest in, as he says, we're going to pound their damn chest in, or talking about he's going to... In this scenario, he's he's talking about a woman, and I would think that it's a parent of a child who acts up at school. Why would they be at school? But why would they be at the school acting up, and then they're going to be sent to the principal office? Why would the woman be act up? They, then they go, why would they be sent to... What is going on here? Did anyone else catch that or am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. That's what I'm, I'm gathering as I'm thinking about this. He's talking about the women, grown women, that if you act up, what this is a school for boys. What are you talking? What kind of shit? What, like, this, is a, this is like, a, what, this is some of that crazy stuff that be online or some crazy, you know what I'm talking about? I don't even know what it's called. It, it, people be abusive and all that stuff. I don't know. Something, I told people something wrong with this guy. Seriously. Must behave yourself. You must behave yourself. If you misbehave at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, you in the ladies' bathroom. See, listen, he's talking about late women that if you misbehave, but why would he say women misbehave? Y'all want the hot pink? This guy, something wrong with him. What color is my office going to be? And don't forget, I do have the red, black, and green paddle. I do have the red, black, and green paddle. If you misbehave, ladies, you will be sent to the principal's office and you will get stroked. You must behave yourself. You must behave yourself. If you misbehave at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, you will be sent to the principal's office and you will be paddled. You will get your strokes. You will get your strokes. I'm not pushing no agenda, Ice Cassidy. You must be out of your mind, brother. It's all African, everything over here. I'm not into none he's of that. Not. I hate nobody, but I do not. Listen, he's crazy. He, he, I mean, he's out there. And I apologize to you women. I, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to let it play now. Condone rainbow ganging or rainbow banging. I don't want none of it. I don't want no rainbow ganging, and I don't want no rainbow banging. I'm not into none of it. You want that honey bun and cinnamon cakes. Woo-hoo! Sweet brown sugar, warm honey bun, brown honey bunny queens. Listen, y'all know he's, he's I need y'all to understand. We will not legislate ourselves out of our oppression. I need y'all to hear me. You're not going to legislate yourselves out of this. Black people think they can legislate themselves out of this. 
You can't legislate yourselves out of the hell that we're catching. There is no legal procedure in place for black people to address police brutality. There's no legal procedure in place. Okay, listen, there is about three more minutes on this. I'm gonna let it play. If you guys hear me, hear what I'm playing in, uh, on this other uh, uh, browser, let me know. I just wanna see if I can find this real quick. We still got 90 people in the room. If you like the like button, I hope you all enjoyed it. It's, it's been a mess though, I'll tell you that right now. It's been a mess. I'm, this is one of them shows, it's like, man. Uh, back to the base says, with the extent of mold and water damage, those buildings could collapse. It's a shame. You're right about that. There's foundation issues inside of the gym. That's the one thing that, that, and I don't know if you, back to the basics, if you saw ENJ, the one thing they commented on was how dilapidated the buildings look like on the uh, outside and how it looks like they're going to fall over. Like, you know, they're just going to fall apart. There's no telling the degree of damage. With all the water damage, he's still talking about how there's leaks in the roof all these years later. But again, these buildings sat uh, vacant for many, many years, exposed to the elements. There was a massive hole in the roof, and I can show you the video. I mean, you can look up and literally see, the, the, you can see you know, blue. It was. It wasn't like this. We're talking about a map. It looked like something fell through the roof. That's what it looked like. Umar said that that's where the drug addicts was coming in to steal stuff. The, the amount of and and again, no, all of that. That we're talking years upon years of exposure to the elements, whether that's wind, that's rain, that's heavy snow, because it snows a lot out there in Wilmington. Uh, uh, freezing temperatures. Uh, water coming in, uh, uh, animals coming in, all that stuff. So there's no telling the level of damage when we talk about anytime you got wa water seeping in anywhere, it's, it's, a, it's a serious problem. So there are foundation issues. I know that for a fact. There's foundation issues in uh, in those buildings, at the very least inside of that smaller gym, at the very least. I would think that, that, that there's also issues in terms of foundational issues that damage caused by water, too. And other parts of those buildings. Okay. So, yeah, you know, it's it, they're not safe. Umar knows that he does. He doesn't even want to show the other side of the street. He got people walking in and out. I mean, it's a mess up there. And it has been from the beginning. OK, now, in all fairness, has Umar done some things up there? Yes. But fundamentally, those buildings are still in a dilapidated state. They were before he purchased them. And they're still that way today. It's uh, literally it, it will cost him. Four, four, five, six million dollars to get everything renovated up there uh, and up to cold. It, it, that's how much it's going to cost. But up, to, but if you think about it. If he's saying that I've only collected, you know, a million dollars. Well, if you if it takes you thirteen years to collect a million dollars, how are you going to pay for all the renovations work, which is about four, five, six million dollars? What Pookie and Ray Ray? Okay, well that's when you get Pookie and Ray Ray coming up there kicking it. Man, there's there's no way of us to know. The ex now we know that there's damage, but there's no way that we can know. And I don't think he even knows the extent of the damage. Uh, real quick, I remember when he was in the gym and the water was coming up and the guy was in there. He says, no, it's probably we're probably going to have to uh, dig this out and, and uh, bust up the cement to get to the pipe because of the problem with the pipe. OK, well, that's precisely why the water's coming back up in into the gym and then it seeps all over the place. And that's why there was a lot of mold, black mold included. But then the 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 uh, actual surface. That started to to buckle, and then you had these massive bridges coming up off. I mean, it's true. There's no there's no way that we can uh, know the extent of the damage. We just know that there is some significant damage. And see, Umar probably doesn't know either, because he's. I, I highly doubt that he's had people come out, inspectors come out to put together an itemized list of everything that needs to take place up there, which would also include the mold and and, and mold remediation and dealing with all the water damage. Uh, thanks for a super chat back to the uh, back to the basics. OK, let's finish up here right here. Thank you so much, everybody. And it, let me know if you guys can hear me as I skip through this other video. Let me know. And if, if you do, if you can hear it, then I'll uh, I'll stop and uh, we'll, I'll just focus on this video right here for black people be to right address back. miseducation. There's no legal procedure in place for black people to address gentrification. There's oh, and, no uh, legal. Also, thanks. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, back to the basis for the super chat. Also, sick lid, uh, James, a uh, lady and everyone else too who sent the super chats. And I appreciate it. Here we go. Procedure in place for black people to address the gross neglect that we suffer at the hands of the U.S. power structure. You are not going to legislate yourself out of this and you are not going to vote yourself out of this. I know y'all don't want to hear that. I know y'all don't want to hear that. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but I'm going to tell you anyway. 
Here he goes. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Don't start kissing the screen. This guy, he a trip. Don't do it. Don't. I know y'all. Applesauce. I wouldn't eat this applesauce, but I'm, I'm not even going to do it. Just rearrange, just rearranging my desk. Before we, before we finish. All right. Come on. Man, all right. Here we go. This guy. I'm not replaying that. Let's almost. Done. I don't want to hear that, but you're not going to be able to legislate yourself or vote yourself out of oppression. Who ready for the Conscious Singles Convention? Who coming to the Conscious Singles Convention? Everything Who's coming to the Conscious Singles Convention? Oh, yes, we getting the school done. We getting the school done. Oh, yes. Grand opening, paint day. If you want to be on the paint day, you got to text me your name, your city, and how much you have donated so far. You have to text me your name, your city, and how much you have donated so far. If you want to be painting next month when we paint the school, you need to be texting me right now your name, your city, and how much you donated to the school. I'm going to choose 30 people for paint day. 15 queens and 15 kings for paint day. 15 queens and 15 kings for paint day. 15 kings and 15 queens for paint day. You can make your donation right now. I'm Dollar sorry. sign FDMG. I'm sorry, I, mi I missed that. But hold on, because I'm looking at something else. So let me not go over there. Let me just fo focus on this. I know y'all don't want to hear that. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but I'm going to oh, tell oh, you I'm anyway. I'm sorry. Let me, let me skip through this. Who coming to... Here we go. Who coming to... I don't want to hear that, but you're not going to be able to legislate yourself or... Who coming to the Conscious Singles Convention? Who's coming to the Conscious Singles Convention? Oh, yes, we getting the school done. We getting the school done. Oh, yes. Grand opening paint day. If you want to be on the paint day, you got to text me your name, your city, and how much you have donated <laughs> so far. Day. You have to text me your name, your city, and how much you have donated so far. If you want to be painting next month when we paint the school, you need to next be texting month. me right now your name, your city, and how much you donated to the school. I'm going to choose 30 people for paint day. 15 queens and 15 kings for paint day. 15 queens and 15 kings for paint day. 15 kings and 15 queens for paint day. You can make your donation right now. Dollar sign FDMG school. What's stopping you? Make your donation right now. Dollar sign FDMG school. What's stopping you? Make your day donation right now. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. What's stopping you? Make your donation right now. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. What's stopping you? Ain't nothing stopping you from making your donation. Make your donation, African. If you want to be at the paint day, 15 kings, 15 queens. And once we done painting, once we done painting, I'm taking y'all to dinner. Courtesy of FDMG. We're going to have. I'm not even looking over there. I'm, I'm trying to find something else that I said I was going to stop trying to find. And I happen to look over and glance over because he goes like this and I see it out of my, the periphery. And <laughs> did anyone miss that? If you missed it, hit one. If you missed it, hit the one. See, Umar, I thought you won tonight, okay? Again, I always admit when I'm wrong. I was wrong, okay? I admit it, and I, but we're not giving up because we're working. We kept going. We kept going. We still got 900 people in the building. Uh, but then all this other stuff, but then we get to this. Maybe this is why we're watching this whole thing tonight. It's almost five hours. Listen, if we do a marathon, we're going to need more than eight hours. I don't know how we're going to pull that off. 
I don't know. I'm going to have to move this computer someplace else in the house. And, and, and then I can put it in the basement. I, just, I could. There's a big old basement down there. I could do that. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to figure this up now because I can't have being here that long because the kids got to be able to run around and do what they do. It's their house. I, you know, I just go to bed. I sleep. I go to work. <laughs> I pay, I you know, I pay on it, but that's it. I let me run that back. We're almost done. Let's run that back. If you missed it, you're gonna see it this time. You saw, probably saw it right there. Queens go. and 15 kings for paint day. 15 queens and 15 kings for paint day. 15 kings and 15 queens for paint day. You can make your donation right now. Dollar sign FDMG school. What's stopping you? Make your donation right now. Dollar sign FDMG school. What's stopping you? Make your donation right now. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. What's stopping you? Make your donation you right, right now. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. What's stopping you? Ain't nothing stopping you from making your donation. Make your donation, African. If you want to be at the paint day, 15 kings, 15 queens. And once we done painting. You see what that right right there? Some of y'all may not even know what that is. Chat room, you all go ahead for anyone who doesn't know what those are, go ahead and, and tell people what those are. If y'all don't mind. Why don't you come on down? Because I'm looking at some other stuff. I said we're gonna do it, but I can't help myself. Go on, chat room. Let let people who don't know. Brass knuckles. Yeah. Brass knuckles. That's what I thought. That's the first thing I thought about was Mr. T when I saw it. <laughs> Mr. T. This is y'all's principal. Who's he, he's up here at these traps and he's carrying uh, uh, brass knuckles. Okay, so that's when you punch someone, they, they actually feel the metal on their skin as opposed to just your knuckles. It's a weapon. It sure is. Shoot, it might even, I don't know, it might be illegal out there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you got some aluminum ones. Yeah, these are weapons. Let me, let me go look this up real quick. Hold on a second, everybody. Are brass knuckles illegal in uh, what state is he in? Delaware. It says uh, brass knuckles are legal in Delaware if one has a permit. The sale or possession of brass knuckles is a class B misdemeanor in Delaware and carries a penalty of up to six months in jail and a fine of up to 1,000. So he has to have a permit for these. This is y'all's principle. <laughs> yeah, they are weapons. Yeah. That's crazy. I told people he's scary. I tell you, I tell you, this is supposed to be a principle. They are illegal. And uh, Dr. J, well, it says they're illegal unless you have, uh, it says it, you have to have a, uh, a permit. So I don't know if Umar has a permit or not, but uh, this is this is what he's doing up here at these trap bandos. He, he up here got black, bra, uh, brass knuckles standing outside, ranting and raging and yelling and stuff. You need you need some. <laughs> don't do it. Don't you do it. All right. OK, there's only about a minute left. Let's finish this up right here. Once we done painting. I'm taking you all to dinner. Courtesy of FDMG. We're going to have a family dinner. We either going to get it catered at the school or we're going to go to the restaurant. What y'all want to do? Y'all want to go out to eat or do y'all want the food to just come to the school when y'all done eating? What y'all want to do? My paint day, Africans. If you come into paint day, do y'all want to go to the restaurant after we paint and have a family dinner or do you want me to get the family dinner catered and just have the caterer bring the food to the FDMG Academy? How y'all want to do that? How y'all want to do that? Are we going to dinner after we paint? 
or am I going to have the caterer bring the food to the school? How y'all want this to happen? How y'all want this to happen? How y'all want this to happen, Africans? How y'all want this to happen, Africans? I got to choose colors. I got to choose colors. But I need y'all to know where that dark blue at. Y'all want some dark blue? Some blue? What Y'all want some blue? What classroom's going to be blue? We got some light greens. We got some oranges for Oshun. We got some grays and metals for Ogun with the green. Olokun blue. Talk to me, Africans. Y'all want the food to come to us? Y'all don't want to go eat at the restaurant? Y'all want them to cater? Okay. So we paint the school and then we have a family dinner inside the Nat Turner John Jacques Dessalines Gymnasium. After we paint, we're going to have a family dinner in the John Jacques Dessalines Nat Turner Gymnasium. Our you are going to be starved into extermination if you do not do something for yourself. The writing is already on the wall. America is already turning up the pressure. You are being replaced by other non-white people. Why are you being replaced? All right, Umar. Okay, I couldn't find that snip, that little clip I want to play for you all. But we're going to leave it at that. Wow, th this was something else. The, the twists and turns. The twists and turns. I proved the, the first point okay, that, I, that I made that uh, this whole paint day thing and showing the swatches and all that stuff, that was actually done back in 2020. Uh, he did the same exact thing. I, I provided the, the evidence and proof of that. Uh, again, all this is to give the illusion of progress. It's not about opening up a school. Most of what he talks about ain't got nothing to do with education. He's not talking about a business plan. He's not talking about a, a, you know, what type of, uh, I don't know, what the curriculum is going to be. He's not talking about how the staff will be organized. None of that stuff. He all, He's up here talking about uh, movies that got to whatever he said with the rainbow stuff crushing or whatever. And he's up here talking about cookies and Cinnabons and hot buns and all this He's talking about everything and paddling uh, the, the women. I said, something wrong with you. Something's really wrong with you. He's talking about everything except what he should be talking about based upon the millions of dollars that he's collected. It's nothing more than a scam. So I've proved that Umar recycles schemes in order to give the illusion of progress. Now, I didn't prove the second point okay, that it's a kicker spot, although it is a kicker spot. It's a kicker kick spot for, for Umar. It's not, it's not a place where boys are being educated. It's a place for Umar to go up there and hang out He's chilling. He's talking to people, walking their dog. He has people coming through, working on the building that he don't even know who they are. It's it's a big old mess. He's out there yelling in the middle of the street. It's the kicker spot. And until such time that Umar finds a permanent res residence, it will continue to be his kicker spot. So what he does, he goes up to the kicker spot. He'll talk a little bit and then he'll start asking for, for donations. And some of y'all, you Umar John follows, you'll send it to him. Mission accomplished. Then the next day, he'll, he'll find another way to be online to ask for money. And you, Umar Johnson followers, you'll give it to him. Mission accomplished. But I'm going to ask y'all something. The ultimate mission, and the mission was what? To open up a school. None of that is contributing to opening up a school. Here we are almost five years into it, four years and 10 months to be exact. Four years and nine months, almost 10 months to be exact. And there's still no school. And this will continue to go on indefinitely. And, you know, the way I look at it is I'll continue to do these live streams until such time that this foolishness stops or, you know, ain't no telling. I know one thing. I'm strongly considering doing the marathon this week. If we do it, it'll be on Thursday. We'll just have to start real early on in the day and we'll go and we'll get through the top five rants. We may do top three because top five may take way too long. So what I'm going to do after this live stream, Cookie Crush Chat, thank you all so much for being here. I'm going to set up a poll on my community tab. It's not official that we're going to do it on Thursday, but at least I, I can get an idea of, of uh, the top rants that we're going to cover. And I'll put up a poll and based on whatever comes in the top three or the top five, that's what we'll cover if we do a, uh, a marathon on Thursday. We may even still live stream. We may live stream tomorrow. I still got to start the Cesar Pena uh, DJ Envy um, series, too. I may start that tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. I'll figure it out. I want to thank everyone so much for tuning on in. Oh, my goodness. A long live stream. Uh, I want to thank you all so much. Everyone inside of the Cookie Crush chat, I really appreciate y'all. Everyone who sent the Super Chats, uh, PayPal, and Cash Apps, thank you so much. Also, want to thank our mods for handling the business, y'all. I appreciate all y'all support. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you did, go on and hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the like button anyway, okay? And as we always do. All right. Thank y'all again, and please enjoy the rest of your evening, wherever you may be. 
love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the show. And let's go. FDMG is coming. FDMG. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I do. I got the thing where you can look on your phone, though. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think we got one. I, I'm going to go look this morning. G is coming. F, D, and G is coming. It's coming. F, D, and G is coming. F, D, and G is coming. F, D, and G is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, okay. It's coming. Yeah, I got you. I'll I'll take care of that. Don't don't worry about it, bro. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Gotta get that peephole. <laughs> Hey, y'all so funny. Is coming. FDMG yeah, no is coming. Thought it's personality. Be twerking. It's twerking. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you all again for tuning on in. I got to go talk to my sons. <laughs> It's got to just fit. I want to make sure we clarify on some things. <laughs> Thanks, a lady, for being here. And uh, Eric, everyone else, too, inside the Cook Chat. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Please enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Love you all. Take care. Peace.